Alright guys, hope you're all doing well. Late night Age of Vampires. Had the itch. I went on a huge losing streak last night. <laughs> I lost like five games with Byzantines in a row and ranked. Just couldn't get it going, man. Um, so we're here for some FFA to kind of wash that off. And uh, yeah, we're going to do probably two matches tonight. I'll play in the first one. And for the second one, um, we're going to be doing a casted game. And the casted game, I'm thinking we'll do a 2v2v2. Uh, like a team FFA, but the difference and unique variable being is that I want every team to be the same faction. So it's going to be a little bit easier to cast and also more thematic. So kind of a mini team faction war. So, um, so that's it. Pone in chat saying the dreaded late. Dude, Pone, you got to just quit your job and start playing, <laughs> playing these games here full time with us, man. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So let's get that. Good. And uh, we'll go from here. You found some some evil knowledge, Dandy? Oh man, I'm, I'm excited to see it. All right, so first match is gonna be the turn FFA. Turn FFA. I recorded a really good one last night, by the way, in Discord. We um we got a group of people together and recorded an awesome, awesome match. Turtle Ridge, oh my God, Turtle Ridge is like the trolliest one, isn't it? <laughs> do we wanna do a Turtle Ridge? Oh, that map is so foul. Turtle Ridge is just pure villainy, this map, because um there's literally just mountainous choke points and you can't get into people's bases. So we're gonna find one. Let's uh, open up the lobby. Anyone's welcome to join. First come, first serve. And uh, yep, it's filling up here. Wonder if that's Gunhound. Ooh, we got Vice Pro Uhtred. Uhtred of Bevenberg. He's, he's ready to do some duels. Haywire. Haywire is um, the Glade. Oh, what is the Glade like? While the initial wall of force provides you a sense of security, you must soon venture out of your hideout to battle for resources. All right, let's try the Glade, dude. That looks like it's gonna be wild. Foghorn Lakehorn adding me here. So who do we want to play? Um, I've been playing a ton of Byzantines. I'm sure you guys are maybe a little bit sick of it. So we're going to switch it up and play somebody else. Um, I've been doing Order of the Dragon. You know who I thought about playing that would be fun would be the Abbasid. Like the Abbasid Dynasty. So we got Byzantines, Order of the Dragon. We have one Japanese player. And um, yeah, it's up to you, Nanny, if you want to. But um, it is going to be first come, first serve and joining that one as well. So... Just be aware of that. Malians, Mongols, Ottomans, Rus. Let's actually try a Rus game. I haven't, I've been playing all the new civs. Let's go back to the old school a little bit here. And it looks like there's a lot of trees on this map. So perhaps the Rus could be very, very strong. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. This map is not great. We learn together. Yeah, it'll be fine. We're going we're gonna to feel it out and see how this map goes. I haven't played this one, so. All right. Turn. Currently, Order the Dragon, Gene, and Japanese each have a bat. Yeah, there's, there's obviously... Plenty of bugs in the game at the moment, but uh, hopefully players in our community will not exploit them. And uh, let's get it. All right. Go luck, have fun. So we're going to get the Kremlin, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Folks in Germany. Yeah, I'm sorry for all the... Tomorrow we're going to have an earlier stream. Tomorrow, if we do end up streaming, it's going to be a Dune stream, and it would be earlier in the day. So it'd be like, you know, probably like 8 o'clock your time, 9 o'clock your time. All that sort of good stuff. I, I suspect there's going to be a balancing patch soon. Because 1v1 is getting even more mis miserable to play. If you're not, like, playing meta, if you're not playing, you know, Ayubids, Yushi, Japan, um, Joan of Arc, it kind of just feels bad 1v1 to an extent right now. It's like, yeah, playing, like, underpowered civs. I mean, there's some old civs that can hang. I I've had good success with English against some of the meta civs, but I really hope we get a bounce, uh, bounce check soon. In case you haven't checked, Blood Bowl 3 is still awful and you just can't run leagues. Dude, I know. What a joke is that? I was really excited to actually run leagues in that game, and we just, like, still can't. It's, uh, it's pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. All right. So we're on the Roos. Haven't played the Roos in a long time. Used to be one of my favorite civs in 1v1 as well. And uh, yeah, a lot of trees on this map. Good opportunities to get the uh, good gold cabins going. I would say Japan is relatively meta in 1v1. I would say so. They have a really high pick rate. And at high levels, Japan does, seems to do pretty well. They have a couple of very viable strategies. Like the 2TC, uh, Japan is very steady. And also Fast Castle Japan with the Yorishiru and the stables for pressure and grabbing relics is very viable. I would say Japan is a very good sieve. Very, very good sieve. Although I'd have to look at the data, but I, I would suspect they're probably like, you know, between 50 and 55% win rate at high levels, which is pretty good. When you look at like Byzantines, you have like a 40% win rate or something like that. Uh, all right, so we got Rus. Uhtred is going to be on the English. Nani Yori on the Order of the Dragon. Professor Finbar on the Byzantines. Nanu on the Byzantines. Mongols with Cute Kitty. Hound on the Japanese. And Vice Pro here is going to be on the Ayubids. Ayubids are really fun, although overall, like in the real grindy late game, 
The uh, Abbasid might have a stronger economy. I don't know. It's a little bit hard to tell. But anyways, let's see this. Uh, go get this deer encampment here first. <clears throat> and then we got to go scavenging for deer elsewhere. That's right. We don't need to mine the gold like we usually do here. Okay. So interesting. Oh, so you start in like a little wooden dungeon. And then you have to like fight your way out. Man, not a lot of space here. That's going to be a tricky one, guys. All right. So we got a good deer encampment here. This is actually a great spot because we can just set this down. And it's like an ideal position and a food gathering point. So that's very, very good for a roost start here. All right, so let's get a house, do this, and we can set up the lumber camp there and go grab these. Yeah, Malians, I would suspect, are very good. I They were very good last season, um, so I, I can't see why they wouldn't be here. Okay, so looking good. We got the hunting cabin of the gods here. Um, already up to a decent amount of gold. We see a boar here. The early boar, but we need to go find deer. All right, so hopefully people have forgotten to deny, and I can just get, like, max bounty here. That would be pretty huge. <laughs> Let me turn my game volume up a little bit. Uh, Byzantines are, like, I think if you nerf the, like, really OP civs and then give Byzantine a tiny bit of love, they'll be good. Like, I don't feel like they're, like, awful. They have some certainly some viable strategies. But um, they just don't have, like, anything really, like, degenerate, you know? Or, like, none of their landmarks feel particularly, like, crazy, right? So we just only care about bounty right now. We're almost up to 100, but um, we have the boar. Looks like there's a wolf there. Obviously, deer packs would be ideal. Um, so let's keep finding those. We can grab the wolf, but I want to find deer first. Uh, I'm playing Roost right now. Yeah, and after this, we're going to do a casted game, a community team FFA match. So there's going to be two tonight. I mean, unless this one's over really quickly. All right, so we found that, and um, let's get you on lumber here. Do this, 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 and this. Outstanding. And you can head over to the deer camp. We have this generating resources for us. So definitely going to be getting real crazy with those hunting cabins. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't played Roost in a long time. Does the um, does the the wood landmark, the one that counts as a hunting cabin, does it can it overlap with the other cabins, or is there a, or is there an issue with that? Okay, so we have enough to age up, which is outstanding. So pretty good, pretty smooth. Um, we have to see like the periphery of the territories here. I believe the deer would be on this side. <laughs> Spare some sheep, my lord. Yeah, some people are suffering a little bit in the sheep department, I guess. All right, let's uh, get you up there. 32 gold a minute is great. I mean, that's really, really good value here. Yeah, it should be god tier for high for the trade house. That's why I picked um, the roost here. I wanted to see if we can get anything. It overlaps? Okay, so it needs to be in its own territory. We could always just delete one, but wherever we lumberjack in is where we're going to build it. Okay, so someone got sweaty over there denying me the uh, bounty. I respect that. Big respect there. Let's build another house. We don't have a lot of space here, actually. It's very, very um, close quarters on this map. Should be one more deer camp here, but it looks like it was denied. So we're at 140, and um, now we can age up. So let's go ahead and do the Golden Gate. I think that's the preferred landmark here. And let's get you on lumber. Looking good. Um, I don't think we need that many to age up, so we're going to go do this. And we're going to go um, 2 TC. I think it's fine on this map. Kremlin, Kremlin could have been nice too, I guess, for like turtling and stuff, but we can always get a wooden palisade up very quickly to prevent raiding and lumberjack our way back and like get more terrain that way. Yeah, we see relics. Um, we're not, I don't think I need to worry too much about racing the castle to relics, considering I have like these really, really good trade houses that are going to be generating a ton of money for us. So we're just going to go kind of 2TC here and uh, live our best life. It doesn't overlap. Yeah, that's what I... It does not. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I haven't played it in a long time. What if that order is a dragon? Oh no, the order of the dragon is up to no good. We need to have two villagers aging up. Two villagers is usually acceptable if you, um, you know, if you're just looking to uh, have a very slow passive age up but still have it be uh timely enough all right let's go down here and set this up here get more of those hunting cabins currently our passive gold is going to be pretty sweet so we're getting 27 here and this should sauce up soon we just finished building that one so it doesn't have the accurate reflected yet and uh yeah i think most of the deer camps have been taken nope denied i i got two yeah we we, we need to get an early um stable out you can look. They can. The Dark Lord was hunting. Yeah, I was hunting, but I certainly uh, did not get everything that I was hoping and dreaming for. All right, let's get another one over there. Do this, and um, I think just to play it safe, we're going to do this so we don't get trolled. Okay. So it seems fine. We're going to be slightly delayed, but we can buy whatever resources we need from the High Trade House. Yeah, Roos can definitely do that, but I think 2TC is going to be good too. Like, I feel like my gold's going to be fine, and I can go, you know, one of my favorite strategies to get relics is just to kill the people who have them, so. <laughs> I think it works pretty well. Yeah, there's a lot of relics out here. Fast Castle might be stronger overall. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an old, 
There's like two, there's a couple distinct play styles here, right? There's like the old crusty boomer play style, which is like 2TC play, which is how I typically play. Let's get the wheelbarrow. Um, but yeah, no, they denied me a lot, actually. Have we had uh, FFAs decided by um, landmark victories? Yeah, we've had a couple, actually. But just like destroying? Yeah, taking players out? Absolutely. It's not like as common, but it does happen. Okay, so the age ups here, we immediately need to get a stable, and then you're going to build this gatehouse here. Hunting down the wolves, and um, cool, so we should be able to get that second TC here soon. Let's head over here, and we need to get a knight, and the reason why is so we can um, hunt down the uh, hunt down the goods. Okay, we don't want to do battle here with Professor Finbar. Just stay on the wood, and we also would like to get a, um, yeah. Oh, a deer camp, hell yeah, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Not everybody is sweat denying me. So today we feast. I don't know why I have three villagers on this. Got a little bit excited. Need to build the um, wooden fortress right now. But if we can get the boars on the map, that's going to be pretty huge. We still might be able to get some relics. Um, but considering we're going for the uh, the, the big trade house landmark, I don't know how, how good that's going to be. Let's keep lumberjacking our way through here. And second TC should be up in a second. So let's buy some wood. And uh, we can get a knight out. He's going to go boar hunting. And let's head down this way as well. Yeah, I, well, I, I did die to... I can't remember. Yeah, my Order of the Dragon was... It was a landmark. Yeah, that came down to landmarks. I wasn't like a wonder or anything. Yeah, when I had to play the dreaded Jushi in the late game. Oh, God, that was that was just pure misery, dude. All right. I don't know if we're going to have space for this. We're definitely going to need to, like, chop through this way a little bit. Oh, nice. Okay. So another camp here. Yeah, so the prophecy about the bounties is indeed coming true here. Okay, so second TC is about ready. So we can switch you guys over here. And um, as far as this goes, let's see. How do we want to do this? We could just set it up out here. Might not be a bad idea next to the Bore Encampment. It's a little bit risky, um, but I think it's probably not a bad idea. So let's go set that up out there. Just to take some ground and give us, you know, a defensible position. Wolf is doing battle. Let's build a second knight so we can defend ourselves and also take some bounty on the map. And uh, yeah, should be good. All right, so let's keep lumberjacking through and you guys are mining away happily. And we can start switching on to gold now. Cool. And um, yes, we need to go ahead and take down the boar. So we'll do that first. So let's have the knight tank it. Villagers got their spears out. They're ready to go. And if we can get the max bounty, that's going to be excellent, excellent, excellent. And then we can, where do we want to set up? Uh, yeah, I suppose like right next to the boar and the sacred site is going to be acceptable. All right. Cool. And then they're going to have a spot so they can build the TC. we got these guys. Let's go boar hunting. And where else do we have some boar? Yeah, there was one over in the middle. All right. So let's head over here. Um, we got the deer encampment down to the bot, which is cool. And the high trade house is going to be um, online soon. So we'll start kind of uh, getting our age up going. We're also going to have the boar food. Castle age being reached by Vice Bro. Um, what I could do to try and secure some relics is do this. So we can go get our Roos um, walls going around them. And then we could try the same thing up here. It's going to be a little bit precarious, but if we could get at least two relics. Oh, it looks like I just passed the boar right there. All right, so let's head back and get that bad boy. You guys jump onto the sheep. Let's get these. And yeah, we're going to have a pretty good spot right there, I would say. So if we could secure a couple relics, I'm going to be very happy about that. It's not going to be easy, for sure. But um, let's get you and you and you. Come out here, build some more military tech, and outstand. All right. So, Dervish here, we're going to deny that. We don't want Vice Bro to just cackle too hard, so we're going to hunt it down with our our, uh, our dudes, and then we can build a new wall around it. Are we going to kill that thing in time? Oh, my God. Oh, we're not going to get I don't think. Oh, God, that was close. Okay. So, let's uh, do this, and this, and this, and this. Yeah, we can't let them just have all those for free, and this is going to get walled off, too. Looks like we have another encampment down here that we didn't hit yet, so now we can go ahead and start getting some uh, stables out here. One, two, three. Cool. So that's going to give us our knights and mobility and whatnot. And then we can uh, take all these deer down. And then should be pretty close to our maximum bounty now, which is huge. You guys do this. Jump on the board here. And all's good. Did we end up getting it? No, we didn't. Order of the Dragon. It's going to be hard to stop all these players from getting it. That's Order of the Dragon there, right? So, yeah, that's going to be a lot. Okay, so we do get that. Maybe that will secure us one relic. Who knows? And when you guys finish this, you can get some archery ranges too. Could do like a like a kind of a mobile Roos army of sorts. That could be fun. Okay, so you should be getting on gold, and we need to get the mining camp here. I always want to forget Roos don't really need to do that. We do have a sacred site secured. Um, one relic is still there. Um, let's see if we could actually go finish our wall off on that. Maybe get over there and do a little something something. 
But now we got boar food being gathered. We have plenty of resources. So let's go ahead and um, buy some food. Try and turbo age up there. Okay, so the gilded man is there. We could troll and take him out. Let's see if Nani is paying attention. Okay, so we do get the pick there, which is great. <laughs> Those roost knights doing well. Let's build a couple more of these knights and just run back to our TC for now. Um, this villager can do its thing. Yeah, we don't want to let everyone get all the goodies they want. We have to make them work for it a little bit here. Let's give you food gathering and um, gold gathering. Yes, two TCs are in full effect. Let's go ahead and get a little tower here to protect that. Should have a couple more knights coming out, and then we'll uh, we'll go try and reseal that. Okay. Yeah, this is looking like a good spot for our uh, for our business here. Age up's going to be coming soon. Very very slow, mind you, but um, soon the roost knights will be popping out. Good. And um, let's get you, and let's go ahead and move out and see if we can refinish this wall here. We can go hunt them down, but let's wait for the other knights. Okay, so he's there. I would like to get that relic if possible. And you guys can start on the high trade house, so we need to delete this and this. Let's hunt him down. That's got to be pretty annoying for sure. Okay, so back we go. And then you guys can start on the uh, high trade house here, which is going to be pretty good. It's not like God's here, but yeah, 248 a minute is very strong. Knight's going to pull back, and um, let's go ahead and see if we can ninja wall this real quick. Oh, shit. Okay. So let's run back to the TC. So we can fight under it, which is going to be awesome. And um, this relic is still potentially going to be going to us. Oh, I hate when it like tries to connect it to the relic like that. Yeah, so we're still hunting here. Trying to wall that again. And uh, cool, and cancel this. So the knights are going to do battle with those dread horsemen. Overall, we probably lose this relic, but we have to, we have slowed them down for sure. All right, let's get you back on the boar. Knights are here, and now we have really good passive gold. Let's keep setting up hunting cabins all over the place. So that's going to be 400 something, and um, yeah, all's good, man. All's good in the neighborhood. Um, we need to keep lumberjacking though. Holy shit, it's just getting crazy over here. My knights jump in here? I think they did. Okay. So knights are getting upgraded. We are in the next age. And um, lumber camp should be getting back online here in a second. We have the boar food. And um, we've got the one relic down there. Let's see if we can get that. You know, why not, right? All right, so we're going to go to our monastery. And we're going to need to start switching into some sort of a lumber economy. Let's grab some stone here so we can build a keep and defend ourselves. Um, we definitely could be the uh, target of aggression soon. We're going to build some crossbows. Uh, head down this way. There's still some relics on the table, actually, which is kind of interesting. I didn't expect that. But look how much passive gold we're getting right now. Like, it's, it's pretty nuts. So we need to get a big farm economy going soon. So we will set up farms here and uh, farms here. Yeah, one, one. Should be good. And let's go see if that relic is still up there. The dreaded supply block, my favorite thing. All right, set up a house. Get a monk coming out to go grab this and bring it back here. Let's head up top. See if we can get some of those. And you guys just keep lumberjacking through. Upgrades are looking fine. Wow, like people have been desperately trying to get this relic. And those are camels. Camels will dunk on our, our boys. So that's Vice Bro here. Okay, so we're going to go and see if we can do like a little cheeky snipe on this. And uh, looks like that is going to be going to Nanny here. So <laughs> look, it's just everyone fighting for relics and just dying. Like, I'm too weak. All right. Damn, that thing moves quick though, doesn't it? Look at that thing. It's got some wheels. How's it outrunning me here? Okay, so now we just peace out because camels own us and we need to go ahead and get some racks here so we can get spears to battle these camels and pull back to our base. Crossies are here. Um, let's go ahead and buy some wood, do this, and we can set up all around here. All right, we're at max bounty, which is great, and we have a little bit of ground. That relic is going to be taken in a second by one of our dudes, and um, let's go ahead, get you, build some more houses down here. Certainly space is a little bit of an issue on this map, 100%. So, did we get that relic? Um, he is... Oh, that's right. The Bruce Warrior Monks count as military units. It's really annoying in the, the hotkey system. All right. So, let's get you, buddy. Let's come down. Grab this relic. We can bring our army as a little bit of an escort there. And um, let's get you. I'd like to keep my food, like, you know, deep in the, in the, in the base here. Okay, you get this and take it back here. And we'll see if there's any more relics that are going to be lying around here. Okay. So, can we get some more food? We can. Outstanding. Let's get the food harvesting. Knights, crossbows, and spears will soon be mixed in. Eco's looking pretty good. And uh, I need to make sure to keep producing here. Getting a little bit lazy on that. But yeah, this high trade house generating um, resources for us is pretty damn sweet. We all, we're also going to get a sacred site. But it looks like most of the relics... Oh, there's still a relic over there for real? 
Okay, let's buy some food and make some spears. Okay. We got knights, we got crossbows. We might actually be able to get our clutches on that. Yeah, let's go over there and see if we can. The fact that that's still there is pretty big. Yeah. Okay, let's do this and this. Heading over here. Let's take the knights, the Bruce knights, and um, yeah, let's just see if we can hunt that guy down again. This is going to be like the millionth time we've done this. I, I certainly feel a little bit guilty, but not too bad. Okay, so we hunt you down. One, and yes. And then our Roost Monk can come and try and ninja this. So that's a hell of a lot of horsemen there. So we need to um, get most of these crossbows back. And spears need to be upgraded to the next age. Cool. So we've taken those guys out. So now we still have a decent chance of getting those relics there. Which is going to be great. Let's build another one of these. Looking good. Get that going. And um, it's probably almost time to slap down a keep. The Roost Knights will trade okay there, but um, yeah, we need to get the Cav Fortitude, get the Spears out there. Because these are Gilded Horsemen, right? So they're no joke. They're pretty formidable, actually. Okay, so he's coming back. I do have my Warrior Man. Um, yeah, we got Spears coming out. They're about to get upgraded. We could probably take this fight here, so let's Garrison in there. Okay, so let's get crossbows and spears, although do we really need the crossbows? I don't know if we do, to be honest. We need to get more hunting cabins around the map, too. I'm the Holy Guardian, I know. I'm guarding the relic from the uh, from the heretics here. What am I being uh, hit with? Okay, nothing, no, nothing terribly bad. Okay, let's get more Roost Knights. And food is uh, coming online, slowly, slowly but surely. We're gonna head over and try and grab this relic if we can. So we're gonna we're gonna grab it and make a mad dash for the uh, for the homeland here. All right. So take you down. We're gonna escort that unit. And um, what the hell is this? Just a random horseman there. Okay. So he has gotten away with the relic. So we did get it. And let's see if we can run interference here and see if the, uh, the army can distract him. Go. Buy time for the for the sacred uh, warrior to get away. All right. Let's make more spears. And um, in the meantime, we can keep setting up hunting cabins around the land. And it looks like, I mean, it's just horsemen and we have like spears and knights, so we should be able to win that. But hey, we ended up with two relics, which I'm very happy with here. That is incredibly solid. And our gold generation is really good. We have golden gate. Um, definitely need to get a keep here now to make sure we don't get like folded on the front. <laughs> Indeed. All right. So that's awesome. Homeboy made it. And um, we want to keep making all the units back here. Keep that going. How's our food eco? Uh, currently, we need to get Imperial Age for the next tier. All right. So can we set, fit any more food eco around here? Um, let's go ahead and just slay that sheep first. So now we just try and go Imperial Age, and we keep setting up, like, you know, observation posts and whatnot. Uh, turn, you can get 300 GPM from cabins, excluding the high-traded house. Don't go overboard. Yeah, it's good to have... Um, it's good to have contingencies, though. Like, have, having extra ones, just in case some of them get destroyed on the map, is kind of the uh, idea I'm going for here. All right. So let's go out here. Make some crossbow ranges, some stables. Crossbow ranges. Yeah, that's basically what we're going to be spamming here. Um, definitely could use some more um, of these. All right. So let's do this and this. Now we have a pretty good army, and we got two relics, which after, you know, going 2TC and just full greed... The fact that we came away with two relics, I'm very happy. Our passive gold right now is, is really good. And um, yeah, we definitely just go imp here soon. Okay. Okay, let's get some farms. Although, let's actually fix that, because that's a little bit ugly. I'm going to try and make it aesthetically more pleasing here. There you go. Oh, that last one was kind of bad. We'll do that too. We want to keep as much food as possible in the back there, right? Who's over here, by the way? We obviously have our resources out on the map, but we have such good passive gold for minute with the high trade house. Two relics and Annie's hatred for that. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good, isn't that true? Yeah. All right. So, um, houses, sure, sure. We're going to need more house space. Yeah, you definitely need to expand out on the map here, or else you're going to have a bad time, I think. Okay. One and two. Food's coming along. Just a small demonstration of my power. It seems like there's some like weird feuds going on in the map. Um, do we have enough for a market here? What is even what is even back in that area there? Okay, so hold on. I should probably send a scout. Do I have a scout left? No, yeah, they're all dead. Uh, the Roost Warrior Monk, we can go grab this. And uh, I definitely need to get to scouting. So I'm going to take some knights and go like looking around the map and seeing what's happening. Um, we're going to go imp and 
Probably a Chad Skya Tower. I could build it over here. This actually wouldn't be a bad spot. It's kind of like off the beaten path, and um, people might not think to look there. This is kind of an interesting spot, isn't it? It's like, uh... Okay, so we see Green. This is Hound. He's playing Japan. So that's obviously very frightening. A Chad Skya in the back, too, isn't a bad idea. Um, if we decided to go for, like, a Wonder or something right here, we would we would have a Chad Sky behind it. Okay, so we're capturing the Sacred Site. Um, let's go ahead and delete this one for now. And we're just going to go, you know, there's not too many great places to hide landmarks here. So we're just going to we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way and just have it in our base. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Next up, we go and... Oh, hello. Forgot about that knight. He, he went down like a champ. He was bloodthirsty. Okay. Get on the gold, even though I don't really need it. It's better. It's good to take it away from your opponents. And um, we got upgrades coming. Our bounty is maxed. And uh, this tower literally has been in construction since the Dark Ages. So we'll keep you guys jumping. And Chad Sky is going to finish. And now we can start spamming out Streltsy. But first we want to get like biology and just get our knights like super jacked. Because that's the coolest part about playing Roost for sure. Yeah, our food sucks too. We need to uh, we need to get our food economy like nice and nice and fat here. So let's go over here. Set this up. And more farms, yes. And probably a couple more on those farms. Streltsy, and obviously Roos can do some of the best ram signing in the game. But Spaskaya is really awesome because it um, gives us access to um, stone walls, right? So that's pretty huge. Let's do this. And then we can stone wall in the front. Outstanding. I don't want to get my base cheesed. And um, we could also do a little... Oh, I have a cool idea, actually. So let's do this. We reach across. Um, not currently. We only have one trade, so let's go get you guys on stone. And also, get a couple of you guys to come out. Just start purging any stone we can off the map, really. Trying to get our clutches on that. Let's get a uni down here. And we're good. Yeah, I hope they add like a, like some sort of a Viking ship for sure. That'd be really fun. So, most of the eco upgrades are there for the Imperial Age. Somebody could loot Lumberjack through 100% and give us a little bit of trouble. Streltz here on the way out, um, getting Imperial Spears. Ja Japan's going to be mostly Samurai and whatnot, so... Yeah, nobody's dead yet. we got to change that. The fact that everybody's living harmoniously, you know, we can't have that in one of our games. All right. Uh-huh. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so the food eco is getting better. We have the max gather rate. Villagers on their way out. And um, what I was going to say is, is we can have this be like a little secret alcove where we have more farms, which could be fun. All right, so crossbows, we have a lot, so might as well upgrade them. Uh, Men-at-arms, we don't care too much about. Let's get the knights and the uni upgrades. We're going to get biology. Slap the base there and uh, just keep pushing and try and look for some trade at some point. Just build a base in the center. That's pretty dangerous for sure. It's pretty dangerous. I mean, we have good resources and we're very safe, and I think we're ahead of a lot of players right now. I could be wrong, but um, overall, I'm feeling like we're in a very, very good position. All right, so biology is probably what we want to get first. Although we only have a couple, maybe gunpowder would be better. All right, so take those guys down, and from here we get siege workshops. One, two, three, and uh, a couple of you guys can slap down some houses here. Two, three, four, five, because we're kind of running out of space in the back of our base here. This is going. So these guys can go back here and slap down some houses in the corner to make sure we uh, don't run into that issue again. And maybe army tactics, gunpowder, they're all pretty viable, but we need to get the Ramstein going before we decide to like push and try and take somebody out here. Uh, this can be deleted. This is still necessary. So let's get you guys on that. Jump onto this gold. And Tithe Barnes is still relevant, even though we only have two relics. Uh, professional scouts? I didn't go pro scouts this game, no. I thought about it. It was actually, you know, on, in my mind, but um, we didn't end up going for pro scout. So our gold per minute is decent. Um, could be better. We don't have a lot, like, actually on gold. So let's get out and take what we can on the map. People reaching Imp. Roos Imperial Age is pretty good. It's it's not bad. It ain't bad at all. Um, do we start Mortal Kombat with the Japanese? They are still Castle Age, so probably, yeah. Wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's get a tower here, and um, let's see. How far back does this go? As long as we don't lumberjack through the wrong way. They're hunting deer there. That's right. We're still getting bounties from our high trade house. That's fun. Okay, get the axe, and let's get the knights coming out, and um, biology should be about ready. And now we can start spamming out some rams. So let's get the rams coming. The Duhost. The Ruhost. Oh, it's the Ruhost. I love it. That's, that's even better. Okay. Yeah, I'm not being that much of a warmonger. I'm kind of teching, trying to get like a, like a, you know, a steamroller army so that I can really, really get crazy. We have a, mostly elite units. 
Um, all right, let's go ahead and sell some food, and from here we can get the. Um, mm. Let's get the biology. I'm going to be spamming out a lot of knights and stuff, so I, I want to have that. My knights are the coolest unit we have, so let's go there. A couple of you guys can go here. Jump on that, and it looks like, yeah, these are being... Oh, okay, hello. That's Vice Bro. He's looking a little angry there, for sure. I was about to go take down Japan, but that might change the um, the prerogative, the parameters of our missions here. Okay, so he's make, looking like he wants to push up. It's all camels, which I think we shouldn't have too many problems with. I don't know. You never know. Oh, okay, here we go. Screw that up. I was wondering why. He's still attacking me here. Yeah, I don't know how this fight goes, to be honest. I really don't. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go push and, and see how this uh, fight unravels. Okay, so we never built a gatehouse. I was wondering why my villagers were having trouble escaping here. Should be able to pound this army, I think. Yeah, he's probably just gonna retreat. It's fine. We'll, we'll hunt what we can. Get a couple bills, maybe. Oh. All right. Looks like he already got the stone that he came for. So let's head over here and get this gold. Now you guys can jump up and grab this gold as well. All right, who's that? That's um, Uhtred. Oh, he's English. Shit. Yeah, I'm surrounded by two really powerful infinite gold sieves, so I'm kind of like a little nervous about it. All right, so the Roost Knights are going to get in there and definitely get some of that bread. All right, so we are in, and it looks like the defenders are coming. That's a pretty good army. And um, yeah, we can start mixing in some bombards and um, just hit this gold hard. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. He could beat us. I mean, he's England, right? So that's very scary. He's got us in a choke point, too. Uh, what age is he in? He's age four. He's Imperial, elite men at arms. He doesn't have army tactics yet. Um, so let's get on gold. Strelzi are doing great. Spears. And we need to get our horsemen maxed out, too. So, yeah, we're making progress. The knights are tanking, and we're doing some good DACA here to these guys. Let's get in and have the Rams start doing their things. Um, in the meantime, we can go ahead and set up some more uh, farms back here. So one, two, three, four. All right. Yeah, it's England, which is scary. This gold is gone. So we need to gather an appropriate army to try and take on an English player. Yeah, that is that is just pure facts here. All right, so we're going to gather here. And what we need against England is Mangadels, because they just love to spam, you know, basically their uh, range units. Men-at-arms and whatnot. Okay, horsemen are not quite there. We need elite horsemen. I am but a peaceful English. I know it sucks because Japan's on the bottom too. So we we have like potential enemies on every front. Um, so let's just get like keeps like all over the place in case we get like backstabbed by anyone. And uh, do we want to get men at arms of our own? Uh, I don't know. He says he's a new, but he certainly doesn't play like one. Um, he, he has a good army and good positioning and you know everything seems pretty cozy there. All right, so let's go back here. Gold is becoming very sparse. We have a little bit out front here. We're going to try and secure that and build up our resources again. We have cannons. We got mangonels. We could definitely do some nasty damage, but he's probably got like a barcher and oh, freaking Japan is down here too. Oh, it's just too many choices, man. All right. So Streltsy, Spears for Chaff and um, Horseman. Not quite able to get there yet. We need to get these upgrades. So we've got 22 on stone right now. And now you guys can go and grab that gold. Can we get this gold here? Probably should be able to. Okay. Orchard not wanting to fight, but turn is probably... Yeah, you know, it's a tricky situation we're in. It really is. Okay, let's sell some resources. Get army tactics, because we have... You know, obviously we do want our infantry to not be potatoes. And, uh, okay, you know... Maybe, maybe I won't attack the English for now. Let's, let's go deal with the Japanese. I think Japan is scarier late game than England, so we need to we need to do a little something something here. All right, so let's do this. And what we could do, and to kind of accentuate our attack, is drop a fat keep right in front of their base. And uh, you know, there's that's one way to send a message that hey, we're coming for you is to drop keeps in people's bases, right? All right, so we're gonna try. We could lose this for sure. Um, let's set up a keep here with which we can siege and uh, do some glorious battle. Come on, get the repairs going. All right, so now it is on, and you know we like I like you guys said, we're all about the action and the violence here. So we're gonna do this, this, and this. Streltsy seemed to be doing well. Keeps coming up, and holy shit, where did all these villagers come? Did I just pull every villager I have? I don't know. I've been doing that lately on accident. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, but nonetheless, the keep looks like it's gonna go up. I accidentally pulled a million bills for it, so hey, at least we're getting our money's worth. And um, let's fan out. Go lose formation here. Get the bombards, and bombards need to go here, here, and here. You guys attack in, we get the keep, let's garrison in that, make some cannons and whatnot, and the bombards, can we reach? No, we're not going to be able to. Okay. So we need to get horsemen. I don't know what I did with my bills. Clearly some sort of issue. Um, but yeah, the keep there is doing great, and we did do good damage to the army, so we got them overextended now. Let's get you villagers out, start getting on stone again, repair if need be. And uh, horsemen, yes, even though they're potato age horsemen, 
So we need to run up and snipe all three of these real quick if we can. Um, we're going to try to. The Shelty might be able to get in there in time. All right, so one down and two down. Once he loses his core of artillery spam, then we can probably just steamroll from here. Okay, Rams, looks good. Yeah, I've been doing that with my bills lately. Just like I'm accidentally hitting some hotkey to select them all, and uh, it's been pretty troll. Okay, so any gold left on the map? Yeah, we do have that, which is outstanding. Um, how many bills are we at? Oh, wow, we lost a ton of bills there when we when we dove that. So that was a pretty big blunder there. But thankfully, we do have two TC, so it should be able to come back. Yeah, we gotta we gotta punish the Japan. We can't let them just like sit and you know macro and shit, or else we're we're just gonna die basically. All right, so let's delete this and get another TC here. Like I could lose this conflict though. He's probably got a better sustained eco in his back, but a lot of his units are getting farmed here pretty hard. So that's uh, that's nice. All right, so Rams are on the way, and uh, we don't have like the crazy Roost Rams or anything, but we do have some goodness here. Okay. Oh, a lot of bills out there. All right, let's farm those. And let's take our horsemen out here and go hunt these guys down. He doesn't have military infrastructure, it looks like. Looks like he's having some issues with that. Um, so let's get horsemen here, gather you guys. Uh, you guys come over here and start butchering these. And let's go knock down his military infrastructure, because clearly, clearly, clearly he's having some problems there. So we need to uh, take advantage and punish. Okay, we're back up to 64 eco. Not the best, not the worst, but let's get out there. Ramps keep going, and the keep is going to keep farming his units. Good. All right, so now we have another TC. We can hopefully get our wood eco back so we can start spamming rams and stuff. And um, let's get this. We need to get a tower here to get the augmented wood income. Should have done that earlier, but for the most part. Yeah, he doesn't have enough um, He doesn't have enough uh, infrastructure, it looks like. It looks like he's hurting there. Yes, yeah, so we're going to make vendor arms. And do we have army tactics? We have army tactics and biology. Yeah, those are the important ones. All right, so next up we can start with some trebuchets. So Trebs will be very, very good here. We need to get the banded rams. Take all that down. And um, yeah, we can't we can't let Japan cackle. Nanny might attack us, but we do have plenty of keeps, which is why we did this. Uh, all right, so I think we're okay. Like the keeps are gonna disrupt this army well enough, I think. It's just a haggard horseman army. So yeah, I don't know why Nanny would want to attack me with those. Maybe for vengeance for me stealing the relics earlier, which I respect. I respect that, the blood feud. All right, so let's head down, start taking down these buildings, get the banded rams. Uh, let's get this. Cool. And uh, is this a TC here? Oh, that is the town center. Jeez. All right, so let's go get that tower first and foremost and keep this pressure on. We have the triple TC, so our wood eco should be coming back. Enemy neutralizing sacred site. So Nanny trying to save the Japanese, it looks like. I think I'm okay, though. I think I can hold on a couple fronts. Like, I'm going to lose some siege workshops, but whatever. Um, we're okay, I think. Yeah, we just need to gather some reinforcements here. Okay, spears. Meanwhile, we keep pushing the Japanese player. We can't let the infinite gold survive. Um, okay, so yeah, they pulled back. Yeah, that was a that was a weird raid. Japan trying to get into my base, but you know that's why we. There, there's a reason we make walls and shit. All right. Maybe they're working together. I seriously doubt it. Yeah, I don't know. This is like some haggard raiding though, for sure. Okay. I missed those relics. Yeah. That's pretty funny. So the dreaded Shogunate Palace is here. I need to I need to focus. And um, you come over here, and let's get these siege workshops set up. Okay. We'll keep poking in here. Japan is looking around to harass me. Let's get the gunpowder going. I am doing you a favor and taking out Japanese. Okay. I have decent passive, but not even as good as English. Okay, so let's move this way. Hustle across. Um, are we still being trolled here? Doesn't look like it. About 882 per min. Yeah. You know, when you give the uh, exact number, you know, people usually will know, know you're telling the truth. Okay. So we're in the base. As long as Nanny doesn't interrupt, we should be able to get the kill here. Um, that's going good. We have Chad Sky in our base. We're in the Japanese eco. Well, I, it's not that I target anyone in particular. It's if they spawn next to me, of course I'm going to attack them. And we were fighting over relics, so you know that had to happen, right? All right, so let's get the this. And our uh, siege workshops are almost up. It looks like he hit me before that went down. Am I being besieged by something? No, it's just the horsemen. Okay. So farms, I think our farms are not fully equipped. It looks like they might be actually, let's go repair. Okay, nope, hello, let's keep attacking here. 
Rams will keep working, and Bills are coming across. I accidentally did that in a 1v1 game the other day. I, I, I called out all my... Um, yeah, I accidentally called all my freaking villagers out. Um, England moving down. Farms. Get it. Yeah, he's saying, how do I get passive gold? But he clearly knows how to play. He's like, you know. He's just trolling. There's no way. There's no way. Okay. So, yeah, you see, Japan is going to get infinite relics from this floating gate. So, they would for sure be the um, strongest uh, Civ here if we let them. Okay. So, yeah, we can build a couple of these. Nanny having some fun there um, while we deal with the predators. This is the thanks we get for dealing with, like, the big prey in this game. You know, we just get trolled. Okay, cannon emplacement. We got a couple spears. Let's have them fight here. And uh, the Rams can do this, this, and this. And in the meantime, you guys take down Floating Gate. We have to finish our prize because if I let Japan get back, we're just going to be getting trolled again. You know, it's going to be it's going to be nastiness all over here. All right, so let's get the racks here. Do that. You guys come out and try and save the keep if you can. You have another one, and almost almost have done it. And then we can turn our focus on to Nanny. And uh, hopefully just slay them. All right, knights are getting in. We're losing keeps, which is very obnoxious. Those are those are stone is not easy to come by. All right, so that should be the last landmark here. I believe that is all of them. All right, there's not another one hidden somewhere that I'm aware of. Um, all right, so hound's been eliminated. So now we can go up here and bring our full full might of our army back. Let's keep spamming back here. I think we almost have all the upgrades. Let's go ahead and get the court architects for the building health. And now we deal with the gremlins who are, who are trolling us here. Um, one relic, I think that's just their Yorushiru. I don't think it's like an actual relic. I don't know what jollies are going down here, but clearly something something funny is going. All right, so let's hammer these stupid horsemen. And uh, then we can go up here and we have some gold too. They are not mere horsemen though. They're, they're actually gilded horsemen. So trade isn't going to happen. Our army's coming back, so we should be able to squash this. We're going to have to rebuild, but thankfully wood is not a resource that is very scarce. So let's get back on the gold here. Um, food is not great either. Like, a sustained war probably wouldn't be good if it was equal. Like, if we were having equal, like, dynamic engagements with our opponent. But, you know. All right, so let's go deal with that. Um, we can get some of you guys on berry bushes here. And many of you guys can go ahead and start setting up farms in the back. GG Hound, well played. He held well, for sure. Nanny, I think, is just spamming horsemen into my base, which is funny. We'll eventually be able to stabilize here. You just gotta pull some bills from uh, from lumber and uh, get them out and just rebuild shit. All right. Also, maybe some stone walls could be prudent here. I don't know. Let's go repair this. Take you guys down here to go clear this off. Get these. Couple knights coming out. Some streltsy. And we gotta make sure that our food is like as as good as can be. We're gonna be dragged into a hellscape war here. The Doom March. All right. So now we can turn our focuses onto Old Nanny here. And um, we do have a market out here, which um, somebody might try and trade with. Japan, do they have a market? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't see a market when I was in there. So we're just going to say no for now. All right. So let's get Siege, um, Bombards. Although Bombards will be reasonably hard to protect for sure. So we're going to do this. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, and yes. Set that up, and we're going to get like a nice little beachhead position here uh, from where we can push. Okay. Do this. Do this. One, 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 one. And uh, then you can come down here, build some more of these. And let's get you guys on this, this, and this. Great. And then you can build these, 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 and these. All right. So our military is coming back. We've taken a little bit of map control. And um, we took out one player. That was uh, that was one of our adversaries there, and now we may have to deal with another. 68 gold a minute, man. Are these hunting cabins back here fat? Oh. Granted, I know they have their limits, but... Okay, Nanny's coming back with another... I mean, that's a lot of resources to throw, for sure, just to destroy a keep. Um, could be worth, I guess. I don't know. We're eventually going to have walls. Oh, never mind. Okay, there's actually a little bit more aggression coming in here. Okay. Set up a house and jump back onto the trees there. And, uh, yeah, if it's just Gilded Horseman, I, we shouldn't have too many problems with it. The spears will just trade turbo cost effectively into them. We see them dropping on down. We got cannons coming out. It's gonna be hard to protect Artie though, for sure. Like against this like mass horseman style. And um, then we wanna get you like so, and like so. Cool, so then we just force them into a choke point where they can't beat us. Yeah. 
How is our gold per minute right now? 825, so it's not actually as good as I thought. Alright, so that army gets wrecked. Um, and then we just, we can start the Doom push now. We can, we can start. It's a little bit early, but I think we're okay on timing. Okay, so we need to get a uh, Lumber Camp up here to be a little bit more optimal. And we're just going to keep heading this way. Yeah, meanwhile, we just create like a wall, so then our base is a little bit harder to get into. And uh, yeah, now the infantry switch is coming, which is good. It's a little bit too late, though, I think. I think we just get in here and butter this bread. Bombard cannons are going to be hard to protect without many horsemen, for sure. But we do see the uh, the action beginning here. So let's target all these buildings down. That's a really viable tactic on this map, is um, going for um, infrastructure sniping because of how big the bases are. Yeah, so we're just going to go stand on top of our artillery back here, protect it. And um, you keep helping build these. Walls are coming along. We have a gold node out there still, which is cool. Looks like a little bit of split pushing with rams. It's very fun. Let's go get the rams and rams. And uh, yeah, should be able to deal with that, no problem. Head to the base. We got to punish them for the trolling here. All right. That's dealt with. And in the meantime, another wave of horsemen coming out. But they're going to get caught in a nasty choke point here. So let's just keep knocking all these down. And good. So the walls will be finished in a second. We probably need to clear out those berry bushes. How are we looking? Yeah, they're trapped up in that base. I don't know if they have any relics at all. Like, any. Looks like we did have some bills over there, but they uh, they got pulled off. All right, so the last ram is going to die. And, um, cool. I wonder if anybody is, like, close to getting a wonder. I wonder. I wonder if anybody is close to getting a wonder. All right, so let's get in there. Start knocking on Heaven's door. Build a gatehouse here to make sure we don't trap our units. And, um, cool. So now let's move in and uh, continue the demolition. We could have had an alliance, Nanny. We could have been pals. But the, the constant uh, raiding. It was smart, though. That was good because, uh, you know, I was I was in a position where um, where I was fighting the Japanese. And if the Japanese had been able to push me back, then Nanny and the Japanese player could have killed me. So that was actually very good play from Nanny. Um, all jokes aside. All right. El Chad Palace is going to fall. You see spacing on this map? You have to take center control or else you just... You just run out of space. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to conk five. I, I, I'm not conk. No, the highest thought I could probably get would be conquer two. I, I got like one game away from it the other day, and then I started playing business games and tanked it. But I, I can't keep up with people who are conquer three. Conk one and two, I can take games. And, you know, I'm definitely conk one level. But conk three, hell to the no. Um, all right, so this is great. We got the wall off. So this is exactly why I wanted these walls to prevent this shit from happening. Um, nice flank there. Very, very clean. And um, we keep going down this way. And yep, we got spears, but you, you ain't going to harass my base anymore, that's for sure. Okay. I have two relics, bro. He's trying to trying to politic us here, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to counter politic and tell people the truth. I legitimately have two relics. So, yeah, that's, that's that ain't going to get you too far. All right, so we demolish that. Let's move into the base. And um, England is attacking us now as well. So this is not good, unfortunately. This is this is very bad timing for us. Um, so we need to start gathering a army here. It looks like it's mangoes and um, a couple other things. Okay, so you guys, can we build another keep here? We can, I think, slap one down right here. And England is moving at us. Okay. So a lot of random horsemen coming from this way. We could die here for sure, um, especially if we're getting 2v1. Let's get Streltsy, let's do this, and let's just get into Nanny's farms here. Houses, we need to hit those, and um, yeah, we could just kind of keep torching shit. The English army doesn't have any bombards though, so I'm not too concerned about them coming across. We'll have to see. A lot of horsemen just running out in the map doing god knows what. And yes. Alright, so let's come over here, set up lumber. And uh, I don't think this is even Nanny's main base, actually. This is like a little side base. Okay. That was just where the L's back was. Very, very clever. Very clever. The English army might attack us, I'm not sure. But we're going to need to get some defenders at home now. Uh, we do have the artillery. So let's get you guys. If they try and knock down some walls, we can do our thing here. And in the meantime, we got to keep the pressure on old, uh, old Blue. Okay, so we'll get this. We do have an army here. These guys can come this way, and we can repair these walls, I think. Now nah, we're not going to be able to repair them, so you guys just garrison out. But thankfully, the defenders there should be able to fight that. Okay. So this base has been taken care of. We'll just leave the ram there. You guys, in the meantime, head out to the front. And um, we fight that horse army probably no problem. Yeah, we have, we have like, plenty of dudes there, knights and, you know, artillery and whatnot. Also keep, but unfortunately no cannon placement for it. 
Okay, so we got you guys. Let's garrison them in the keep, and um, we'll just keep moving over here. Could do a little bit of siege engineering. As long as the English don't attack me, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. And we'll lose a little bit of Artie, but there's not really anywhere to dive here for them. All right, so we're getting onto farms now with the Bruce. Good, good. Um, yeah, he's going to run back there, but there's a, you know, this isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> Depends if the English attack, really. Uh, he didn't even, oh, he didn't even sign my artillery. Oh, shit. He's going to now. That's for damn sure. Um, and how are we looking here? We're in the farms. Good. So the farm eco is starting to get hammered. And um, did we ever get siege engineering? I don't even know if I got fully black, fully blacksmith upgraded. I don't think I did, actually. Yeah, we got close. It was one upgrade cycle away from finishing. All right. So the farms are idled out front. So that's going to start hurting the food eco. Meanwhile, the haggard horseman raid has been uh, diminished. Oh, English rams. Okay. So we got to pull, like, everybody back now, probably. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go all in on the defense here. I don't know why I have Rams in this army, but if England decides to go crazy on us, we could die, depending on their skill level, because um, England is very very scary. Okay, so let's reseal the walls here. Yes, come over here, deal with that aggression. In the meantime, we need to keep butchering. Yes, perfect. Keep attacking in the fields, and the English are now coming for blood. Yeah, they are. Okay, so we need to get you shooting here. Streltsy, men at arms and spears, and uh, just horsemen spam, although our horsemen never got elite actually, so that's really bad. Okay, so we get elite horsemen now. Nice mango shots into the blob. Nice, good, good, and let's see if we can get another one. We're gonna have to pull back here. Um, we have been able to successfully hunt down most of Nanny's stuff, but our, our army is divided, you know, that's this is uh, not good. All right, so pulling back here. That English army is very frightening, thunderbolts and lightning. And do we have any gold left in the map? Not really. Okay, so it's basically just Lumberjack Party now. I don't know how hard they'll want to fight. I need to definitely keep the punishment going over here. Um, you just head down there and farm there. Good. Okay, so if we can just kind of chill out a little bit. Let's go ahead and Lumberjack over here and over here. And then we need to seal this breach because that's very, very shady. The English attackers have, have done well. They certainly knocked down our gatehouse, so well played. And um, now we continue our raiding here in this uh, in this old empire. So that looks like it's Teal's base. Okay. We have a little bit of siege engineering we could do. So let's grab you guys. Take our armies over here. Try and finish the job. We'll see if England wants to come back and attack. I suspect they will. Which is uh, unfortunate since they... England is probably the strongest if, if, he's, if he's playing up to his par. is going to be the most scary. Okay. So how are we looking on food? Good on food. I don't want to deal with the English anymore, that's for damn sure. Okay, so the farms out front have been torched. One landmark is down for the count, although Elsback could have been re-repaired by now. Uh, let's go get these rams if we can. As soon as this gets knocked down here, we'll try this. I don't know if his army's nearby or something, but... Yeah, it could very well be. Alright, so coming out here. We'll take this and this. Hopefully it's just those two rams. We're gonna head over here with our army. We got, we got bigger fish to fry, for sure. Um, I, cause somebody who has a blood feud against you, you gotta take him out, or else they're just gonna keep coming, the cunny badgers. Okay. So that's been rebuilt, let's repair this wall, and now we can wall this. It's kinda cool, we have a little sacred site in our empire too. Okay, did this get re I bet you the L's back's already been re-repaired. Nanny's a better in a many FFA game, so. I suspect that it is already back online, and you guys, let's go build these walls out. The English with their push. Pink is just kind of exploring their options, you know. They're 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 checking out the market, seeing what the prices look like, you know. But we need to finish our prey. All right. So how are we looking here? Yeah, lumber backing, lumberjacking back into the trees. Um, these are giving us how much? 52 a minute. That's pretty great. But it is it is capped out as well. Okay. Enemy destroyed Nanu's landmark. So there is other fighting going on. It's not just me here. Um, Probably should start saving up the charges of the, um, let's get you guys here. Yeah, we can do a little forward engineering. Did El's Chad get repaired? I think it did. Yeah, we need to just end, end this base. Okay. England is here. We have to start paying England to tithe so they won't attack us. I don't want to capture the sacred, and the re I'll explain why. Um, so there's a bit of a psychological variable when you see somebody capturing a sacred site that makes you think, oh, they're in they have a good position, they're rich. Um, so at this point, I'm, I'm being very conservative to not take it because I don't want to get um, caught up. So we're going to build siege workshops here so we can just ram spam and uh, let's get into the space. Let's get the horsemen back here into the farms and uh, just shut the shit down. All right. Yep, yep, yep. And get, there we go. Okay. Look at that. The, this, is, this is why stone walls are good. 
We need to we need to re re repair this one too. So trying to counter raid me, obviously. Which is smart. Um, idling into the TCs, so we can do this and this. I don't know where all the landmarks are, but we can take the horseman back here and go look and see if we can find anything. And now we're getting flanked, so well played. That's very good, so we're not quite going to get the damage we were looking for, but we will get a lot of Ecos. Okay, so now we need to gather, because we're going to lose this army. He's got a very big force here coming at us, and they're good quality units, you know, the Order of the Dragon. But we are doing a hell of a lot of damage. I mean, a lot of Eco back here is just being harried and wrecked. So I think uh, I think that is good. We'll take this and uh, gather out front. Let's make some Bombards. Outstanding. Looking good. Trying to take down the landmarks here. Let's get this. This is a small TC, so maybe the Rams will get it. And the Horsemen back there are just doing devastating damage. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's see if there's a landmark hidden back here. I don't think so. Nope, just, just a bunch of Horsemen coming out. All right, so we'll gather another Dread Push, and then that should be able to end it. Uh, let's get some Rams here. Uh, repair this wall. Need to do that. Wondering is going to be kind of hard on this map. It doesn't seem like trade is really like a big strategy here. Okay, so how are we looking? Yeah, Rams got the other TC down. That's going to make it harder to recover. A couple horsemen down here uh, raiding the farms. And the food has got to be hurting for Order of the Dragon. It's got to be hurting pretty bad. All right, let's come here. Uh, set up some towers just so we can keep vision. Gather you guys up. Spears and um, Streltsy and Knights are good too. It's going to be most of our gold, but once we have eliminated two players here, uh, we should be should be in a position where we can start just like turtling. Yeah, horsemen are good. Uh, the uh, the gilded the gilded horsemen are definitely great. They they do not mess around. Okay. So we should be remaxed here in a second. I actually am really severely lacking in infrastructure. Yeah. One one one. One one and one one. Okay. Got my hotkeys. We're gonna go take down the Els Chad Palace again to make sure, and then we'll uh, build around it to make sure it's actually dead. And then we just go one, two, and three, and that should be GG. All right, so we're gonna knock this down. Cool. There's obviously some other conflicts going on up top. Okay, so let's move in here, start plowing all this, and we can go ahead and set up a little wall here, and we can do this too, just to make it kind of hard. That's what she said. So the Bombards should kill the Els Chad in, a, like, a couple seconds. We're doing that to make the flanking harder. And I don't know why these guys aren't attacking the proper target. Some, some funny business, for sure. Okay, dive in the Bombards, but I think they're still going to get their prize. Maybe, maybe not. It's actually a good order of the Dragon Army there. It's pretty, pretty solid. Okay, so let's get Knights and Spears. And uh, how are the Bombards hanging in there? They're doing all right. We almost got it down. Almost. It's, it's on fire. Considering... The economic damage we've also done. I don't think there should be too much more staying power from them. Yeah, and we just kind of try and steamroll this area here. All right, let's get some mangoes. And, uh, yeah, and then we can just keep pushing. These archers are, they're really good. They have extra range armor, so they, they are reasonably difficult to kill. Strelzy kind of low on money. All right, is that flanking? Is there any gold left? Is there actually a little bit of gold here that we can take? That would be super nice. All right. So El's Chat is being repaired. Rams need to keep going. We probably need to gather up before we push in again. Let's get you guys and get our own horsemen coming out. Gather and gather. Pull them back. They're in this like weird choke point where I can't quite get them, so it's like it's, it's kind of a tricksy hobbit. Uh, looks like there's some gold being had there, so we can't have that. So let's have our villagers start getting their prison shanks out and do it. And uh, yeah, we just ram spam. Ram, ram, ram. Rams all day. Just drown them in resources, which we should have more of for sure. Um, so let's set up more towers here and here and here to make sure they can't, like, you know, expand comfortably. We do have a couple of knights here butchering the villagers who are trying to build the goods. Yeah, very ugly blob fight, though. Very ugly. Now, why am I making basic archers? That should be crossbows and stuff. The crossbows won't even be that useful here. All right, so El's Chad has not been fully repaired, but now we, now we have the uh, mangoes getting here, which are going to change the dynamic of this fight for sure. Because we've had trouble killing these archers. And that's actually what, um, in my opinion, that faction does the best, is their, like, range units are quite good. Okay, so we're moving in. Uh, that's being repaired. So the rams are on the way. Let's start nailing them. A lot of horsemen here, so we're going to pull you guys back and try and salvage that. So let's get spears and poke. Yes, yes, pull back, pull back. The numbers are diminishing. And how are we looking over here? Okay, so these guys can do that. We have four bills here, so let's also do this. We can do a little something called the old split pushing. 
The old Razzle Dazzle. Um, what is our eco at? 122? Okay, we're a little bit too heavy on eco at this point, so let's cut some of you guys down. And um, we can do this. Cool. I was wondering why the military was, like, fighting was a little bit harder. We, we were just too hard on the paint on um, the other. Yeah, let's get the bank and L upgrade, and we can keep moving here. Take you down. Kind of keep the spears and the knights here to protect. Let's go. Spears protect. Let's get the rams moving up to take this down, and progress is being had for sure. Okay. So, yeah, we want this, 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 and this. Someone help. He escaped with the landmark. I killed Red. Somebody help. Who's Red? Cute kitty. Okay. Oh, that mango shot. All those expensive gilded archers. Oh, the back finally breaks. All right. So this is going to be our split push here, and this should be the end. You can see the uh, landmark here is going to be falling soon. We'll continue swamping these bad boys, and um, hopefully this will finish soon. All right. Come on, give it to me. Got 11 workers. I think we have enough production infrastructure now, so let's go back here. Take down that old Els Chad Palace, and then we just move into the main base. And we also want to pull some bills here, and I'll show you why. Is so we can build towers here to make sure they don't resettle this area after we uh, conquer it. Because that's what happened last time. Turin and his neighbor are natural enemies, but isn't that how everyone plays? Like, all jokes aside? Like, that can't be just me. I think that's, like, how everybody plays here, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like it's it's pretty common in FFAs. Like, why would you let your neighbor thrive when they are someone who poses the biggest immediate threat to you, right? All right. So let's do this and go out here. Move our army there. We have conquered this area. And um, now what we can do... Do we have those bills coming? I could have sworn I had a couple of homies on their way. Is we could do our own little um, wall-off in here. Some villagers are obviously going to try and sneak through. Where are you guys? Come on. There you go. Down there. And we can do um, this. And this. That should be sealed. I don't really know. Nanny says you guys deal with your threat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we see the dreaded Palisade Walls coming, and we have the Legion of... I, I feel like Spaskaya was a mistake. I should have gotten the, the the unique Ram tech. That would have been really good. All right. Yeah, everyone always acts like I'm such a villain, dude. It's like, people... Uh, I think that's just what you're supposed to do. Okay, so let's gather up. Oh, hello. That's a market. We ain't destroying that, I can assure you. Unless my Rams get a hard-on and just decide to do it. All right, so they're moving in. A couple of you guys do this. Rams, no, 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 no. We go here and here, and we just end the game. That's the plan. Oh, a couple horsemen, sneaky, sneaky. Look at that. Probably repairing that landmark right now. But we hopefully can destroy them before they're able to repair the landmarks. We see the English arriving. Okay. Oh, maybe they're just going to fight. That would be great. So let, let them watch. And let's go get the regnants down here. Um, no, 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 no. No. Bad, bad, bad artillery. Stop trying to lose me the game. The English player is at my gates, just chilling out. Let's build a couple more of these. And uh, that should be it. GG. Oh, perfect timing, right as the English player attacks me, too. Okay, so no longer do we have to deal with that trolling. And we do have a market which we can secure. And Annie was coming with the cav. Turn has so many walls. It's not that many walls, to be fair. Okay, let's get rid of the rams. We don't need them anymore. Free up supply. And get rid of the rams. Free them up. Okay. Um, English moving with a good army. Yeah, you did great, Nanny. You did great. It was a good, a good proper scrap. Okay, let's do this. And now we can do this. Let's move out this way. And, um, we still have this. Okay, so you guys need to do this. Let's delete all these so as to not draw attention. And, um, for now, there's a little tower over there. Okay, let's get those walls going. Enemy destroyed Nanu's landmark. Yes. Uh, in the back, how are we looking on food eco? Acceptable. We'll go get some more lumberjacking this way. Let's get rid of the rams. We don't really need them. And that wall is, is going. It's, it's in full effect. Okay, so this needs to be sealed here. Yes. And um, then we can come up here. Okay, so we need to we need to like just establish that, that network there, if possible. Okay, so let's get you. Start trading there. Um, you, buddy, can set up a little wall connection over here. Got to do that. Buy a little bit of stone. Is it being blocked by something? Oh, it wasn't like fully built, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what the issue is. 
Is there any relics in there? I think that was, Ragnitz was literally empty. I, I don't think Nanny got any relics. So that's uh, that's that's good for us, I suppose. No, it was good for us. Now I would have rather have had those relics, obviously. So yeah, you come up here and uh, connect. Let's get you to set up a gatehouse here. This is where the traders can go through. And we just get that glorious glory. Because then they're going to go like through here and through the woods. Ah, it's actually a little bit, might be better to just have the gate be over here. But then that's like in open field, which is very obvious. Yeah, I think going through the woods is probably actually safer. It's going to be a little bit longer, but at the end of the day, it will be consistent. How much are we getting? 72 a pop? All right. So that's good. Keep sealing these walls. Hopefully there's no arrow slits over here or anything. Uh, doesn't look like it. Cool. So this wall is being made. So we're kind of creating like a little tunnel with which where they can or where they can go. We have a very scary English neighbor who could get us at any moment. Gotta watch out. We have a little bit of gold on the map as well. So we've taken out Japanese in order of the dragon. Now we're just gonna chill and bank resources for a while. So we got Vice Bro, myself, um, Cute Kitty, and Utrid. If I can kill Utrid, then it would probably be just me on this side of the map. Yeah, it'd probably be just me. Okay, so let's get you guys to come down here. Um, is there anything? Oh, that's right. We need to destroy that. Yeah, that's right. We didn't destroy this. Where's the market? Yeah, it's kind of a weird route. I mean, honestly, probably just going through the front is going to be more, more efficient. And we can still wall that in such a way that it's going to be like kind of tricky for opponents to get. Yeah, we just go out that way. Okay. All right. So we'll leave these walls down here for now. We can cancel this, get our stone back. And we're just going to go over the top and uh, hang out there. Okay. So they would go which way? Like there? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the way to do it here. Let's get a gatehouse and get the traders gathered up. They're going to be awaiting their journey here. And that should be done in a second. And uh, let's get a little gatehouse here. So we can do that and build a gatehouse. And cool. Vice is fighting somebody. I don't know who. All right. And the gatehouse is there. So now the traders can get in. All right, boys. There we go. That's that's a slightly better trade room. Unfortunately, he just saw my traders. I could go try and kill him real quickly. Um, I kind of wanted to just go for a wander in the back. Um, easier said than done. Uhtred says I'm no threat, but Uhtred, Uhtred is English. I probably should act before I get like 3v1, right? Because I feel like that's next on the agenda. All right. So let's do this. Grab you guys. And uh, we need to get more vills. Let's grab you guys. Come out here and do this. And clear out the middle of the map a little bit. It's like 25G. I have to politic now. Okay. So where are they going? Yeah, he's going up there. And we need to get the trade open here. So we'll keep crushing this way. Yeah, like wondering is, is not very soon. Okay, there's rams on the other side. So let's come down and hit these rams. Like I said, this might have to be where the war, the line is drawn. Okay, let's do that. Don't want these accursed rams to be uh, having too much fun in our empire. We will get it. Yes, we will. Okay. So we see a camel legion coming. So in this case, we would just spam infantry, right? We probably lose this fight. Um, camels get wrecked pretty bad here. What is that? Like, is that the camel debuff? Okay, so we're going to head over here and try and get in Mortal Wombat. And just cut them to pieces. Mangonels are doing good work. Front line's crumbling. Um, we have like 5,000 gold. That looks fine. So, cool. Now we just need to get this and um, one more root here. And then like that. Here and here. Holy shit, that Abbasid base is like very entrenched. Very entrenched. Okay. So we're going to come down here. Try and take down these rams. And uh, gather up our troopers. So those rams should be torched. Not sure what he's trying to accomplish. He could cut off our trade here, which would be very MLG. All right, so yeah, go fan formation. Bring you guys back. Can we get a couple of those, maybe? I think he's going to lose one or two. Spring all's up in the top. Pull down this way. And then we one, two, and three. Get those springs and fight here. Cool, cool. 
And, um, yes, the fighting is now underway. I don't know how strong he is, man. I don't know how strong he is. All right, let's start getting some mango pressure in that gatehouse there. Should hurt. Um, he's going to get the trade shutoff line, so that's trade's not going to be variable. Unfortunately, he's going to get that market, so we have to go back to the old-fashioned way. Really, really nice uh, bricks on the head there, though. Men at arm, and um, we can make some knights and horsemen and keep it out. Vice got them coals. I have to politic here a little bit, try and get people to turn against them. Okay, boys, let's keep going. I think just defending and going for wonder is going to be smarter. Like, the amount of resources I'm going to have to invest in his base is going to be, um, it's going to be really nasty. Okay. Okay, that looks good. And we have our weird empire. We do have multiple layers of walls, which, in a way, these walls will help in the long run, you know, because it's going to, um... Yeah, he can destroy the trade. Uh, check farm supplies. Farm, uh, check villagers. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to get dragged into some miserable grind. I, I definitely don't. I don't know how Teal would have any sort of infinite gold or anything, though. He might be trading. I don't know. He's, uh, destroying this. So what we would do in response is just destroy that market in general. So we're going to come down this way and just destroy it from the inside. Yeah, because he's going to want that trade, obviously. So let's take our traders, delete them. Um, we got a little bit of dough off them, which was nice. Still have some gold here. But we're going to head down this way and uh, destroy that market because, you know, we can't let him have it. Random Wall's doing it. I mean, I think in an all-out war, we might win. It would take a long time. And then we become um, vulnerable to the English attacks. All right. Let's come down here. Yeah, ram spam is going to be real on this map, though. Like, the amount of rams that one could feasibly spam is pretty insane. All right. So let's get you. Do this and this. I don't know if these horsemen are going to be able to squeak through. Let's go see if he left an opening, and then we can just go destroy that market. We can't have any... And nobody can have trade if we can't. All right, so... He's actually coming out to fight. Um, English, uh, he has trade now. I lost it. I need to make peace with him, you know? Yeah, if the English player rolls up and attacks me, it's going to be incredibly difficult. Okay, so let's get our uh, artillery pieces. They can come down here and do this. We can fight a little bit here. So let's go loose formation. Tight this, this, and this. And uh, you and you. Great, great. And then you come down here and snipe this and this. Cool. So we got almost all of his artillery. Just a couple left here. And, um, yeah. The saga continues, man. I have no trade. I know you don't. That's, uh, we can, you see, we can drive back his armies fairly fairly consistently. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's always a little sketchy. Okay, so the English player might attack us now. So Vice and Vice and Kitty can duke it out, I guess. We'll see who, who goes here. In the meantime, I got to deal with this because this is definitely some troll shit. We might need to go just uh, ignore the side of the map. Obviously, we need to take down the um, market, though. We can't let that happen. And we're going to have to battle the English player as much as I don't want to. You know, because battling England is pretty miserable. It depends. Vice might push me, too. We'll have to see. Um, all right, let's go up here, here, and here. Target all the artillery pieces. Hopefully, we can get those down, and um, we can get you guys gathering. Villagers here. Get out and uh, torch these down, please. One, one, one. Cool. And do we get all the arty? As long as we get it, you know, we'll be able to hold their attacks. Yeah, because late game England is just pure, uh, pure foulness. Okay, we'll have to deal with that market later. At least we just keep it in the back of our mind. You know, we know what's going on with it. Uh, let's get the villagers to repair. And now let's gather a Dread Legion. Let's get some Spring Alds to deal with his artillery. And uh, do we have all the uni upgrades? I can't remember if we do. We should probably double check. I think I was missing one. And the blacksmith, how are we looking? Yeah, we have a bunch of like random ass walls all over the place. Vice said he killed Kitty. Uh, we'll see if cute Kitty can come back. It's going to be a tricky one. Somebody's going to throw down a wonder, and that's basically going to be it. Um, I should have a lot of trade here at the Golden Gate. Let's see what we can like get stone-wise here. Yeah, we can get up to 3,000 stone, which is good. But we would obviously need, what, like 8, I think, is what the marker is? Yeah, Jesus. English shedding up some uh, trolls on my borders. Okay, let's just make wood units, wood units, and wood units for now. And uh, let's fight. Okay, so let's move up. Move up with our springs. Find the mangonels. And, oh, he's got Revolve Queens. Holy shit. Okay, this man, this man's serious. So we will get some DACA there. Late game England is really, really frightening, man. It's very frightening. Oh, I like that he's up on the walls. That's that's some cool flavor right there. All right. 
So Vice is probably just going to drop a Wonder. If I lose this fight against late game England, um, we would see we would see a Wonder drop probably. Come on, can we get that? Let's gather up here, do some mangoes and springs, and just play defensively really, and just kind of save up the charges. Um, enemy attacking this. Okay, so we'll have Mangadels in a second. Oh God. This is the old terror, right? Japan is worse, but this is like the old miserable FFA foe of old. Um, Vice is just cackling though right now. Okay, so I'm gonna have to drive this back. We have these springs popping out in a second. Okay, let's move out. And we can take the horsemen around in a bit of a circuitous push. So let's go here. Put them in another control group. So go here. All right, and we can move up and attack here. Have you guys start sniping and get you guys to come and dive the arty in the back, which uh, looks pretty juicy right now for sure. All right, let's get this, this, and this. Great. All right. So all those uh, big expensive artillery pieces should be going down. While we fight. Yeah, all right. All right. Cool. Cute. Looking great. Let's get the mangonels to come and knock these guys off the walls. And let's go um, see what we can find to raid and whatnot. Yeah, this could, this fight could just basically go on forever. It, it's just going to be a, a miserable grind. So England has that golden, you know, on this map you can turtle very well, as you can see with me. Um, yeah, he's, he's deleting spears. While we fight, Teal will grow massive and wonder, by the way. So trying to trying to draw some politics here. Let's go see what he's got. He has uh, he has old market trade. So we need to have like a peace agreement. We gotta take him out, then then we can fight. Okay. So that's the plan. We see the Dong Tower. The Dong Tower is coming. All right, let's head down here. Let's do this. Take these bad boys down. And um, I want to make Streltsy. I think honestly, just potato units is gonna be better at this point. Okay. So hopefully he's listened to our our, uh, our reasoning here. Okay, let's get you guys come down, do this. Um, we're gonna delete a lot of these because they're just in the way and cool. All right, so now he's gonna have less places to hide. We'll knock these down. Get a couple of you guys moving up, reseal these walls when you can, cool. Thank you for the 600 gold. I will take it. And uh, let's go do some like exploring around here and see what he's doing here. Q Kitty's still in the game, so there's a chance that Red can recoup if we can, um, if we can, you know, get that going. Let's take down any infrastructure out here in the front and do some raiding. I do fear the Dong, dude. I mean, that's why I'm panicking here. The Dong was massive and it was in my lands. Okay, so let's take you guys. Perfect. You guys finish the walls. Let's get a gatehouse here. Golden Gate still going strong. All right, all right. Come down here. I know they're trading, dude. I know. They took it from me when I was getting attacked by the English. It's very, very villainous. All right. So you head down here. We, the thing about us is we know the secret passage. Ephialtes has showed us the way. FFA is incomplete. There were some big dongs in this FFA for sure. So we're just going to clear out any vision and, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, you guys go down here. You'll need to fight him at some point. For sure will. Okay, so let's get another keep here. This one got destroyed. Let's sap one down there just to be safe. The thing is he also only has two landmarks. So that's um, that's something to, uh, to take into account. I was not. I got trade, then you took it. Yeah, look at him, dude, with the dirty politics. I love it. Just the straight treachery. Okay, so we're going to go sneak through and take down that market, which is going to be the funniest shit ever. Um, our secret agent uh, guys have, have been hunted, so we're going to just keep riding in circles to be annoying here. Okay. Let's go there. And now I'm going to counter politic by saying when they say that they're, they're I'm going to when I, they say I destroyed the trading I'm going to say I didn't. <laughs> oh the Ephialtes, the, the treason. Oh that market's mine. I'm getting that dude. Oh god, give it to me precious. Okay. Unfortunately the Rams can't fit through but we should have enough troopers there to kill it. So uh no, no. Attack. Attack it. 
Kill it. All right. So that's been torched down. Get that bullshit out of here. All right, now we flee before they notice. Was an accident there. Deleted them for you. Trying to maintain a good relations with Red. Um, but yeah. He's lying. So this is where I have to where I have to capitalize on it. I have to I have to you know keep him secret and keep him safe. All right, so we got like weird layers of walls here. Let's just like drop this. And um, in the meantime, yeah, Golden Gate's just sitting on it. We're not getting any stone. There's no resources. Let's go see if we left any relics in that base. So we're gonna go there. I wish I didn't have to sell food for gold. Uh, Uhtred, did you get the farm upgrade from Mill? I know I shouldn't help my opponent, but if he if he is, I don't know if he's trolling me or if he's newer, but he doesn't play like a new player. Um, so I'm a little bit suspicious here. Our passive gold is about 800. And um, can we get some of these here? Yes. And just in case my other ones are destroyed, 71 a minute there. And we can get you over here, although it looks like they're already there. Okay, so let's go into the Japanese base and check them out. Let's see. Maybe there was a relic I left there for some reason. I don't know. See, in this situation, ironically, um, Byzantines would be... Byzantines would probably be stronger, um, considering the olive oil, but also I have the really good landmark that's going to allow me to get, um, oh my god, we've like, we've gotten all the way to the edge of the map. Alright, so let's do this, 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 um, this, and this, and just get like towers all over the place just to kind of like keep vision. And uh, he says, I don't want to fight you, says Uhtred. I'm literally, I'm actually helping Uhtred. I am your pal, Uhtred. Helping you out. Is he really going to attack me again? Come on, Uhtred. You know you don't want You know you don't want it. If I commit all in, I'm pretty sure I could get the kill, but that's like a lot of resources. And then we're going to get a wonder on the other side. Something sieging us here? I hear rocks being thrown. I hear, I hear, I hear boulders. Okay. Wow, is he really attacking me again? Jeez. So we might need to get the Edu Hostening going. So let's get more rams, because yes. As Roos, especially. Okay. He is He's coming out, so I'm going to go snipe his traps again if he keeps shooting at my gate there. And uh, we see some archers. And let's get you, 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 and you. You guys come out and fight. I don't know how this is going to go. Probably not great. Let's get some Shrelzy and some men-at-arms. And target these down. Good. Okay, boulders and boulders. Wonder's still like a million years off. Well, he attacked. He, he, was, he was sieging my walls. You were sieging my walls. What do you expect? You know? Some some villainy going on here. All right. Streltsy, horsemen, archers. Uh, we probably need to optimize our lumber a little bit, so let's tighten it up. Get this and this and then that. And we're going to have like a million rams coming out in a second. Okay, let's get five and cancel these horsemen. Make sure the rams can get out. And do it. Do it. All right, so we got towers up all over the place. Uh, Golden Gate is still building up slowly. And we've been getting bouldered. We have. There have been massive boulders hitting us in the head perpetually over the course of this, uh, this, this duel here. We have to just unleash the fury, which is Roos Ram Spam. Mongols in the corner. I don't know how that's going. Once the Rams get here, we can push. Uh, do we have all the upgrades? We need to get Spring all the upgrades. Trebuchet upgrades could be relevant at some point, so we should probably grab that. And I know I didn't get all the uni upgrades. I could have sworn there was one I was missing. Um, did I build a uni over here? We have that with two relics. So somebody here has a ton of relics. I'd wager it's uh, teal. Yeah. I only have two. And I took out two players who had none. All right. So we got to start, you know, figuring it out here a little bit. That is not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a problem. All right, so we're going to move up here and push this. Dude, the, the, the rams are coming, yeah. We just are pushing this away from the front of our base. I bet you he has a bunch of relics. He's playing very coy, but I, I'm, I'm fairly certain he's got a bunch. 
Okay, so we're still going. Gathering up resources. And, uh, yeah. I am attacking. So, you. Or am I? I'm just maybe just clearing out the front as well. We just don't want all this siege infrastructure, like, right up on our shit, you know? It feels bad. Oh my god, the wonder is just so expensive, guys. We have a lot of passive gold. He's pretty shady. Not gonna lie. Look, I'm learning the uh, zoomer speak. How does Roost passive gold work? These hunting cabins give you passive gold with a cap of 300. So you can build them near, like, tree lines and stuff, and it will give you um, passive resources. Maybe the English player is the one who has all this shit, you know? Maybe he's, he's cackling. Okay, so... Like, he, he's saying things like he's new, but I like the way he micros his army, it's very um, not new player. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, hey, maybe he's just a natural. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get these mangoes up. Move you here. Move the spring alts there. And now the rams are going to be coming, and we can just start blasting them in the face here. Cool. Let's get these springs over there. Men at arms. Sure, why not? Oh, he's got some springs. Okay, so we need to move him. Yeah, like, see, he's like artillery targeting and everything. So clearly, yeah, I'm going to juke him here and uh, shoot to the archers, and let's get this. Okay, we get the big hammer. Oh, man, that was a lot of longbows who went down there. Uh, granted, I feel like we're going to have trouble finishing the push. Although the rams are in the base, and yeah, they're going to start, you know, getting in there. So let's get make more rams, more of these, and uh, hopefully we can get some momentum here. Let's take down these springs. And the rams are now getting into the infrastructure, which is exactly... And if you're spamming only range units, you can't really deal with that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's that's the plan, is that hopefully my opponent doesn't account for that, and we can just keep, like, pushing here. All right. So the army's not too big. We got a lot of rams coming, and uh, we can make some knights, make some strelt to mix in. Man, those English armies are very, very resilient. Very resilient. We've knocked down a couple buildings, but the problem is he could just rebuild all those, right? Fighting Lake in England is really a grind. I need to, like, make siege to finish him, but I don't want to spend those resources. Yeah, I don't want to spend what it's required to finish the task. All right, so a couple horsemen. Let's go target these, see if we can get some at least value out of these guys. And Streltsy are on the way. We definitely need more um, Streltsy infrastructure because we're not really getting that many of them. So where can we set up? Yeah, we can go back here. All right. It's going to take a hot minute, but yeah, you can see like the English defenders, unless we bring siege equipment, we're not going to get through. Um, it's just going to be a nasty grind. All right, so let's uh, regroup, go for round two. I suspect they um, are doing good. Looking at stone costs, yeah, nobody's buying stone. Could buy, we might as well just buy some. Oh, that's Golden Gate, that's why. Okay, um, stone costs here. Yeah, you can buy some there, I'm down for it. Oh, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. He's killing most of my armies that I send in, you know? It's not like he's in bad shape. All right, but the Rams hopefully will get that steady progress. So let's send the Rams up here, and a couple of you guys can attack there. Perfect. You're in my base. Uh, our bases are literally touching. Our bases literally touch. Okay. So we're going to be backstabbed now. But you want peace? Just ask. Okay, so this is where I have to parlay into peace. Because I'm going to get attacked here pretty hard. So we need to do this, do this, this, and um, we do not have a lot of resources. That's a pretty good quality army. I'll peace you if you help me with teal. Okay, let's see if we can parlay into this. But I feel like the English player doesn't leave his base too often. Done. Okay, so we actually worked that into a political agreement. But you must attack. Alright. So we've essentially spared him. Yes, get him. Okay, we've, we're actually like... We're totally Baron Harkonnen right now. Like, the way we're pulling this into like a political... Advantageous political situation for us is great. So we need to pull back, obviously. We don't want to be diving all the siege. Let's take you guys through the gatehouse and flank around. We can have you hide here. A lot of culverins. Um... They're going to struggle to get line of sight here. Okay, and let's get horsemen. Behold my wooden army. I mean, it all it all adds up, you know? Yeah, the mangoes are hammering away. I don't know how he's got line of sight. He's shooting through that gatehouse here. So let's get behind the gatehouse and just blast there. And you can see the springs are doing it. Okay, so let's start blasting there. Seeing what can get done. And we need to dive some of the arty. 
you guys get this, this, and this. And the mangoes are getting some good shots. Nice! We just flattened a whole bunch of artillery there. Okay. Okay. Gonna need help, though. Because, I, like, a one-on-one -on -one game, after, like a two-hour 1v1 game, maybe we can win, but... Oh, he's using the Manjaniques. That's fun. Yeah, with the, the incendiary shots. All right. Let's rip one more shot here. Unfortunately, they get taken down. And um, we need to regroup now. So we can make some springs, but our gold is really, really tight right now. Let's pull them back into our keeps. And uh, let's take the horsemen. How many horsemen are we rocking? Yeah, pull back and get the horsemen up around here, here, and here. And the rest of you guys gather up. And then when they're in keep range, we push. All right. So hopefully the other players will follow through on their uh, their alliances. So let's get all of you. Dive those with the horsemen. Spears are out of position, so should at least get one. So let's get the mango. One down. Let's get the culverin. Take the freebies. Get the bombards. Actually, probably taking out... Let's go loose formation. And taking out the Manjaniques is going to be better than the bombard cannons. All right. So the army's starting to run out of steam for my opponent. Um, although, I believe there's still a Manjanique hidden in there somewhere. Great. So now that there's not too much more AoE, he's very rich, huge RD army. I think I could fight him off for a long time, though, just with micro and trolling and, you know, evasive tactics. Yeah, uh, probably. The fact that he's not even counter-politicking now is definitely telling. So let's uh, delete these walls here. Although it's not letting us. Okay. We need to get some springs of our own. So now I'm going to actually make an effort to get some spring ults. I am fighting him at my base. Yeah, trying to have these two conversations at once. All right, let's get these bombards. You guys go get this one. These camels are out of position because we flanked, so we're going to get a bunch of arty here. There's one. And let's get another one. We can produce all day, man. All day. We can do this all day. We have a lot of resource banks. All right, let's get you guys up on the walls. Six Streltsy, dude. Yeah, he's trying with the haggard politics, but we got to shut that shit down. De uh, Deathline. Look at his base. All right. So we're going to keep going. We're going to keep grinding him. Let's go get those Manjaniques if we can. Um, our Springholds were able to deal with most of the arty. And uh, yeah, it's going. It's a messy fight. We're going to need some Streltsy, though, to get some stopping power. Let's pull our little Springholds back. We probably got to tone down the horseman because he's making a lot of camels. And there's a keep drop in front of my base. Oh, he does have forward infrastructure, so he was setting up for the backstab that entire time. Well played, well played. All right, so let's get you and you, and that's going to be one down. Should be able to get it. Oh, man, yeah, his artillery is actually kind of tanky. I thought I would be able to pop it in, like, one or two shots here, but nope, not going to be the case. Very ugly fight, though, very ugly. Okay, come on, Streltsy. There you go. All right, so one down. He's diving the spring holds, which we can hopefully just make more now because we have uh, plenty of gold. Okay, let's do that. Pull these guys forward. And now we get this and this. Let's have you guys dive that and that. I think eventually we could starve him out of resources unless he's trading somebody up somewhere else. Yeah, because he's he's losing all of this expensive siege and I'm just losing shithouse units. Okay, so now we probably can start ram spamming back to counter push him. Okay, guys. All in now. I fended him off. So now we push for, for war. And we go kill whatever's in the middle. Good. He's saying he can't defend? I'm like, that's a good thing. I don't know. I don't see the issue here. All right, let's move up. Keep at it. The alliance is, is going. We've gotten a decent amount of stone, but not enough. Okay. Pulling back. And we clearly got some walls right here, so we need to move up and destroy those. Palisades, palisades, palisades. Okay. Uh, clearly, Kitty is fighting, so it's obvious. All right, so we keep moving in. We got the rams coming. And the Roost Ramstein is going to be on its way soon. We can drop a keep here to maintain pressure. Um, and you, Spring Alts, need to move up. Okay, so we are up in the base now. We see some more artillery, so let's get our Spring Legion up. We need to do this to maintain. Um, our guys are very bunched up. And, um, yeah, we do see that Manjanique right there, which is quite nasty. All right, so do we make knights? Probably just wood units with a little bit of Streltsy action mixed in. And we'll grab this. Yeah, I don't think you were weak. You had 30 Bombos a minute ago. 
Yeah, now he's now he's acting 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 like he's all weak and shit. All right, where's the Duhast? There it is, baby. There's the Rams. You can also just sit back if you want, Utrid. That's totally a fair play too. All right, so let's get Rams. Rams, Rams, Rams. We still have 50 on wood. Uh, it's a little bit haggard, so we need to update it right now and do that. Cool. Does he have any RD coming out? He does. So spears. Rams are now in position. Rams to the Ram God. Rams to the Ram Throne. All right, let's keep blasting him. I see his artillery sitting in the gatehouse. Uh, keep at it, Red. It's scared. It's scared. He felt so mighty, betraying me while I was fighting the English. But now it asks for mercy. Okay, so the Roos Ram sign is here. Uhtred says he's killing you? What? What is he talking about? Somebody's killing Uhtred? What weird conspiracy is this? Okay, we have a shit ton of Rams, dude. So let's like fan them out and go a couple different directions. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, scout south uh, of Teal's base. I'm all in there. Yeah, okay. So maybe he'll notice, he'll see that. I'm not sure. Let's try and get this bombard. So we're going to kind of angle for that a little bit. And um, we need to get Streltsy. Let's get that bombard. Yeah, nice, nice, nice play there. He's going to get my, my business, unfortunately. Okay, we did get one bombard down, though. Mostly archers. We're all wood armies now. We're all wood now. Let's be real. With tiny gold. Do camels cost gold, by the way? I can't remember. Okay, so let's get rams. Keep moving here. Unfortunately, these gates are blocking a lot of my reinforcements. And we just keep this up and hope that red actually helps, because this could be a like a hellscape war. I don't have good supply lines here yet. So, you know, we need to um, we need to keep that push going. Alright, so we got the rams coming for round two. We have a keep here also, which is gonna be awesome. Okay, Vice Bro desperately trying to politic. I like it. Respect. And uh, let's move here. We have to we have to correct it, but you know, you all know how much the truth works in politics and stuff. The truth usually is never what works. It's always bullshit and lies, so you know, I don't know. I don't know. How do we play it? Okay, let's keep moving. He's running out of steam. We're gonna knock down these walls here and just throw this army in to do battle. Uh, we'll do this. Do we have any bills nearby? We do have some. All right, so what we can do now is set up a little um, little wall and we can get some trebs behind it, which is gonna be the plan. Rams are almost in, but those Manjaniks, they hurt. They hurt for sure. All right, let's get that cannon tower down and you guys can start on the Rams. Cool. And yeah, we're, we're definitely grinding him down resource-wise, but he's been banking for a long time, so I don't know how good it's, it's actually going to be here. All right, so let's start sieging. Do this. Q Kitty knows. If, if, you know, honestly, a really strong play for the English player would be to just, um, would be to just hang tight and just, you know, basically just cackle. Those Manjaniks hurt. They hurt. Oof, oof, big hurt. Big hurtin'. There's a lot of them, too. It's actually only two. Okay. Not as bad as I thought. Okay, let's get the trebuchets to move up and hit that keep. Knock that shit down. We'll send the rams in waves. And, um, yeah, just archers. Archers and spears and horsemen. Got a couple of bills here. So let's set up a tower there. Rams are cruising. But, yeah, our actual troopers are, uh, are not quite here yet. Okay. Come on, rams. Keep it up. Keeps going down. Slowly but surely, we're making progress. Uh, why do you want to kill me? I mean, Cute Kitty, I'm pretty sure that Vice killed Cute Kitty earlier. So I think that is pretty self-explanatory. Um, that keeps going to go down. Let's keep ramming through. And let's get these and these and keep moving here. Mongols were almost dead. Yeah. All right, so we keep hammering through the walls, moving the boys up. Let's set up a tower here, cute little tower. And um, let's keep moving in with the rams. Good, good. So the rams are going to keep diving in. Ram spam is really, really nasty here. It's very nasty. Okay, so what do we? where do we want to go even? So let's just get all these and have a couple of you guys tear that down. Horsemen, spears, and uh, the trebuchets. <laughs> Look at 
fucking Uhtred. He took a sacred. He took the sacred. That's so funny, dude. Holy shit, Chad Uhtred. All right, you gotta love our boy Uhtred. I, you know, part of me secretly hopes Uhtred wins this. Um, but it would seem our politics, the alliance is formed. So we're gonna keep knocking down buildings and our opponent's gonna keep struggling to make stuff. Dude, Uhtred, Uhtred literally took the sacred side. I'm just gonna let him have it, it's fine. He can have that for now. Okay, knock this down, knock this down. Keep you guys moving up and keep the Rams moving into the base. He's a really, really deep set here. Okay. I want to play? You are playing. You're doing great. Okay. Let's keep going. Move into the base here. Move these trebs up now. The Rams can keep uh, pounding through. Got a lot of artillery. Okay, let's try and dodge that if we can. Take down this cannon tower here. And the Rams can... Uh, oh, he's making Rams too. The, the dreaded counter ram. All right. His army is, yeah, mostly wood quality stuff too. Yeah. Okay, Strelts here on the way. We got the trebuchets of doom. Um, they're probably going to die here, so we need to pull them back. And um, yeah, now we continue our fighting. So let's go get this keep down here. A couple of you guys on this one. You on this. And uh, great. So and then you guys do this and this. Really need to make forward infrastructure to actually get the kill on this guy, I think. Maybe. It depends on how much the other players are helping. Um, Uhtred is a wild card. He just kind of does random things. But I really don't want to give the uh, Abbasid player any time to breathe. We need to we need to get the kill here, right? He's he's shooting. Um, he's got his army chilling. Okay. We see them moving back out. So let's gather up the boys. Uhtred, what is Uhtred doing, man? He's he's just a wild card. He's unpredictable. This base was clearly very laid out for wonders. Um, dude, Uhtred, man. What is this, Uhtred? He's, Uhtred is, is the betrayer. Sacreds. He's, he's trolling pretty good on that. Alright, let's dodge here. And then we can keep the archers coming. Keep the men at arms. We'll keep juking with these trebs. Just being a troll. Yes, good. He says Halo Sacred. Look at that. We, we got the moves like Jagger, dude. He's coming with rams, but he's not going to make too much progress, I don't think. <laughs> I can just make more of these traps. It's very funny. Now he's going to lose all these for trying to angle on us. All right. Okay, let's pull you guys back. Uh, I think unfair. Uh, that's how FFA works. Yeah. So you take out the strongest. All right. So he's got a lot coming here. I don't want to let up the momentum, but the Sacred Sight thing is going to be an issue here soon. Um, I could try a Ninja Decap, so let's try it and see if he's paying attention. Okay, okay. Because Vice is clearly a good player, and if we take the pressure off, he's going to, you know, take advantage of that time and just cackle. All right, let's knock down all the walls here. Looking fine. Uh, you guys go ahead and torch this. We have some troopers in there. So we're decapping this here, and the top one is being decapped by red as well. So this is giving, um, he's giving time to homie. Yeah, Uhtred, Uhtred's giving time to uh, Vice, which is cool. Yeah, he's, he's an agent of chaos. Nobody in this lobby could probably take a 3v1 push. I don't think, like if it was truly concentrated and effective. All right, so let's get you and you, chase, chase. Let's get this going and we can start knocking down uh, the towers here and here, which are obviously cannon emplacements. Do this, all right. Oh, I think I accidentally took my guy off that. That's pretty funny. The top one got decapped too, though. So I think we're fine. Yeah, you can just hold on to that one. You don't really care. All right, so Rams. Rams for the Ram God. Rams for the Ram Throne. We'll keep this party going. Um, and yeah, knock that tower down, that tower, and that tower. Hopefully they'll get there eventually. I still have a good amount of stone. Let's just throw some bills in there. Okay, could scoot and shoot, but I'm going to save my hands in terms of micro. Um, we got three guys in that keep there, which I don't believe they jumped out. They did not. Okay. Can I send a villager up there to decap that? All right. He's got to be running out of steam now. I mean, I'm running out of resources. So I would wager he is also. Are these just taking 10 years to kill these? Oh, my God. These towers are just resilient as hell. Okay. So we got some cannon emplacements, but rams are going to be coming in in droves. Um, we got the decap on this. 
Let's get you, and we can just go ahead and reseal this. Yeah, there we go. Outstanding. He's starting to run out of expensive units, which means the Ram Tide will probably eventually overwhelm him here. And we do get the Sacred Tide neutralized. And, um, yeah. Now we keep it up. He's making mostly Rams. Oh, he has six plus relics. I see them. Oh, look at this guy, dude. Look at this guy. That's so funny. Holy shit. All right. Let's grab those relics if we can. Dude, give me those, give me those relics, man. I knew he had them all. I knew it. There was no way he was able to do that. I knew he was treacherous right there, dude. Holy shit. I knew it. Okay, so we're going to get these down. Take these buildings down to cut off his gold. Rams are countering out. Dude. Yeah, we need to just take all these goodies. We can't let him have any of that. All right, so Trebs are moving up. Let's uh, do battle here. Dude, I knew it. I knew he had six relics. God, I feel vindicated. It felt like a... I was feeling a little bit bad for, like, all inning this guy, but now that I see the six relics, just no guilt whatsoever, dude. None. This is just pure villainy here. All right, so let's get this. And uh, we should have the religious buildings popping up here in a second. Yes, villagers are on the way. And, um, yeah, we're on this with the rams, which is going to take a while. Oh, guys. Nine relics. He was deaf going to wonder. We got to end it. Oh my god, what a what a treacherous, treacherous foe. Okay. More like twelve. See, you can't you can't you can't take it easy on people, man. When people are begging and crying for mercy, that that's usually when they have the biggest schemes in the back foot. English pushing you. Okay, shit, so this is up to me. I gotta finish this shit. Okay. So let's grab you, Vils. Grab you guys, come over here, and we we're gonna need a little bit more support. Um alright. So Rams, let's just get Rams coming out this way. You guys keep going in. Let's take down the House of Wisdom here. And his TC is right there. Okay, so we, we see everything. And uh, the Ramstein is, is, is making good progress. All right, so we just need more villagers. The, the English player is, is, is um, you know, giving in to the Tyrant, unfortunately. Because this, this is so many relics. This is so many relics. All right, let's snipe this, this, and this if we can. See if we can. Well, Lolo's, I respect that. It's pretty smooth. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of that. Let's see if we can. You can't well Lolo Ram, thankfully. So, um, yeah, we didn't end up getting hurt too badly. All right, so that's going to go down. And um, we need to get you. We've got dudes cleaning out all the scraps here on the side. And, uh, yes, all this. We almost got the House of Wisdom down. Streltsy, yeah, we need to make some good quality units if we want to end this. All right. To make some warrior monks to start jacking relics if we can and move everyone in we just need to get all the goodies in here all right so the counterweight chub shoots here dude this man is is just jacked to the gills all right Let's do this get some mangoes going and uh you guys can get more rams also ready to party thankfully the relics are offline now so he's going to be losing a lot of gold income um but we do have vill pulls and we're going to start setting up keeps okay so let's send you guys through, see if we can distract. He's mounting an army that can actually push us back here, so this is a little bit frightening, actually. Uh, don't think we're going to get any of these relics here. And, um, yeah, we can start doing as much as I wanted to save these resources. We need to maintain the siege. So we need to maintain it. All right, let's go knock down this, get rid of his last relics here. And uh, we can get the rams. Got this. Gather up an army. This, this, and this. I really can't deal with red right now. Well, maybe help us kill the 12 relic dude. Yeah, it's, that's probably needs to be a priority here. Yeah, because he could easily come back like Palpatine, dude. Cap sacred sites and attacks into my... <laughs> yeah, there's some funky politics going on here for sure. All right, there's going to be an attempted at Wololo. They're not going to matter, though. Okay, let's target this guy down. And um, we can get the warrior monks popping out. So let's do that. Looks good. And mangoes shoot into that archer blob. And you guys just spam rams. Outstanding. Horsemen, Streltsy, and all the above. All right, so clearly my opponent has got some good arty here too. So both sides are taking heavy, heavy casualties. Let's go down, 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 and then target all these. Rams are still cruising for a bruising. 
But yeah, he's got more gold than me. A lot more. So I don't know how we're going to hold this. We're going to try. No, should have had that warrior monk pop out over here and grab that. Okay, so we got the horseman legions. They're getting in there. Let's get spearmen. And uh, the warrior monk can grab the relic and then take it back over to our base, which was right here. So that's one relic. That's better than what we had before. Let's go here. Keep is about to drop the goods. And we can now start setting up forward infrastructure here. So I'm thinking just like a bunch of barracks. Yeah, because he's spamming a lot of cab units. So I think that's going to be the play. Okay, so let's get the keeps to start targeting all these. Cannon's going and um, looks good. I took one. This guy is just relentless with the, uh, with the with the treacherous politics. Even worse than me. I thought I was, you know, treacherous sometimes, but this is uh, putting me to shame. All right, so do we have any horsemen? We got a lot of rams coming. And those rams are going to knock all this shit down before hopefully it matters. And let's get you guys and dive this, this, and this. We're running out of food, though. This is going to get very dicey here soon. Oh, unfortunately, I brought this guy back. I always do that with the religious characters. Okay, we need to make sure he's not in the hockey group. Great. So Rams are getting in, causing havoc. Let's get those guys going here. And we have a little bit of siege. Now we get archers and Streltsy coming. This is just a messy ass fight. It's super messy. All right, let's get his last artillery pieces. All right. So we're in. Outstanding. There's a chance they might be able to outdo me in food also, like a, a decent little chance. We're gonna try a keep chop here. Knock this down, and um, thankfully we can keep spamming rams all day from these places and rams. We have the keeps, which are putting some good pressure on them, and spears in the vanguard here. All right, so we could keep doing aggressive. Um, yeah, are we gonna lose that keep there? Shit, I didn't notice. I think the rams got it. Yeah, they did, well played. All right, so let's uh, get these rams down. You guys get these rams down. And we did lose that keep, very bronzodia of us. Do this, horsemen. All right, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very tough. I, wouldn't it be interesting to see how FFAs would be played if um, if there was no um, like in-game chat? I feel like that would be a really interesting like kind of showcase of what, what could be different. All right, so let's take these down, pass them around. You guys go take down those bills. Archers, yes. And yeah, we're kind of out of steam. Honestly, we can't really push too hard for too much longer. Yeah, we can do a little bit of that, but he's got more rams coming, so I think just repairing our existing keep is going to be better. Guys, Relic Man will win if we don't kill him. Yeah, I, I need, uh, I, I'm going to need some help because food's just running out. Abbasid, is he Abbasid or Ayyubid? Okay, he's Ayyubid, so it's not going to be quite as bad uh, on the food department. Let's get the rams, move them up. Attack move. Here we go. Ram man will win. It's not. Okay. Unfortunately, England's throwing a wrench in this. Ram man is going to... Teal's going to win, dude. I, I don't know what, what more we need to do to convince him, but yeah, that's a, that's a lot of relics. All right. So hopefully we get the momentum we need here, but like our bank is being so, so depleted. All right. Let's get some trebs. Keep going. u can take down these rams here. He's got rams coming of his own. Um, there is a keep there as well. All right. He, I assume he got the... Oh, my God. This relic. This relic guy is back. Okay. For the last time, I'm not going to use that hockey again. So let's go ahead and cancel this and do that. It's a really good way of getting all your troops to the front. Middle is jack shit. All right. We have to counter politic. Of course. So the rams are shooting. They're doing their thing. We're about to get in. I think he, we might have finally broken the back here. We might have. We'll have to see. His army's looking smaller. And cool. So now we move in with the rams. And we just take down all these goodies. All right. So we got a lot of troopers here. And the rams, hopefully we can take down these relic buildings. So we got to just pour like everything we got into this here. Yeah. Like you guys do this. Uh, Trebuchet's on the way. He's calling in his rams to help him in the fight. Respect. Uh, cannon tower there. So let's get you guys squeaking up here. And you guys take that down and then that. We need to knock off all that gold. Um, you guys just torch this and this. Villagers can be on torch duty. Um, you guys keep moving up. And uh, yeah, we're in the base again. I mean, I don't know how bad he's actually hurting, but let's go for the TC here uh, and see if we can snipe that out while we just keep pushing. Okay, so you guys get that, that, and that. All right, outstanding. Let's get some knights in there. Maybe the knights like will give us a little bit of staying power. Okay, so yeah, he's, he's, he's going after that. We want to salvage these rams so you don't want to just lose them. 
All right, so Rams take down that cannon tower, actually. And uh, hopefully we'll have some trebuchets coming soon. Three. Rams are on the way. And um, we're going to have trebs soon. Do we want to delete any eco? I feel like we can't afford to, to be honest here. We almost got him down, though. We almost got him down. Is that Roos Monk? Did he drop that relic off, finally? Did he get it back to the base? He did. Hero. All right. So can we get any more religious characters? We can. So let's keep moving. Now we just go after the landmarks and uh, get more rams coming in to help with that. It's going to take a while, but we are farming quite a bit. All right. We need to get that siege equipment offline stat. That stuff's like the nastiness. And get the other siege equipment here. Yes, please. Ooh, nice shot. But now we are all up in the Voodico. We got rams working on it. More dudes coming in. Yeah, because if he recovers, I could actually lose some ground here. You know, I can't let homeboy recover. All right, so attack, attack. And uh, let's get you guys. Keep butchering. And more spears. Yes, and trebs. 800 food, guys. He's getting those free desert raiders, too, which is really savage. All right, let's set up a keep here. That's going to give us a little bit of staying power. And uh, do we have enough to spam more rams? At least we do have that. All right, so let's get the trebs coming. Trebs are going to be very helpful. We could just set them down behind the keeps, and hopefully they'll do well. So the House of Wisdom is almost destroyed. It's going to take him a while to repair that, too. Um, looks good. He's still desperately politicking. I, I respect it. Okay, so that's one. And now we just move to the other landmark. That's big. That's, that's huge for us. Okay, let's do this and this. You guys keep doing your thing here. You guys take that down. Bills are uh, repairing or trying to get this keep set up. It's going to be a hard one to finish, but... God damn, dude. That uh, that Ayubid economy is, is definitely better than I expected. I thought he would be drowning, but... Uh, you know, he's had Tithe Barns. You have Tithe with 12 Relics. Or did. Yeah. Let's 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 get, be real here. All right. So let's start knocking down these so we can't make those flanking rams. Um, we do have the cannon emplacements. Let's garrison the villagers. And, um, yeah, we are going to have to regroup here in the front for sure. He's got camels. Um, we have, like, no gold whatsoever. Knocking down some infrastructure. A little bit of burning oil. And the Rus have regathered here. So let's just fight out front. Streltsy. And uh, you guys get this. Okay. So the Rams, we can just force path them into the base. He's trying to repair his landmark here, which is smart. Um, the Rams maybe just got to mix them in with the army, I guess. Let's try and get some critical mass again. Uh, we might need to get some Streltsy. I've had to spend, like, all my bank on this guy. Red, we need your help here. The, put aside that fight with the English. Or is Ing after you? God damn, dude. How is he sustaining like this? Okay, Rams. Time to sail past. Let's just go for the kill. If he doesn't pull back to deal with the Rams, he's going to suffer. Okay. Red will finally maybe get the kill here, which is great. We got the Rams surfing into my opponent's base, so they're going to have to pull back and put some respect on those things. And I'm basically just out of food. This is, uh, this is ugly. All right. So if we can get the TC snipe, then we get the kill, basically. Okay. Archer's getting wrecked by main Janiques. So let's pull back. Let's pull back. Retreat, you guys. And the Rams. Ooh, he's not going to repair that very quickly. Oh, he better put some respect on this, man. All right. So we get the full surround, and now we just start hammering this thing. All right. I think we get. I think we got him here. I don't think he's going to repair that other landmark in time. He's got all his bills trying to repair that shit. Oh, finally. Dear God, dude. Such so obnoxious. Oh, be gone! Be gone, Spawn of Darkness! Oh, thank you. Jesus. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to just, like, get some... Do we have any bills around here anymore? I don't think so. Okay. He didn't see my ram slip by. Those were literally my rams. My sneaky, sneaky rams. Okay, so we need to get, gather what we can here. Uh, I don't think we have any more religious buildings. Cute kitty's got the wonder coming up. Nice. So now we go for the... Um, do we go for the counter sacred? I think that might actually be a good idea. All right, so let's go for the counter sacred. And um, and let's get this. GG's. And um, we deal with the uh, counterplay here. All right, so let's grab everything. Head up north to Cute Kitty's base. On the way. All right. So you come over here, buddy. Set up some of these. And we just head north with our Ram Legion for now and try and uh, do a little something something. It's going to take a minute, but... That, that Mortal Kombat drained all of our resources. Going to watch the stream. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friend. Well played. 
Okay, so let's get you guys. Set this up. We need more vills. What is our vill count? 76. Pretty poor. But remember, moguls can't get walls, so there's a decent chance that we can um, we can uh, we can do something against them here. So one, two, three, and then three, and we have the warrior monk coming out of here. So we need him to jump onto that, and then we need to pull some. I can't afford to pull any food bills, like I straight up can't. So we're just gonna pull these bills here. Sounds good. Yeah, good indeed. Yeah, but like it's a it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't, because the um, the uh, freaking Mongols uh, he had twelve relics, he had to go. Yeah, there was no way like we had to kill the other gentleman. All right, so we're gonna grab these real quick. Yes, yes. Hopefully, get them in our clutches. Move up, and we already have like a very siege heavy army, so that's good. And um, we should have a character popping out soon to grab that sacred. So we're in the Mongol lands, and the wonder is, I don't know what base it's in. It's probably here, considering all the towers we're seeing. So we're going to do this. All right. So let's grab that. Let's grab that. Grab that. And that should be enough. So for now, let's go here and secure this wall and then set up a post here. Should have the dude popping out to grab that. So now I'm all in attacking. Yes. Yes. Yes, and we can do this too. I'm sure there's more relics laying around, but yeah, we're getting in here. I don't know if this is even the main base. Let's actually run through and see. I, I presume at this point somebody has lumberjacked through. I already see towers there and everything, so red's going to come flank, but thankfully rams don't care about being flanked, so they care not for the flanking. Okay, red's got a, a, a good little army here for sure. Let's cancel all this and do this and get some Mistrelty, get some good units, and uh, we need to seal this wall off before they get there and then um, see what this looks like here okay so they have dropped off the relics outstanding and we can get this here and then um, I think that's gonna be most of them I think the other ones got like taken and hidden somewhere but it is what it is it's fine all right so this is like kind of obvious here but we need to do this um, these guys are trying to find a way through to decap so we don't want that to happen and what do we got 12 minutes left Jeez, that's gonna be tight Okay, 90 bills, and you drop that, you drop that. Outstanding. So now we can do our thing here. This army should be stopped. We don't have the other one even close yet. So we need to wall this off also. Okay. So that's going to delay that for a moment. And uh, do we have more bills we can call? Um, that's going to be butchered. Good, good. The warrior monks are at the ready. We got not too much time. Not too much time. I'm still going to push the sacred, though. I'm still going to push it. But red's got a good army over there, so I, I suspect they're not going to let that happen. All right. So let's gather up. We have a very, very short window of time to do this. But, um, you know, we're going to try our best. So let's clear out these towers first. And um, from there, if this fails, then we just basically have to push, um, you know, and give that a try. Which is going to be hard. Mongols, don't, they don't have walls though, so ram spam can do it. But my bank from that other conflict is basically destroyed. So um, that that's going to be tough. The English player fought valiantly, it would seem. Um, let's bring you guys up. All right, do this. Do it. And um, now we're coming to party. All right, so let's start this uh, this little outpost here. We're going to try and grab the sacred. We only have 11 minutes. But the other sacred is very safe. It's in my base now. So if we can just like secure this one and Helm's Deep it, that's going to be pretty big. All right. So we're moving here. We're going to start gathering it. And villagers can start doing the Walls of Doom. Okay. So Red's army has been cleared. We're going for the sacred here. I believe this is fully walled now. So I don't think we need to worry about that. We got more vills coming up. A little bit of flanking going on. But if I can get the sacred site, that's going to be pretty massive. But it's going to be very hard to get right now. All right, so the monks are here. Let's pull you guys down. Need to keep the warrior monks there. Trying to fight on it. Might be able to. Um, I think they're going to beat us to it. I think they're going to beat us to it. Although, I don't know. They're getting pushed off pretty quick. Fair amount of units here. Yeah, 25 seconds. It's tight. It's tight for sure. Let's get you guys there. Streltsy are definitely mowing shit down. We got 19 seconds left, so we will do this, this, uh, this, and then this. And uh, just keep trying to push them off. Yeah, 11 seconds. Ooh, that's that's close. That's very close. Holy shit. Yeah, we actually can get it here, potentially. 
Okay, so you guys keep walling this. Holy shit. We're ahead by like a couple seconds. Let's get some mangoes. Keep doing their thing here. We need to get these walls all secured and shit. Oh my god. All right. And you just finish this wall here so they can't break in. And, um, yeah. Okay, let's defend. I will delete, let you decap if uh, Wonder gets destroyed. Alright, so I'm going to be an honorable bro here. You know, and try and, uh, and try and delete this and give the English player a game. Because they've certainly earned it. Wow, that was really, cl really, really close. So we need more reinforcements up here. Let's get our entire army. Mongols are going to come in like a wrecking ball here, but I suspect they're kind of tight on resources. All right. That was really close. That was real, real close. Okay, so let's delete this, and then we can get you to do this. Ready for a little bit of insanity here? I am. I'm ready for some insanity. Let's have some fun, dudes. Okay, so do we have enough for forward supply lines here? We do. We can get some uh, some castles and shit. Mongols are learning. Holy shit. Oh god. I need help. I need help. There's a lot of them. Oh god. Okay. Help. <laughs> On the walls you go. Get onto the artillery. Spam it down. Attack it. Attack it. Oh man. Okay. The strelts here are doing good. Sacred. <laughs> They're at the sacred site. We're trying. Oh god, dude. There's no way we're stopping him. There's no way. That is so much artillery. Oh god. Oh my god. The walls are getting just flattened. And I, I, I didn't have good supply lines here, so I'm not able to really, really do much. Unless the English player arrives and it's just the hero that we need. Um, this is not going to work. I'm in his base. Okay. Hey, that works too. If it's a distraction, that also works. But dear god. <laughs> Look at that army. I was not prepared, dude. I was like, that was, that was, I was not prepared. Okay. So what we need to do is get all of this. Um, we see Red's base in a little bit of danger. And um, let's keep calling over Vils. You got me, bro, he says. Finish it. <laughs> or her. Not sure. <laughs> all right, so let's finish. Get the snipe. Go after it. Yeah, Sacred Sight got decapped. So now we're just all in like war mode here. So we need to just mass springs, clearly, because that's just like a pure nastiness army. Um, we see turbo mangonels flying over there. This person is all in. Um, yeah, this person's all in. Let's delete all this stone, delete all this stone. And uh, we just delete these because it's all in the way. Yeah. It's so annoying how it's like won't let me delete it. I wonder why. Is it because somebody's nearby, perhaps? Well, anyways, let's move up here. Battle this army with what we got. It's very, very haggard. It's just the scraps. And it looks like it didn't happen here. And, um, yeah. I guess the English army's fighting, but I don't think they got any serious uh, steam. We're going to have more units coming. 4,000 food is pretty pitiful, dudes. And let's you guys, Streltsy. Uh, we can make some knights because they're awesome. Roost knights are super cool. And get more of you. And our eco villager horde should be on its way. But we have like, we have the uh, relics. So, I mean, if we can somehow get this. No dice, huh? I think that was our chance. You know, we had to team up together, but unfortunately, um, we weren't able to defend the sacred site. Didn't have the tools there. I needed to stop that. All right, so where do we go? Probably here for the infrastructure. So let's set up, uh, firstly, uh, we could do a couple of keeps, maybe. So we could do keep. Uh, Keep and yeah, well, let's we'll just head over there for now. Shit, the con is there. All right, so let's get this guy and head over here. Okay. I have no win con at the moment, so def kill it. All right. I don't know what he's worrying about. He says, I have no win con. I'm like, dude, it's like just decap him and destroy my wonder. I will let you decap. Yeah, we're, we're trying to politic here. Holy shit. Okay, there's a bunch of archers over there. That's not good. All right, so you guys cruise. Horsemen, Streltsy, all the colors of the rainbow. Let's get in there and party. And um, now we can start setting up the rams. This is going to be tough, man. We probably have to set up a keep back here just to, like, secure this. 
Villagers are getting hunted. Let's just keep them alive here if we can. So get a couple spears to help. Keep the villagers circling. Looking good. More troops on the way. And yeah, they're just going to keep hustling. We need uh, we need more. We need some milk here, for sure. Okay, now they're going to turn around. But we'll keep these spears nearby. And the keep's going to be secured. So we're going to guard the bills. A little bit of micro there. Should be good. Yeah, we have to hope the English player is going to be able to help. Because otherwise, we're just toast to roofs. Bring all there, just whatever. Who cares? And um, yeah, the keep is hopefully going to finish in a second. All right, we got more troops coming. Trying to set up supply lines. Um, you guys keep duking it out wherever you can. We got like five minutes. I mean, if I get here, I can trev it. Maybe, maybe trev it. That's like a big, big maybe. All right, so the keep is going to go down. And then we can get a uh, bunch of siege workshops. So we're going to start on that. So let's do this and then that. Outstanding. Keep going. We could send some rams across the map, but they're really slow. So I prefer to build them here. Yes. Good, good. Uh, I don't know. If, yeah, Byzantines have won a couple. I haven't won with them in an FFA yet. I've come close. It's not that they're not capable of it, but yeah. Enemy neutralizing sacred site. It's fine. Maybe a little uh, kind of relax the stressed uh, nature of my ally here. Okay, so we need more uh, workers up there just in case we get wiped. So let's pull those workers and just dive into the cannon towers now. We could siege engineer a little bit. Okay, let's siege engineer. You guys get on the rams. Get these workshops pumping the jams. We're going to do that. We only have three minutes, so it's looking pretty damn bleak here. So we finished this and this. We didn't yet. Okay. And um, now what we can do is we can do a little bit of a cheeky play, which will keep them from flanking. Uh, go for the wonder. It was close. Oh, so he just barely failed, he's saying. Yeah, well played. So we're going to set up this wall here, which will keep them from um, flanking me while with my artillery and stuff. So that's the plan. Let's get some trebs going here. Um, villagers, that's enough. So now we can start setting up siege infrastructure or just infantry. So let's put that in seven and then five and five. Okay. All right, so we're moving. That wonder is looking pretty good, though. Um, we got the walls being set up on the side. More villas should be arriving soon. That is literally hell on earth right there. That is like every every Mongol player's power fantasy, what you're seeing there. So we need to get springs to just gap them down if we can. Don't see that going super well, though. This is going to be hard. All right, so let's gather up. What have we got? Two minutes left. Treb range is pretty close. If we could just get a little bit of ground, then maybe, maybe we could do it. All right. Yeah, so wood's out too, guys. We're kind of all in now. Going to need the English player's help. All right. So let's attack up. Let's get our little adorable spring alts. Look how small and, and fluffy they are. I wonder where they were trading too, this Mongol player. Mongols can build wonders very easy because they don't need stone. So that makes them one of the best FFA saves, in my opinion. I think Mongols are pretty top tier. Okay, let's do this and watch for the trolls. So there's the artillery. So let's start sniping it if we can with the spring alts. Dude, look how quickly they kill shit, too. It's nuts. All right, so we're getting a little bit of progress. We killed, like, two mangoes. Now they're going to pull back, but, you know, the Trebs are going to keep knocking on Heaven's door here. And uh, let's get Spears to protect. Unfortunately, the wall didn't get finished, so, um, you know, my whole plan went out the window, basically. Yeah, and we're going to get flanked here. Unless the English player comes up soon and helps. Oh, I have, a, I have a funny play. You guys ready for this? Okay. So Spears, attack. I don't think it's going to happen. Unfortunately, I think we're going to get folded up by all these guys here. So that sucks. I, what I was going to do is wall this. I, I was going to say that would have been pretty funny to just do like a little secret wall here. All right. So you guys tuck in the corner, see if there's anywhere to hide. And uh, it's probably GG. I think it's GG. Yeah, we're trying to fight here, but there's just too much. And um, I think I'm more or less alone in it. The English player might be pushing. I don't really know. We had more villagers arrive. GG probs. GG probs, lads. Yeah, if Uhtred had gotten the kill on it, maybe there's a chance, but I don't know. At this point, I think we're I think we're done. Okay, how's it looking there? Not so good. We got just tons of troops coming around. Uhtred does fight for England. Yeah, he does. He's great. Uhtred's been a mighty champ, dude. He made it all the way to the finals here, but... Man, with that relic situation... If only, if only. We were so close to greatness, you know. We're so close to greatness. Yeah, all right. So, let's just keep you guys going. I've been replacing wood villagers, but, you know, the thing is we're spamming, like, 9 million rams. So, of course, we're going to run out of wood. And you have to pull villagers. I had 12 vills at 35 minutes. Yeah, Mongols, and you're, you obviously played very well, and Mongols are pretty good at recovering, too. The fact that you can pack up and run. English didn't check the corner thoroughly. That's how they get you. And the Mongols multiplied. They sure did. They sure did. Mongols and Jean are best wonder sieves. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. 
Especially since the patch where Mongols got the uh, stone towers. We're doing another FFA, yeah. We're doing one more. Um, but this next one, guys, is going to be a special one. It's going to be a team FFA. Um, so it's going to be like fast. It's going to be furious. GG, well played, cute kitty. Great game. Great game. And I had to use everything to kill that 12. I don't know how I managed to kill the 12 relic guy, but we, we got there eventually. That was just nastiness, nastiness. I said Mongols were a real threat. Uh, they both were, to be fair. 12 relics with tithe is OP. Yeah, they were both a threat. There was nobody there who wasn't like a, like a threat, you know? Everybody in that game at one point was like pretty solid. Thanks for joining tonight, guys. It's been a really fun one. Hopefully my game doesn't crash. I want to look at the map. Smeagol has a map. Uh, yeah, you can have go ahead and have Smeagol set it up. But my parameter for you doing that, Smeagol, is that you make it public to everybody. I don't want to, you know, just invite uh, only only people from Discord. I want everybody to have a joint. So just name it Turin FFA Lobby something official, whatever, and then um, set it up. And yeah, but you can you can do it. Smeagol says he doesn't have the map. Okay, well, let's see. How close are we? So the English player, how did he? Oh, he came around the back. Oh, did he come around the back here? Was he like sneaky, sneaky? I don't think so. It doesn't look like that's what happened. Hmm. That was a really fun one. It was a great match, dude. Cute Kitty, scrapping back, well played. You know, this is so nasty, dude. Mongol, like, because they get infinite stone too, so they get their, um, they can get those sweet, sweet uh, cannon towers all over the place really clean. God damn, though, killing this Ayubid player was nuts. Why was it so hard? He had a lot of infrastructure down here. I guess I could have split pushed that, although it was behind his, his TCs. God damn. Joan of Arc is better just because French are the best at French. I mean, France, Joan of Arc, and um, Mongols are definitely the best wonder sieves because all of them have ways of getting past the stone requirement, right? Um, allied? Yeah, Allied, go ahead and uh, host it. It's fine. If, if you have the map, that's fine. Yeah, we're doing a custom map, but it's a 2v2v2v2. So Allied's going to host that, our boy, and um, my, my, Cal my California buddy. Let's look at the resources. We probably had the best wood. That's what she said. Uh, let's look at the wood count. Oh, no, it's, we need to look at stats. Shit, maybe not. Looks like Vice Pro had really good wood, too. So we had the best wood, because Roos always does. For anybody in chat saying, I, I didn't do a good job gathering wood, here you go. <laughs> here you go. We gathered wood. Teal, yeah, P Teal politicked well, but the politics didn't end up mattering, because Red had their own agenda. Red wasn't helping me. It was all me against Teal. Yeah. So Allied, go ahead and host the lobby, since Smeagol doesn't have the map. Um... We did have the most gold too. Wow. Yeah, th those those relic um those those uh hunting cabins plus the high trade house guaranteed us like 800 gold a minute, which made us like very similar to uh to English, right? Cuz English an English player with optimal play will get like about 1000 gold a minute in a late game FFA. So we were like 8 900. So we were kind of like Roos English. That map was very good for Roos. GG, well played, man. Great game by all these champs. That was super fun. All right, so now we're going on to round two. This is going to be a casted 2v2v2v match. 2v2v2v2. Having trouble saying it, but it's all good. I consider this as a turn when he got all three of the OP civs killed. Yeah, that's not true, though, necessarily, because Order of the Dragon is not OP. They're, they're actually on the weaker end of things. We did kill Japan, and we also took down an Ayubid, which are both relatively overpowered civs. But um, Ayubids aren't as OP in FFA, I feel. Ayubids don't feel that bad in FFA. They feel more like they're overtuned in 1v1. Japan, though, yes. If we didn't kill Japan, they could have easily probably had 30 relics there in the late game and been going hard, so. All right, let's check it out in Discord and see. Allied is hosting the lobby. Let's find our boy. And where is he? All right. So scrolling down. Allied hosting 2v2v2v2. And we're all set. GG, well played. Yeah, Allied is hosting it at the moment. All right, so let me find him on the friends list. We got some new homies being added. You guys are helping me crash my game every time I open the uh, the offline friends list. It's perfect. The dreaded ham sandwich. Man, we had a crazy FFA last night. I can't wait to post that one for you guys. It was like almost three hours long. Recorded all of it. All right, so Allied, Allied. He should be here somewhere. Online lurking. Okay, he's in a lobby. So Allied is hosting. Glorfindel, thank you for the 50. Team FFA, very cool. Oh, by the way, Allied. Um, hey. All right, one sec. I got to make sure this is good. Hey, so 
Every team must be playing same two sieves. You are using Nanny Yori's map, right? Yeah, I'm talking to him right now. This was the whole thing. So you're going to have to download that. Message Nanny and DL it. So that map standard. Okay. So each team, same sieve. Unique. All right, so we're going to hopefully have, like, Team Olive Oil, maybe Team Deli, considering Allied's playing. Should be fun. And uh, Ham Sandwich, I'm ready for you to post it, too. Dude, Ham Sandwich, you were a terror in that game, dude. <laughs> you had me down to, like, 20 villagers at one point. I was like, I'm too weak. Help me. All right. Uh, I agree differently. What I used was a pure wood army on a map with gold. I, uh, uh, Order of the Dragon, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel they're kind of weak. And, and in FFA, maybe they're not bad. But if you don't get relics, here's the thing, Arena. Like, I was also being attacked by the English while we were fighting. They were like ramming and attacking. Like, I don't know. Order just feels like so gold hungry and so tough. Like, I don't see what Order would do. I guess against the Streltsy army, they could mass archers because their archers have ranged armor and stuff, maybe. Already full, yeah. Anybody's welcome to join. Allied's hosting it up. Um, all right. Let me add you. Okay, and here we go. Got to plan an FFA tournament soon too. I don't know when we're gonna have it, but something this week. It'd probably just be something the night before. I just announce it to what kind of signups we get, and with a maximum limit of what? How many pods would we want? Eight. I don't. I wonder how many pods we could actually fill. That would be really interesting. I wonder how many we could fill. There's Smeagol. So here is uh, Allied still doing his lobby thing. And you can also find the lobby by looking through public lobbies. Order the dragon is strong in one v one. All right, let's look at the let's look at the data on that actually. So, I I suspect Order of the Dragon has like a forty five percent win rate at high level one v one, like Diamond and Conqueror. Um, okay, where would I find this? AoE four world? Are they keeping track of all the stats? All right, so statistics ranked one v one mode. Holy shit! Okay, so these are um, pretty wild. Okay, so this is not giving me the overall. Let's see. Yeah, this looks about right, I suppose. So if we take a look here, uh, Joan of Arc is extremely OP. Obviously, she's sitting at 56%. Ayubid's also very OP, as, as expected. Jushi's top tier. Uh, Ottomans, I think, have some good counterplay against Joan, which I think is one of the reasons, and Jushi. So Ottomans doing very well. Uh, Mongols are really powerful in the meta right now, too, in Japan. So if you look here, Order of the Dragon at 48%. Um, Byzantine's at 43%, which is brutal, brutal. Yeah, Byzantines definitely feel weak. Order, um, but this isn't showing like ranked level. Okay, so let's see what it is at the highest level of play because this is going to be slightly more accurate for what I'm experiencing in my games. Not accurate, of course, but for my experience. Um, Malians, it's wow, holy shit, is this is this real? Malians at sixty percent. Um, all right, fifty. Yeah, Mongols have been dominating a lot of games I've been playing in. Like I've been running into a lot of top tier Mongol players. Joan, Ayubids, HRE. Wow, that's cool. Rus and English. English are good in the meta too, I think. Um, Byzantines in the pits and Order of the Dragons in the pits. So if we're talking like higher level gameplay, uh, you're seeing these two factions are really sucking. Like really sucking. Which uh, has been my experience too. As someone who lost six games in a row with Byzantines <laughs> last night, I, I can, I can uh, my anecdotal experience hopefully uh, has some credence. To be honest, I was kind of, I wasn't like tilted, but you know, when you lose a bunch of games and you're just like, I'm going to win the next one, I'm forcing Byzantines. Yeah, it can happen to you. All right, has Allied started the game yet? Okay. Uh, different people. Yes. Malian's eco right now is futile and Castle is crazy. Yeah, Malian seemed good. Yeah, no, we can't, we can't. Yeah, we can't. Sorry, I was reading the stats. No, it has to be different people. People can't play twice. We want to get new people in there. Byzantine play. Yeah, I think Byzantines are fine in FFA. I think they're fine in um, like team and longer games. Where Byzantines really struggle is they're really slow and... I mean, they can go feudal pedal to the metal, but it just feels like they take a long time to get going. You know, the olive oil mechanic is just like, it takes a long time to really kick in. And if you mine early or farm early berry bushes, your age up is going to be slower too. So that sucks. Like maybe they should give Byzantines a bonus for berries. So then you can hit feudal at a good timing and also get the um, pressure out from the, uh, from the mercenary camp. 
Uh, shouldn't it download the map for me when I uh, try and observe it? What's the name of the map? Volcanic uh, Meteor Impact. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go to mods. So we have our one of our map makers here, Nani Ori, um, has made a mod, which is going to be used in this one. Meteor Impact. It's just like a picture of a random woman there. <laughs> what is that? All right. Freshly Fallen Star. Oh, that's cool. All right, subscribe to that. The download is going, and we should be good. I didn't read it correctly at all. Probably not. All right. Okay, so where are we at? Allied Trex, the Dark Lord, is he here? Where is Allied? Come on, Allied. Get that game going, boss. Got two more people. Let's get him on the friends list here. Okay, okay. Been having so much fun with this game. Been having so much fun. French is countered by most civs these days. Hmm. This game will be haggard. Why is that, Allied? Because <laughs> you're playing a Civ that you don't play? <laughs> yeah, it's 2v2v2, man. It's a big old team battle. There's no teams together. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Why? Did you forget to start with teams together? <laughs> Did you forget it? I mean, I'm fine with that. It's going to be really chaotic, but, you know, it's, it is it is what it is, you know? All right, so scrolling down, we got to find old allied. I really wish there was a way to search your friends list. That would be a super nice feature. I just saw how easy it was to get the map. Why on the, I know. Warhammer 3 is just so janky. It's a great, it's a game and I love, I love it. I'll continue covering it. I have a great time with it, but when you see like what other modern games provide you for multiplayer, okay, I'm getting a match invite from somebody. I'm trying to find my boy allied here on this list. Where is he? God, come on. Did he like crash? Okay, he still says in lobby, so maybe the game's still going here. It doesn't have it. I'll start. Uh, I'll start it when you're. Up. Yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and start, Allied. You're good. Uh, what does the Delhi team do? Okay, so Delhi, their biggest strength in FFA. There's two. There's two things. Well, three. Number one. Fast castle relic grabbing. Delhi is going to have several uh, scholars by the time they reach castle, and they can actually do a feasibly fast castle. So they hit castle, they have five scholars on the battlefield, they grab five relics. They can do that really, really well um, and just get a ton of relics. Number two, Delhi gets cheaper keeps, which is massive for not only wonder defenses, but also for their eco because they can produce villagers out of their stone keeps. Number three, elephants can be pretty good at cheesing bases too. So um, I would say those are like the big strengths of Delhi. Uh, I'm not hosting this. We're going to be casting it. Allied is starting the lobby here in a second. Um, his name just disappeared in front of me. And uh, there he is. All right. And let's do it. But yeah, Malians, Malians do seem very strong. I, I'm not really very good at them. I don't know the builds. I assume you just do greedy, like not greedy, but cattle under your TC and just fast castle. That could be it. Lob the lobbies do tend to fill pretty quickly. Yeah. All right, Allied, you can start the game. Let's snoop on his profile while we're, we're seeing. Let's see how he's been doing. You've been playing some old ranked allied? Hell yeah. All right, he's getting there. He's he's grinding. He's grinding. Okay, here we are. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the future of this game, though. What are some other variant saves we could see? What suggestions would you guys have? We are stagger team, so be prepared for it. I'm ready, dude. Just go ahead and start the lobby. No, no rush. Um... The Golden Horde for the Mongols would be really cool. I don't know how they would like what they would do differently, but yeah, like a Mongol variant Civ, the Golden Horde. Um, I don't I don't know like that much about the history of a lot of these nations. Obviously, there's got to be a Scandinavian Civ coming at some point. I think Poland should really be added too. I think Poland would be super fun. Um, getting like the winged hussars, that would be super super rad. Getting like some like really fast like Polish shock calf, that would be super fun. New World Civs will be next. I'm super down for that too. Like some New World Civs? Yeah, that'd be really, really fun. They usually do them. Good. That'd be great. Lionheart English, Teutonic Order. All right. Hey, we're getting in there, man. Yeah, you guys got some good ideas. All right. So he still hasn't started yet. Yeah, Ali, go ahead and start, man. You're good. What would the Roost variant be? Uh, I don't know. I don't know too much about Roost history, honestly. Like the Roost Princes and all that. They, they certainly have a lot. I mean, like, there's certainly different subsects of Roost culture. Um, <laughs> America has an English variant. It's a little bit too late. This game, I think, mainly focuses on, like, 7 or 800 AD to, like, 15, 1600 AD. So that wouldn't, uh, you know, wouldn't quite be there. 
Yeah, obviously getting more unique civs is better, but the variants are still really fun. Dude, what if Allied forgot the Observer feature? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Sorry guys, we're doing a different lobby here. Aztecs or Inca? Hell yeah, that'd be really fun. Turn, should I be doing my reps in quick matches or ranked? Uh, you know what? It depends. Like, it's a more efficiently climb. You can just, you can do both. Like, you, you're you gonna have like, um, a different elo for each one. Like, I have, I have 1500 elo for 1v1 quick match and I think like four, around 14 for, uh, ranked. <laughs> Roos get Rasputin as a hero. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we got Team Delhi Sultanate. It's gonna be allied Trex and a butter on my teeth. He's been in many games. Ark of the Black and Foghorn Leghorn, the Dark Lords of the Ayubid Empire. Jushi's Legacy, helmed by Tron and Evilos. And Trusty and Rexosaurus gonna be the Lords of the Holy Roman Empire. Bringing it out, baby, let's get going. This is gonna be real, real fun. All right, oh my God, look at the spawns too. Look at the spawns. Can, is there any way we can um, make it so we can see the teams by the color? rather than um because they have their unique colors but if i could just see them as teams together holy shit look at this man so everybody i believe is spawned far away from their homies yeah so jushi's legacy should be down here right or did jushi's legacy start together that would be really op so we have hre we have jushi's legacy we have delhi um and we have another uh-oh you know who's in the most danger in this game right now butter on my teeth Butter on my teeth is going to get the filth is going to get the filthiest ch Chinese sandwich here because the two Chinese players here are uh, getting ready to most likely kill him and then establish trade. So that's going to be pretty nasty as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our new map. Look how beautiful this map is too. It has like a crater with like oh, it has like a fallen meteor. Oh, look at that. That's really really cool. You gotta love that. Spain, Aztecs, Mayans, Incans, Poland, Daneland, Egypt, Morocco. Eth yeah, there's so many. There's so many. But this is uh, this is great. Check this out. So very cool. We got some relics in here, and you can see it's kind of a bit of a mountain. A lot of terrain. A little bit of impassable terrain, but not too much. Very, very nicely designed. So shout out to Nani Ori, our map maker. Can China tax each other's buildings? That's actually a really, really good question. I don't know. But nonetheless, a great map. And we are now in a 2v2v2v2. And is there any way I can do this? Let's see in settings. Um, if we could see, there's gotta be a place for graphics, right? Um, let's check here to see UI, health bars, um, teams, game player colors, team base. There we go. Still got it, baby. I'm not as old. I'm still young enough that I can figure out these things. Although, is it not working? Did I not save it? Okay, so he's like appearing as red. And yeah, okay. Maybe that didn't save. The game player color team based. Yeah, that looks like it saved. I don't know why that wouldn't be working. Team based or unique. Maybe it'll kick in at some point. Game, I think, has their colors. Yeah, it probably does. Oh, whatever. We're going to figure it out. It's going to become very clear. And obviously, each civ is unique. So if you see two Chinese units fighting together, they're obviously going to be Zhuzhi's legacy. So let's go through the classic spawning on the south side of the map, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be Ark in the Black here with the Ayubids. To the east of him, it's going to be Rexosaurus and the Holy Roman Empire looking to get some of those fat, juicy relics. To the northeast, Allied Trex, the Lord of the Delhi Sultanate, most likely bullying his uh, his partner into playing Delhi, which is always fun. And to the north, we have Foghorn, Leghorn, and the Ayubids with his House of Wisdom. Oh, look at that, the early advancement. Is he going to be rushing it to the Feudal Age? Maybe some aggression with Rams could be funny. Most likely not. To the northwest, we do have another Holy Roman player. It's going to be Ark in the Black. And to the west of that player, it's going to be Tron here on the old uh, Jushi's Legacy. The unfortunate butter on my teeth. Really, really tough spawn. Sandwiched between two Chinese players. So uh, Allied is not going to be able to help him terribly efficiently. So if he gets 2v1, he's, he's just going to be on his own. So honestly, if you're butter on your teeth and you scout that you're surrounded by two Chinese players, I think you just have to maybe go all in and try and take one of them out. Who knows? Down to the southwest, it's going to be our last player, Evilos here, and he is going to be on Jushi's Legacy. A bit of an inefficient opening here for Jushi's. Uh, what you want to be doing if you're going to be playing Jushi's Legacy is build a mill, put your sheep near it, and collect the taxes. Um, his tax collector is supervising gold. A pretty nice meditation garden. It should be getting gold, stone, and wood. and um, So that's a nice range of primary resources here. But typically, if you're playing Jushi's or China, you want to set up a mill, put your sheep in front of the mill, and generate taxes because this is all wasted tax money. That would be very, very good for aging up rapidly, different things like that. But that's not going to be the case here. Anyways, so landmarks. Let's review it. Meditation Gardens 
a very OP landmark. The fact that it can produce you like 120 resources potentially uh, this early in the game is very good. And it's one of the reasons why Zhushi can be so dynamic, whether it's Fast Castle or 2TC, they can just do so much with this landmark. Now, up to the north, we do have Butter. Butter is going to be going for Dome of Faith. Very standard stuff. Granted, Tower of Victory is also very good, giving that permanent buff. Arguably, the Tower of Victory might be better in a super long grindy game, but I personally am a Dome of Faith enjoyer because I like to grab relics and getting cheaper scholars in Feudal Age is the way. Up to the north here, we got Tron. Tron going to be getting Meditation Garden. It's not quite as good. It should have been placed like right here. Um, it would be giving you slightly better resources, but even still, it's not a bad spot. And Tron with a more uh, standard opening here for Zhushi. Setting up the mill, collecting taxes here. Early Wheelbarrow coming out as well. Over here, looking at the Holy Roman Empire. This is definitely one of the slower age-ups I've seen from an HRE player. Um, where the hell is his landmark? Is he running and building it somewhere else? So, oh my... Oh my god, look at this, guys! I was wondering what was going. Ooh. Meditation Garden in the middle would be the play. Yeah, dude, just like right, right by all these jacked resource nodes. So check this out. Trusty is relocating his entire empire down here. Wow, okay, mad respect. And he's going to be going 2TC. So this might seem like a haggard play right now, but at the end of the day, um, now the HRE players are going to be together, and they are going to be, uh, you know, a formidable force. They'll have conjoined armies, they can defend each other's infrastructure, and he's going to probably set up a second TC down here and just have this be like a harvesting base. I like that. That's a really, really good play from Trusty. It's risky, but at the end of the day, I think it's very good. Over to the east, it's going to be the Ayubid. So the Ayubid player here is going to be going for the advisor wing. So he's going to get two out of eggs, which will be garrisoned to give... That seems a little bit weak overall here for Arkin. Like, the out of eggs are cool, but... um. I don't know. They can only be used on like two buildings and it does give, you know, more efficiency for said buildings. Yeah, 20% health to newly new units. I mean, maybe for early aggression. So maybe Ark in the Black here is looking to get aggressive early Ram military. Although, do we see stone being gathered? We don't. So maybe going to be Fast Castle as well. Hmm, interesting. So the south, it's going to be, uh, is this allied? Yeah, this is allied. The colors are like mismatching now. So I'm, I'm think I'm going to go back to unique colors here real quick. Because it's kind of hard to tell at a snap judgment there. So game, and we will do unique colors, and perfect. So they should match everything now. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So Allied going for Tower of Victory, and you can see all the different researches coming out for him on the bottom side. And yeah, the HRE setting up their little uh, their little empire here, which is fun. All right, all right. Wall offs on this side. No scary feudal action yet. I think it would probably be very very good for Zhushis to. Oh, is this actually a full wall off here? Okay. So that's actually a decently defensible point. And if he goes fast castle and drops a keep with a lot of stone, he's going to be hard to kill. An allied might be able to find a way across the map to maybe save him. That's very fun. That is very, very fun. All right, so down here we see a little bit of a scouting in the middle. We do see some villagers running about being attacked by uh, these Jushi scouts. Walls coming down on both sides. And oh, there's actually water too. And there are deep sea fish. So yeah, not fishing on this map is a colossal mistake. You definitely want to get those fish. So we see them here grabbing all these deep sea fish. Uh, Team Orange is now going to be getting the deep sea fish as well for the Ayubids. And I wonder who's going to be falling first. Who do you guys think is going to take it? Who do you think is going to be falling first in this game? Um, I don't know. The Jushi's players really should see the writing on the wall for sure. Like how how good of an attack this would be. Because then uh, like it's, un it's just trade, right? You just get a market here. A market like as far north here and you're going to be just taking over the game then you just wall off like on this side uh, near the water and you know, that that's probably just game blouses yeah i think if you really wanted to be super degenerate in a 2v2v2 tournament which if i ever held such a tournament i would probably ban joan of arc is if you just had two joan players all inning and just killing people and leveling her up super quickly that would be disgusting that would just be really really foul uh sadly there's no byzantine team allied gonna be going fast castle so see delhi can do a pretty fast castle here before eight minutes like why is it that delhi can go faster castle than byzantines is it because of the efficient berry gathering rate uh i wonder you know because in my experience byzantine fast castle you know under i guess he's not under any duress so most civs you know because byzantines can do some really haggard tricks where they can sell their olive oil <laughs> they can get the olive oil and then sell it to help the mage up it's, it's really funny they certainly have the market cornered on the olive oil game but allied's gonna get a bunch of relics here uh, currently, he does have three scholars. He has Sanctity being researched, and there's only one Sacred Site, so this is very much a King of the Hill map here. So, um, yeah, you can you can come in and uh, Helm's Deep on this at the very end. So, yeah, for any team, your goal is going to be to eliminate, you know, maybe one or two other teams, force it into a, a, a 1v1, essentially, or a team versus team, and then just go for the Sacred and try and win off that if you're uh, winning the battle. Another TC coming down here. Aachen Chapel uh, certainly could use some Prelates. And here, Yellow's base could get canned. 
it's definitely just a bit of a mining outpost right now. No early aggression signs from Jushis. We see the Mount Lu Academy, which is for the Imperial Tax Collection. Not going to be seeing the Shaolin, which is a bit of a misplay in my opinion here for Tron. I think Tron should have gotten the Shaolin and gotten as many relics as he possibly can. It's one of the biggest strengths of Jushi's legacy in general, but... Yeah, Byzantines and team games, definitely fun. Definitely fun. All right, so do we see any calf coming out? We do see Fast Castle coming down from Rexasaurus. So obviously Trusty is going to be super behind because they had to pull villagers and, uh, you know, run down here. So it's going to have to be a carry here by Rexasaurus, but Rex should be able to get relics. We do see prelates moving out to start grabbing the goodies wherever they can. So there is one, and here's another. So two prelates going to be hustling up looking for the goodies over here. Do we see... What, what is this? Oh! Oh, look at that! Check this out! So Allied brought... He went from all the way across the map and set up barracks here, and he's setting up military infrastructure to defend his ally. What a Chad, dude. Look at that. No Delhi champion left behind. Yeah, so he's got men-at-arms popping out, and it looks like they're going to be trying to kill Jushis. What if the Delhi Sultanate champions get cross-map trade? Like, over here... To over here and they trade all the way through the middle that would be like the most erect thing possible oh my god all right so the mount lu academy is here and uh yeah no no shaolins though we don't see any shaolin monks popping out over here what do we see the hre just kind of defensively holding setting up palisades uh gonna be investing mostly in this side honestly if i were yellow i'd probably go like triple tc or build several more tcs down here just to try and really really catch up but overall, it's uh, you know, up to him. Another TC here for the Holy Roman Empire and the Knights moving up in the middle to secure relics. Relics are being taken by the HRE. And if the HRE can get, you know, six, seven relics between them, they're going to be pretty sauce for sure. They're going to be very, very strong. Dude, Butters Butters has gotten his aid, dude. The Delhi ally. Those Delhi men arms actually look really cool, too, when you look at the models. Obviously, I know Age of Empires uh, isn't known as much for the you know details on the models, but they still look pretty cool. Definitely got to get those village fortresses. Allied, is he going to be setting up keeps back here? Not yet. He's going House of Learning. So this is a nice one if you're going to be spamming out Men at Arms. They get the Hone Blade, so it increases their damage by three. And uh, yeah, it will make them very, very good for a timing push. Scholar grabbing relics. So Butter on My Teeth has reached Castle Age, and he is going to be grabbing relics. We see the Scholars moving out. HRE has already gotten a bunch, though. I think HRE probably has two or three relics already, which is very nice. Yeah, one coming back here, one coming back here, and another relic is going to be grabbed. They do have Knights guarding these. So those bad boys are going to be holding it down. Allied, they look like they're going to go for the kill. The dreaded Delhi men-at-arms push is going to be giving Zhu Shi the dirty here. Um, early Palace Guard and Zhu Gnu. Uh, purple is is age 3 though. Um, Shaolin Monastery is out. And doesn't look like the Shaolin have been able to get any relics. I think if you're playing Zhu Shi, he's going for 6-minute Castle Age is the way to do it in FFA. Just, just get like all those monks out and grab as many relics as you can. What's crazy about Shaolin monks is they can like fight off units. Like a Shaolin monk will beat a knight. So they can grab the relics and are super, super resilient. And they also passively heal. So if they win a fight and they're walking away, they're still going to be healing up, right? But yeah, there's got to be some aggro coming here. We see one relic for Delhi. And for Allied, how many relics do we have? Barely any. Uh, it looks like he really, really struck out on the relics here. Sacred victory. Okay, butter on my teeth grabbing the middle. But look at that. There's two scouts just sitting and watching. <clears throat> now, for Team Ayubid, what is Team Ayubid up to? So the Ayubids have spears. Uh, expanding their golden age, getting a nice water economy. What age-ups did we see here? So we saw the Adebeg and the economic wing industry, which feels really subpar compared to some of the other options. Um, a thousand wood is cool and all, but like these other ones, like the bizarre wing or the military wing reinforcements, just seem so much more effective, but you know, to each their own. Yeah, the Delhi Legion is going to be attacking soon. Oh my god, the Delhi shop allied from across the map. We hear Wololo on this side. Looks like there was a little bit of Wololo there. But yeah, Allied's coming for blood, dude. He's got some uh, upgrades coming in. Their Kalijas, their swords are going to be upgraded soon. Crossbows are being spammed out, which is the appropriate counter. But Allied should be pouring in, and his allies should be coming to help him as well. So they might be able to kill Purple. Purple could be in danger here. We see towers desperately being set up. There's one crossbowman, a couple emplacements. Maybe start making some spring old emplacements early. The dreaded Shaolin Monk will be out here soon. In the middle, the Sacred Site's going to be decapped. So the Holy Roman Empire player did come over and was able to stop the cap in the middle. But this is really the epicenter of action right now. We see the Delhi Lord coming down and, uh, yeah, just crushing. Shaolin Monk gets killed almost instantly by all those men of arms. There's just too many of them. And uh, kind of feels like a movie scene where, like, the village monk, like, fights off the invading, you know, invaders to buy time for the villagers. Yeah, very epic stuff. But, yeah, both officials are dead. Allied should be able to close the deal here. He's got troops coming down. His allied is going to be coming. Who would have thought that Zhu Shi would be getting rushed here, man? So Danny Dragon says, Jeans Champions, Abagulam's HRE. Oh, you're talking about combos, yeah. 
top men at arm rushes for sure man for sure so the jelly shop in full effect and yeah if you are uh if you're purple here what you have to do is run you have to go to your ally where is his ally so his ally this is holy romans this is ayubid um this is hre yeah where's his ally his ally is up here somewhere yeah so purple needs to flee with all their villagers right now and try and go to their allied base their, their friend's base and just rebuild you know because this base is going to get steamrolled by allied and his buddy cross map trade is going to be tough for delhi for sure but i really like that play like reinforcing our ally with some proxy infrastructure and taking down one of the neighbors who was threatening to sandwich jushi's i'm surprised the jushi homie isn't helping too much um he's now building up some infrastructure tron let's see what he's got getting a lot of stone granaries and developing his economy so very very standard kind of chinese action yeah uh delhi can boost out men at arms in eight seconds yeah if you put scholars in there with the efficient production it's a very very strong push actually allied has always been like a big men at arms guy he's been spamming them since the dawn of time uh looking around here trying to find what they can the men at arms certainly on the hunt the holy roman empire i love that those guys were able to set up together and they get five relics holy shit the holy roman emperors down here are going to be very scary depending on the skill level of the players of rectosaurus and trusty uh they should be very very strong i mean they they have five or six relics between them maybe there's more in the north no it doesn't look like it so yeah that's very good and it looks like uh it is going to be the end of old uh, purple here but yeah if he can get some villagers away he can rebuild you can see he's trying to flee the scene so he's going to be heading to his ally you you would just want to flee take as many bills as you can and go up to homeboy's base which should be pretty doable it looks like palisades are under their control here so they could just run to the north and set up with your Jushi's buddy and you know you can see even set up here get some of the gold vein do a little bit of fishing all that should be fine but yeah we do see crazy aggression coming in from the Delhi Alliance so the Delhi shop is being opened here and this town center is uh gonna be torched the entire base is gonna be torched he's fleeing with all his vills abandoning and by the way the way it works in team games in case you guys are a little bit newer is that um normally if your landmarks are destroyed in 1v1 you're dead but in team games your allies landmarks also have to be destroyed so if you have all your goodies you know all your villagers at least you can still get back in the game obviously your landmarks are going to be suffering but yeah delhi will probably wall this off or at least put some towers here to make sure it doesn't get rebuilt either so these guys are just hanging out evilos probably should head up north and we see the other delhi champion the lancers and grenadiers okay so tron is actually imperial and is getting a nice granary economy going uh the granaries are out but probably not enough wood yet that's what she said we do see the imperial official supervising the wrong one should be hitting that mill Ayubids, let's look at, look at the team Ayubid. So they're very, very relaxed right now. Allied is very lucky that the Ayubid player isn't coming in to karate chop him. So it looks like Foghorn is just kind of chilling out. And the Delhi Men at Arm Legion has gotten. So some questions from chat. Does Zhushi have a completely different set of landmarks in regular China? Uh, yes, they're all different. Whereas like with the Order of the Dragon, they have all the same landmarks basically. Different text, but Zhushi feels like a very unique set. Honestly, in my opinion, Jushi feels way stronger than China. Like, their China's late game armies are good, but Jushi's are even better. The fact that they get bombards that do AoE damage and can get, like, extra crossbow bolts, um, they can get super, super strong elite cavalry units with the Imperial Guard, they just feel better than China in basically almost every way. China's eco might be a little bit stronger. Maybe. I don't even know. Like, Barbican of the Sun is really good for defending early aggression, but Jushi's can also just make Jugnu without even having to get a dynasty, so... Yeah, Jushi's just feels um, like power creep, for sure. Uh, but that base gets torched, man. Purple is in the pits of hell. And Purple's villager is going to be migrating. Oh my god, are they going to get walled in? We do see uh, Butter trying to wall it here, but I think they're going to make it. Blue also setting up a wall. He's like, I don't, want, I don't want your villagers here, buddy. But there are walls coming down on both sides here. So here they come. It's going to be 12 villagers heading up to the north. And uh, yeah, TC's being rebuilt. And he will uh, he'll have to reform his ranks. Because that was a very, very nice destruction there. And where is Delhi going to go now? Is Delhi just going to head down here and take out Ark in the Black? Ark in the Black does not have a huge military. Yeah, we see dervishes. But it looks like he went with the economic wing logistics. And got two relics out of it, which isn't bad. Imperial Guard is the strong... Yeah, no, I know. They have like 400 HP when you first get them. It's nuts. And then when you, when you get Bloodlines, they're freaky, freaky strong. Freaky strong. So it looks like it's 17 villagers. Let's look at Ivalos here. Yeah, he's got 23 villagers in total, but should be able to spam out TCs. We do see a village coming down. He had a bit of a resource bank, but who will be the next one to strike? I think the Holy Roman Emperor here. Yeah, they're going to be pushing together. And Red looks a little bit isolated. So Ark in the Black's ally, though, isn't that far off. Like, we could see Orange march down from the north, but I think Orange is just saying, screw you, man, I'm going home. And the Holy Roman Emperor is going to be coming in for blood here against the Ghulams of this uh, of this Ayubid player. 
Yeah, it's a whole bunch. A couple archers here, but they're only a few age archers. Trusty was very, very behind. We do see a relic sitting here. Trusty's eco is growing, and up here in the top, the space probably going to get steamrolled at some point or other. Who knows? Nobody's trading either. No crazy trade yet. I'm surprised the HRE player isn't like market here, a market up here. I guess there's a little bit of a tree line, so it'd have to be here. That could be a decent trade, though. That would be like 50 gold a pop, which would be worth it. But the battle is on. Ark in the Black is going to be fighting a bit of a 2v1. And granted, Yellow's reinforcing units are pretty mediocre, so I don't think they're going to make too much of a difference in that battle. Ghulams are very strong, but the HRE men at arms with the mace upgrades should outtrade them just barely, I think. It's a, Ghulams do get that double attack thing, though, so they don't do badly. But nice Spring Ald play, though. That Spring Ald has been able to pop into the Mangonels and uh, has methodically kind of demolished them. And are we going to see a 2v1? Is Ark in the Black going to move in and just start, like, steamrolling <laughs> both of the Holy Roman players? I think they might be like, oh, wait a second. This Ayubid player is actually pretty savage here. We do see, look at that. Immediately, two defensive keeps coming down. The Ayubid player fighting off both of those bad boys and uh, is doing it. Foghorn is newer. Hey, that's all good. It's all good. So look at this, guys. We see, we see Red just moving in. And he is, like, taking on these HRE players 2v1. Is so he going to be able to keep that momentum? I don't know. It's going to be tough. One keep will, mo will most likely finish. HRE sending out men-at-arms, but those ghulams are uh, taking no prisoners as they butcher through that keep's HP while it's being built, obviously in its very vulnerable state. Another Spring Alt's going to be out, and Ark in the Black, is he going to be able to take down the Holy Roman Emperors? If he would, that would really help his ally quite a bit. Spring Alt moving up, obviously had an attack order on something bad, so it does get forced back, and uh, they go for the keep, but I think the HRE is going to hold here. Look at all the villagers repairing. Well played. Good teamwork there. Also, emergency repairs should be on the table. I think it's within influence. Maybe it's not. And the Ghulam Lord is going to get pushed back. The HRE is going to win that fight. So now it's a little bit scary for Red. Red did lose a lot in that fight. Uh, is going to need to play defensively here. And the HRE has remustered a good army. Archers are now veterans, so they're no longer potatoes. And Trusty has also gotten Imperial. Okay. So Trusty getting the Elschad Palace. Obviously very good if you're going to be playing Wonder Defense. Granted, I think that the other landmark, Swabia, might have been slightly better considering his economic position, but this isn't terrible by any stretch of the imagination. And is HRE going to be winning, moving in? We will see. So hardcore rooting for red and orange, says Rastus. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of fun teams here. We got Team Delhi looking pretty good. Um, it's a little bit, yeah, tricky. What's going on in the middle? Oh my god, are they going to go for an early sacred victory? That would be so funny. Holy shit. So Allied is already setting up spam keeps in the middle. This is so funny. And setting up siege workshops to kill um, blue stuff. So Tron, I wonder if he's going to be sounding the alarm. Allied already has two keeps in the middle with upgraded emplacements also. So spring all the emplacements are going to be popping out. And uh, it's going to be getting real crazy here. No teams have really fallen yet. We have seen one player die, um, but he's rebuilding here. And, you know, yeah, Jushi can rebuild. They don't, the Jushi doesn't have the villager production like China does. China is better at that. Um, with Song Dynasty, Chinese villagers launch out faster. The Jushi's legacy gets different things. You can see they get landmark reduction um, in the Tang Dynasty. Non-military buildings cost 40% less wood, which is actually really good if you're building like um, farms and stuff, right? They're 40% cheaper, which is great. But they don't get cheaper villagers. So rebuilding is going to be taking them a little bit longer. But yes, uh, Allied getting real crazy in the middle, man. He's already knocking down keeps. And, you know, the two Delhi players can kind of touch tips a little bit. They can they can connect in the middle of the map. Purple is basically dead. Good play here. This is really, really good FFA knowledge. Or, yeah, so building outposts and a ruined player's base when they try and sneak back and build those landmarks and repair them, it, it will keep them from doing that, assuming they've been built. I don't know if the villager forgot about the order or something, but, yeah, it's, it's going. HRE is sieging red, but red, red seems pretty on point. Ark in the Black is able to muster good armies over and over and is holding on here. Foghorn Leghorn is the Dreadlord of Camels. I'm not sure where he's going to go with those, but I suspect Foghorn is going to bring his army down to help his ally. So they're going to move. But yeah, these these two HRE players took a bit of a hit in the beginning, but at the end of the day, it ended up paying off, right? A um, bit of a Bronzodia queue here from Trusty. He's got a bunch of um, Cav queued in one building. Didn't split him up to the other ones, but... Yeah, the Ghulam Legion is trying, but they are fighting 2v1, but the, the Lord and Savior is on his way! Yes, the Polish cavalry are uh, riding out to uh, to save Vienna. Here they come, except this time they're desert raiders. Are they going to do some raiding in the middle? That would be pretty funny. <laughs> Just randomly attacking Allied here, like, <laughs> surprise! But they're coming down. All right. So, they, yeah, they're on their way down to help. They're not going to be attacking Allied. Allied already with three keeps, guys. Is Delhi going to be able to just win on the middle? That would be so funny if they just get a sacred victory because everybody's too busy. Just squabbling and fighting all over the map. It's only 10 minutes, guys. And there are two players, right? So Pink can come in here and help out as well. And it looks like Pink is going to be moving up to attack the Jushi's legacy player. Jushi currently sending out Zhugnu, which not, have not been upgraded yet. So a little bit of a 
rough stuff there. Those bad boys definitely need to be upgraded, as does this uh, encampment here. So Allied getting just fat in placements here. Knocking down whatever he can, taking down towers. The Holy Roman Empire besieging the mighty Ark and the Black and the Ayubids here. Uh, blue is in yellow's base. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a little bit of a squabbling going here. It looks like this did fall, yeah. So yellow's base got wiped up top. Blue went down there, but man, look at this just super smoking hot farm economy. Oh, that's so good. When when he eventually puts villagers on this, it's going to be generating so much food. And his alley up here, um, Ibalos is back online to an extent. <clears throat> and Yellow's villagers... Oh, Yellow's, Yellow's villagers actually fled, so they didn't die. They're going to be heading down to the south and trying to get to their homies. Here they come. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Allied still entrenching middle, man. <clears throat> this is going to be a problem. If the players don't react quick enough, and out, like Allied and his buddy might be able to just get a quick win, which would be so funny. Men at arms knocking down the keep here, so Allied going to be butchering these guys on the south side. The Holy Roman Empire uh, continuing their siege. Men at arms have gotten into the base. They got their maces out for Sigmar. They're going to be bashing down these defenders, and yeah, it's looking tough. But the Camel Lord has arrived. He has rode from over the hill. Gandalf is here, and here they come. So nasty, nasty, dude. The camels are, are going to change the tide of this fight forever. That's a big army, though. Um, a veteran horseman and elite archers, at least. Wall's going down. Good wall here by the HRE. That's going to be mitigating the flank here from these camels. But at least uh, Foghorn Leghorn came down. You know, Foghorn could also do a little bit of flanking here. Um, Allied's base, pretty safe. There's a little bit of a tortoise back here. He's got a couple keeps in his base to make sure he doesn't get backdoored and killed instantly. And yeah, Allied is just, yeah, it looks like they're going to try and take down the Jushi Alliance. We do see a lot of Delhi Men at Arms coming in here for Butter on My Teeth. Allied engaging in the front. Men at Arms uh, do have a, a degree of upgrades, and they are fighting elite Lancers. Yeah, so the Lancers will probably trade pretty well into them. Allied's Men at Arms going to be forced back, and nice cavalry dive here. Nope, Tron didn't go for it. Would have been a good dive, though, to trade these horsemen for those two uh, artillery pieces, but it is what it is. But yeah, they're going to kill the Jushi's players, probably, and if they can, then that is going to be probably... A pretty smooth win for Allied and Butter, because they're just going to be able to grab that Sacred, and there won't be that many teams. It'll be a 2v4, which is very doable if you are entrenched, right? It's only 10 minutes, guys. It's only 10 minutes. That is a hell of a lot of men-at-arms moving into the base. Jushi's Legacy trying to Desperation drop some keeps, but Allied is also going to be following up as well. Uh, does he have production infrastructure? More keeps coming down in the middle. Absolutely nasty. Uh, but this Chinese army here, we do have Grenadiers. So yeah, overall, I think the Chinese players here, Tron, is going to be able to fight off this army no problem. We do see the torches going down, one keep falls. The Men-at-Arms going to be turning and fighting, but they're going to get butchered. These hand grenades are just going to be nasty, nasty AoE damage. There's Elite Lancers that do have some upgrades. They could certainly use more. Biology, not upgraded quite yet, but the range damage of both these players is going to be enough to fend off the Delhi push. So is Delhi just going to go for it? I mean... Palace of the Sultan going in the middle as well. Allied, very clever, hiding his last landmark, going all in on the middle here. But this is going to start making tower elephants, which he's going to fill with scholars, and he'll just be partying there like it's 1999. Oh, baby, the giant Dong Tower. As the Ayubid Alliance fights back against the Holy Roman Empire. The Ayubid's looking pretty beat up, though. A lot of idled farms. Um, their economic count, let's take a look. Ark in the Black, currently at 87 eco, which is good. It's not bad, but the dongs are coming, guys. Oh, look how erect that thing is, dude. It's a little little goat dong here. It's going to be ramming down the stone wall. And then they're going to flank in. But the Holy Romans are ready. I mean, elite... How are they not elite yet? Those men-at-arms really need to get upgraded. Rexosaurus does have the elite upgrade coming in. The Iobid Camel Legion is going to be swarming in. Their DPS is going to be pretty haggard, though. Um, Desert Raiders do okay damage, but really aren't the most resilient. Um, the men-at-arms, I believe, have about similar HP to them. Uh, and they're not even upgraded yet. But the archers are going to be tearing through them. The Ivan's trying to fight back. They do have some Bedouin skirmishers. Um, but yeah, I do think the HRE wins this fight. And the Dong is uh, a little bit mitigated right now. The Dong is it, it's it's kind of semi-flaccid. It can't quite fit through there. Nice flank, though. Really, really good flank here. Nice. Very clean. Are we going to be seeing a keep drop? All the artillery is getting taken out. Mangonel's in position. Going to be ripping a shot here, but the Springall does get one Daka before it goes. I say we, and the Camels are actually fighting pretty well. They're not doing bad, and the Dong Tower is also shooting arrows. People forget this, but the Tower of the Sultan does shoot bows. It has essentially the equivalent of four archers in it, so it is able to put a little bit of hurt down. Yeah, good fight on both sides. Foghorn Leghorn helping out the homie. Shout out to him. In the north, do we see more conflict? We do see Allied trying to battle the Jushis players with his ally Butter. Um, and it looks like their progress has kind of been stifled. They're going to have to change up their army comp. Just spamming men at arms probably won't be enough to get the kill here. Especially since their opponents are just spamming, you know, grenades, crossbows, things like that. Wow! Is this a counter push, guys? Look at this! So here they come. 
the Dong Tower is moving in. The Ayyubid's actually getting a little bit of momentum here. And that's... Foghorn is having to send armies from the far north, too. Like, from very far. I actually think it might even be a better play for Foghorn to attack from the north and start hitting the weak side of this base. You know, what knock down these walls, do a little bit of a push here. But, I mean, yeah, coming down and helping here also is not a bad idea. The Dong Tower is still going about, you know, waving its dong all over the place. Ripping shots wherever it can into the archers. And the Ayyubids forcing back the Holy Roman Empire once again. Very, very savage fighting. Double keeps, though, should be able to hold it down. I think the keeps, especially if they have cannon placements, are going to be able to fend off the attackers. And, uh, yep, the Ayyubids do run out of steam, and that is going to be it for that attack. <coughs> Excuse me, I have some water here. The Tower of the Sultan's actually good against archer armies? Yeah, I bet. It seems pretty good. Yeah, it's like an archer emplacement that has a ton of ranged armor, and it can just fend off Zhugnu and things like that. Totally, I can see that. Yeah, but the Chinese uh, alliance is going to get very strong if they're allowed to kind of do their thing. Allied has not... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at the depths of insanity here, guys. He has got so many keeps around this right now. He's going to need to get more keeps up here to fight off the Chinese attackers, but there's going to be another one here. And, uh, yeah, they are they are purging the middle of resources. The Delhi Sultanate Alliance is just grabbing all the goodies, like everything. Yep, switching tech, that's good. Uh, Ghazi Riders, you know, uh, would be very, very good against his Chinese army. Although... Yeah, they would be good. Their damage against heavy would be nice, and also they could dive past and start raiding the Chinese base, and uh, we'll be doing bonus damage against ranged. So that's a lot of keeps, guys. That is a hell of a lot of keeps. And a lot of the nations are very, very weak right now, too. Um, Foghorn, Lakehorn, where is he going? Is he going to be moving out? He is. He's got rams this time. So he's coming out with a ram army, and he's going to be heading to the south, because if he doesn't help his ally, the Holy Romans will eventually get them. They will eventually knock on Heaven's door, and they will uh, they'll be enjoying themselves. Keep coming up here. Yeah, the Red Ayubids, I mean, Ark of the Black has been fighting tooth and nail, but he's been forced to stay in Castle Age because he's been spending resources to survive. So yeah, he's really, really hurting. And, oh, interesting. So Foghorn building tech down here. I like that a lot. It's kind of what we saw, right, with um, Allied as well. He's going to be setting up barracks and mosques and all sorts of goodies. And um, here it comes, man. Culverins, elite men at arms now. No army tactics yet or else their HP would be over 200, but they are elite, so they're going to be able to bash these Ghulams. Ghulams have crazy high base HP, though. They have 195, um, whereas the elite HRE men at arms even have less. Very, very savage. Allied is here, though, man. Yeah, this is going to be an intense hold. Jushis, though, is kind of ready. I mean, the Jushi players are looking pretty jacked. I mean, they got cannons now. Purple's army is even decent. He's making elite palace guard, so purple is not going to be useless either. He's been able to, you know, set up a nice little pocket here. The one thing is players not trading. Like, there are good trade routes. Like, here to here would be probably 50 to 60 gold. Um, it doesn't seem like any of the teams are really capitalizing on trade, <clears throat> which could hurt. Delhi especially. Delhi could be doing some disgusting trade in the middle. Like, if one Delhi player, if Allied set up a market right here and then was trading with Pink, dude, they could just be rolling everyone over financially. Like, absolutely rolling them over. All right, so once again, the rescuing force here of Foghorn Lakehorn are heading down, ignoring Allied stuff. Obviously, they have bigger fish to fry, and they're going to be coming to try and save Red, but Red could be meeting their end here. Heavy, heavy raiding. We see the Desert Raiders trying to battle the elite horsemen, and they would actually trade okay into them. But those, those are just feudal age Desert Raiders, which is rough. I think the Holy Roman Empire's investment of, uh, of relocating their base is paying huge dividends right now. Honestly, if I were yellow, I wouldn't have done that. I would feel too nervous about being behind, but, you know, it ended up working out. It ended up working out for sure. Yeah, Ayubids here, probably toast if you're Ark in the Black, maybe. Oh, man, you know what sucks for Ayubids, though? Is you can't age up without your Hall of Wisdom. So if your Hall of Wisdom is, like, trapped here and killed, like, you're basically just dead. You're stuck in Castle Age, right? So he's gonna probably gotta find a way to age up here while he's being killed. His resources are very, very diminished. He's got a couple spears and archers. Um, two relics here in the base as well. And we do see his ally, Foghorn, now making troopers here. So the elite Ghulams... Dude, Ghulams are jacked. 270 HP, Jesus. They have 100 more HP than these, uh... These, these non-army tactics, boys. Yeah, Green really needs to get some uni upgrades. His troops are very, very weak, comparatively. Every time Orange goes past the filth... Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's getting worse. Um, yeah, he's got keeps galore all over the place. Good armies. Like, what you do now is you spam artillery. So you go for Sacred, and you have, like, 50 Mangonels and 50 Spring Alts, and you just sit in the middle and just cackle. That's that's how you troll if you are the Delhi Sultan here. But it looks like the Holy Roman Empire has finally conquered the Southern Ayyubids, detached from their allies. So there are going to be players who are losing their allies, but it's actually kind of a fun variant on the Team FFAs. 
like starting away. It makes it really interesting in terms of the uh, early engagements and whatnot. TC is going down. Bombards. House of Wisdom is going to be paying the troll toll. And uh, yeah, we see all these villagers going down. Not going to be too much hope. Orange, got, like the idea was good. Here he comes. He has arrived, but his army's gotten here very, very slow. Elite Desert Raiders and Elite Ghulams, 324 HP. Basically like cavalry and it's pretty nuts. Dervish is popping out to do a little bit of AoE healing. Orange is now helping. There are Ghulams and crossbows here, so maybe there's a chance they can stifle this aggression. But with good artillery micro, I, I see the Holy Roman Empire here just effectively finishing this off. Okay, so up in the north, looking back at Delhi. Uh, Delhi taking over the middle of the map, as expected. And um, we do see Allied here. Maybe Allied would go and take down Foghorn after this to get rid of one of the flank attackers. But it's really going to come down to can Jushi's legacy deal with uh, the old mid? Are they going to be able to pound and win the fights in those middle? Because they'll be able to knock these keeps down pretty quick with their bombards. Like Chinese bombards are very, very savage for sure. All right, looking grim. Orange's reinforcing army has come. Red is trying to flee villagers. Maybe he's going to be running up to his homie here. We'll have to see. Not having your House of Wisdom, though, is going to suck really bad. And if I conquered an Ayubid player in this format, I would definitely wall their House of Wisdom in. Uh, so they couldn't, you know, age up. They'd be perpetually stuck in 83, which would suck pretty bad. Yeah, they can't catch a break in FFA games, man. And only having two landmarks and, you know, being really dependent on it is tough. All right, so diving on down. The artillery getting sniped. So Orange Foghorn with some good defense here. But we just see attacks all over the place. Red's eco probably in the pits. Currently he's sitting at 35 economy, much of which maybe is fleeing right now. Yeah, he's actually running his eco all the way to the north. But he's going to need to find a way to repair his landmark, so... Probably hiding some villagers like nearby around the corner and then coming back and trying to repair your House of Wisdom at some point would be prudent. But this is the end uh, of the Eye of the in the South. Ark and the Black fought very well considering it was a 2v1, but yeah, it's going to be one less player. We see villagers fleeing, allied with mass artillery production. Looking at Allied's bank right now, he's pretty damn rich, although his wood does suck. Uh, that's what she said, but yeah, I don't know why he's not mining any wood. Or not mining, but lumberjacking. Obviously, he's all in on stone and whatnot. Does have some good relics. We see the Jushis, Grenadiers, doing a little bit of territory control. Red did manage to get Imperial. Well played. So, he, yeah, he did rip that off uh, before all was said and done. What he probably did is he probably asked his allies for resources. And his allies, well, not allies, but ally. And uh, they sent those in. How many elephants do we see in the middle, by the way? Um, the tower elephants are arriving. The elite Ghazi riders stand at the ready. And it looks like they're going to be doing battles with Jushis, but... When are they going to go for the insanity in the mid? I think they might have to pull the trigger soon. I don't know if anybody could stop them, guys. I really don't. Yeah, another keep coming down. So Allied sitting on 15,000 gold, which is nuts. And looking at Butter. Butter at 13. Dude, this team is rich as hell. Oh, my God. And we got the Tower Elephants coming out. Team Delhi Sultanate, man. The Holy Roman Alliance is going to be strong, too. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that. Rexosaurus and Trusty getting all the goodies. So they're taking the conquests of their, uh, the spoils of their conquest here. Yeah, two relics being taken. That's huge. Because, I mean, every relic for HRE because of Regnants is more. So two, two, and um, that's going to be six relics for them, which should be pretty good. Slap one down in L's back for sure. That's going to make that very resilient. But this is going to be the end of the uh, Ayubid player in the south, Ark in the Black for now. But looks like he had good money, so Arkin should be able to recover, you know, and, and be formidable. He's Imperial now, so he just needs to find some gold. And then from there, he can... Uh, yeah, there's gold here, actually. You can mine through. There's 8,000 gold if you can chop through the trees. Very cool. I like that aesthetic. They got nine relics? Yeah, there might be more relics. Stack up to the next. Yeah, they're, they're rich. Duel of Fates here. Lancers versus Gazi Riders. Gazi Riders will do pretty well against them. They have a bonus for heavy, and they're very expendable. So that's actually pretty favorable trading. Uh, if you're Butter, you don't want to move through here, though. You're going to get grenaded and just wrecked in this uh, little gatehouse here. Looks like he's going to be retreating back, and the walls are going to be getting set up. And the duel between these great empires. Okay, baby. It's going. It's time for the Lord of the Delhi to bring everybody to the Delhi shop. They're fighting. They're all in. And this is really good timing because Red is basically dead. The Holy Roman Empire is slightly out of position down here in the bottom. Granted, they do have some siege left over, so they're going to be able to move. But this is going to get real crazy real quick. All right, let's set the timer. It is going to be... All right, all right. Sacred timer, I believe we can actually check. So if we go here and look at the Sacred Timer. Okay, it's going to be 30... Uh, okay, so 10 minutes from now. 47 minutes and... Uh, yeah, give or take, somewhere in that ballpark. 48 minutes, probably. All right, guys. The hold is on. Is Delhi going to be able to fight here? Where are their armies, by the way? Gold is being taken, but 
I feel like this Chinese army is getting in here for free. Like, what's where? Where's the Delhi army to fight them? We see the Gazi riders coming back out. Where's Allied's army? Um, looks like he's got some dudes coming from over here. He's got a lot of lumberjacking, but now we see the Holy Romans moving for the middle guys, and this is where it's going to get really, really crazy. All right, so Butters is holding, but where the hell are these Delhi armies, dude? What is Ally doing? Where's his force? Okay, he's pulling all of his scholars from his base. Um, is he massing elephants? Okay, he's massing elephants now, so Allied's military should be capped out. Yeah, he's got only 58 military. That explains it. All right. So yeah, China should not have gotten this deep this quickly. That's going to be a little bit tough for them. And now you see pressure coming in from the south. Allied needs to delete some eco. He's way, way over on eco. The fact that he's got 142... You know, his, his gold is good. Delete all of your gold eco and your maybe keep your wood eco. You can delete your gold eco for sure. And just spam out your, um, you know, elephants and start stomping around. So China getting good progress over here. Already slipping some bombard cannons in. So Butter is in a little bit of danger here. Scholars in the middle. You could also delete those scholars too. Um, you know, they're, they're not going to provide too much. I guess they could heal up the elephants, but... Yeah, this timer is going to go very quickly. We do see Delhi soldiers popping out, going to be dealing with the rams. And now we see forward infrastructure being set up. So good FFA fundamentals here from Trusty. I like that a lot. Allied purging the last of that gold. Maybe he's going to see how greedy he can get. Dude, he's got so many keeps here. But they need to crush the Chinese aggression, like real, real hard here. They need to crush it and then rewall. And that'll buy them an extra like minute, right? Like every little thing like that matters. HRE coming with a big army around here. Walls being set up in the south by Delhi. Elephants on their way out. And now Allied does have a decent army here. But how is Butters doing? Butters looking a little bit beat up here. He got forced back trying to set up a bit of a desperation keep here. But I don't think the Chinese players are going to be allowing it. I definitely would have liked to have seen some artillery spam in the middle. But now Allied going to be heading over with his scholars and artillery to help out against the Chinese army. They really needed spring alts too. Like this is, yeah, a little premature to an extent. Um, they needed a like good armies in position. Uh, walls coming up in the south. But Allied... If he's not going to delete his gold eco, at least his opponents will do it for him so he can actually get some army out. A lot of elephants being stacked out, and um, yeah, should be able to win this. So we see the men at arms doing a bit of a dive on those bombard cannons. Mangoes in position, and the fat heels are coming. Nice mango shot right there. Direct hit. Scholars are just being sacrificed, maybe. I don't know. Tower elephants on the way out, and a lot of horsemen coming, but they're going to run into a bit of a tough obstacle once they see all these keeps. Allied helms deeping in, but like this time is, is goes really quick. Look at them. Look at the scholars healing all the warriors. Yeah, certainly a bit of a force multiplier. But Allied, the Lord of Delhi, coming down like a wrecking ball. He needs to snipe the Bombards. Nothing else matters. Okay. Bombards are hands down the most important thing. Because they're the one thing that can knock down your keeps. Um, Rams can kind of do it. But it's going to take a long, long time for the Rams to get through. And does he have cannon emplacements on these? He does not. He's got a good amount of defense. His ally mustering some troops where he can. Team Delhi looking to be pretty good. You know, only about... Seven more minutes to hold, which should be very, very doable for them, depending on the micro. Dude, look at this Chad elephant. It's like it's like in the uh, the movie the um, oh, what's that movie with uh oh it's a Crusades movie with um, Orlando Bloom, Kingdom of Heaven when he's like standing in the breach holding the city. It's like that elephant right there. All right, so the Delhi army going to be heading to the south, steamrolling the Holy Roman attackers, but the Holy Roman attackers are going to be coming pretty hard. Uh, they got a lot of siege infrastructure set up, rams, and the Delhi army needs to make sure that they're not hemorrhaging keeps. Spring Alt's moving this way. Very, very good play. Allied really defending super hard. But we got a lot of Chinese attackers here. Going to have to make sure they could dive the, the Sacred Capture to try and diminish the timer, which wouldn't be a bad idea. A lot of Bombards coming there. Those need to be dealt with. If they start knocking down keeps, that's four Bombards. In the south side, we do see the uh, Unholy Legions of the Holy Roman Empire. Getting some nice pushes. The keeps trying to shoot where they can. But now those bombard cannons are a big problem. One goes down there. Another one potentially could be in some danger. Butters is coming, though. Butters is on his way. They're running across. They do have anti-large attacks. Spring alts are now sniping. Good defense by Allied. Very good defense by Allied here. He's sniping down the bombards. They don't get a single keep, and he loses all those bombards before one keep goes down. That is very good play. But the Holy Romans from the south are getting in there. The Ayubids are... Uh, oh, the Ayubids are coming! The Lord of Camels, Foghorn Leghorn. He is the Dark King of Camels. That can make the difference. Granted, they're going to be very weak against all these uh, keeps and whatnot. The Elephant Legion is coming, and they're trying to stop the Rams. Currently, we have a couple minutes left on the hold. It's going to be a tough hold, but killing those Zhushi Bombards was very, very clutch. A couple uh, big counterweight trebuchets on the way in now, and more defenders coming from both sides. They're holding on, but it's getting very claustrophobic in here. It's getting very, very claustrophobic. But Pink's Elephants might be able to just keep wrecking all this. Honestly, the Holy Roman attackers don't seem to have the DPS to deal with them. And uh, the Rams, though, are a problem. Those Rams are a big problem. 
Trebuchets need to be sniped too, but yeah, they might be able to get in there. So I think that the attackers are going to get this. I don't think they're going to be able to hold the sacred site. There's just, um, there's too much coming from too many directions. You essentially have the equivalent of like, you know, nobody is dead yet. So yeah, you have, you have like six players coming at you. 6v2 is really hard. I mean, they were entrenched, but it's very easy to spam rams. I don't know if anybody's going to, yeah, 3,000 wood here, uh, 15,000 wood here. Uh, China at 8,000 wood. Like, ram spam is going to be very real here. So spring ults come out, and it looks like the trebuchets did get sniped by these spring ults. Are they going to be able to hold it? I don't know. A lot of Holy Roman attackers move again. Certainly hemorrhaging resources. And the elephants, though, are very, very persistent. Um, Butters needs to go snipe all these trebs. These trebs are the game winners right here. They're knocking down keeps very, very efficiently. And here comes the Lord of Camels. All right, guys. The Camel Legion is on its way, moving across. The Ayubid Empire has been reborn. They're here. And that is a shit ton of those things, man. Very tough. All right, some more reinforcements coming here. Allied and his homie going to be trying to Helm's Deep. More keeps being built. Blue and the Chinese invasion from the north is kind of running out of steam a little bit. They don't have too many more attackers, but the keep numbers are getting very low. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe a six one will be built here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Or keeps on this side, some idle troopers. They need to be artillery diving. And the elephants got all the trebuchets, actually. Okay, hold up. That is really, really big. Um, if those trebs go down and there's no siege equipment, this could really change the dynamic of this fighting. But yeah, man. Oh, my God. Look how many units there are here. We got siege engineering coming down. Allied forces going to be setting up shop. But that is so many camels. That is so many, so many camels. Elephants still disrupting wherever they can. But rams are slipping by in pretty much every front. Butter is trying to set up some emergency walls here, which is very good. See here, the uh, the militia, not the militia, but the spearmen, uh, are going to be trying to take down whatever rams they can. A lot of elephants on the way in. The Camel Legion actually taking a bit of a beat down from Allied's uh, Scholar Force. But, you know, at the end of the day, the Scholars run out of frontliners, and now they're just kind of healing one another. Another keep going down, but Bard's cruising, and we have another three minutes before victory. I just don't see how it's going to be possible. There's just too much coming at them. There's too much coming at them. Yeah, elephants should have the trample ability that the Byzantine cataphracts have. That'd be really cool if they could, like, march over you. But Delhi's already a very strong sieve, so I suppose it's more of a balancing thing. Delhi's good in 1v1, I think. Um, and FFA, I don't know. They're, like, kind of lower to mid-tier for FFA, I would say. They have some good tools they can do. But, yeah, that's going to be the end. And that sacred side's going to fold up. Allied probably going to go back to the drawing board. But, honestly, he's going to be very behind now. Because one of his landmarks is tied up in the middle. And, um, you know... They, they used all their resources for that. Like, all of them. I'm very impressed with how well all the nations came together. Look how many elephants there are! God damn! Is there any way they're going to be able to hold this? While the enemies are standing on the sacred site, though, it also means that you're not getting any capture time. So while somebody's on sacred sites, the timer doesn't go down, right? So you're not going to be getting the uh, credit for that. Butter's Elephant Legion, really, really quite menacing here. Um, pushing back everything. Couple keeps going, but they're all being taken down by rams. And more reinforcements coming in, but Allied running out of steam here pretty hard. He's got some reinforcements coming across, some idle units. But now the Sacred Site is officially being contested. Uh, Pink does have troopers still fighting on every front. Both players fighting extremely hard to try and hold this, but I don't know if it's going to matter at the end of the day. There's just too much. I mean, six players coming at you is such a hard hold. And they got kind of close to it, too. I like that Butters is trying to sneak a wall in here. I think that's a very clever play, but obviously the ploy is going to be off now. They're probably about two minutes away from getting this. Maybe three minutes now, considering the distraction and the pushback here. Ayubid's forced back. Hold up. Hold up a sec. Does Allied have any production is the problem. Um, it looks like he's got troops coming from the base, but they have a very long run. These elephants are very, very chad. They're just fighting and holding this point. They are also getting healed up by Scholars. A couple keeps still in effect, knocking off some of the attackers. And it seems like many of the attackers have kind of a bit of a second win here. And the thing is, they're also attacking one another. So when the attackers get up there, they, they tend to uh, intercept. Hold the door! I know! I'm kind of getting pretty hungry, too. <clears throat> so I have to admit, I'm a little bit biased for Delhi here. I'm like, come on, end the game so we can so I can go eat. But yeah, man, I don't think they're going to get it. There's so much coming. Being forced back, another huge desert army coming in here. The desert raiders are going to be on their way. And nobody's really taking advantage of trading, which is so strange to me that nobody is trading. I don't think there's any team that's trading. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Granted, it's only 19. Why is this trade so bad? They have way more space. So here, all the way to here, should be like should be like 100 gold. Yeah, 38, or not 100, but a little bit more. Sacred Sight is still being held, guys. So the normal victory timer would technically be up here. Holy shit, is he going to find a way to hold this? No way, dude. No way they hold on to this. That's a lot of elephants arriving and a lot of spears. A really good macro. I mean, just constant waves and waves of units. And the keeps are still kind of helping. Uh, knocking down troopers here. Butters and Allied are fighting just so, so hard to hold this. 
the Ayubid army here is going to be folded up. And wait, dude, are they going to get this? The Holy Romans, are they running out of food? What's the situation look like? Oh, they're out of resources. HRE has no wood and no gold. Looking at green, green is also running out of gold as well. So the players are running out of steam with the quality of their armies. And the Delhi Font Legion, that timer is still going, ladies and gentlemen. It's probably like two minutes left because of the interruptions that have been on it. I wish we had a proper wonder tracker. Um, yeah, if it hadn't been contested, it would be over by now. Yes, indeed. Another wave of troopers coming across, looking at the resources of the Zhushi army. Um, wow, Zhushi army is out of steam. They're, they just straight up cannot produce enough to get through here. Purple also is out of steam. Wow, and the Delhi force is not. The Delhi Legion seems to have a good bank of resources. So Butter, ooh, he's low. How about our boy Allied? How's Allied looking? He's looking a little bit better on the resources. Butter has been producing elephants pretty much nonstop, which is tough. Look at the walls! This is so clutch. Like, little plays like this make it so much harder to shut things down. The Manjanique's shooting into the elephants. Elephants fighting really, really aggressively here to keep back the spears. And are they going to get it? The keep is still up. It does have 1,000 HP, so it's still shooting till the very end. The Delhi men at arms able to push back a lot of these troopers, but another wave of elite Shugnu are coming. And this is just like, this is like a horde mode survival. Yeah, I don't know what the timer is because we can't see it. But a 2v6 on this would be extremely impressive. Uh, it usually will say like one minute warning or something. Be a little bit of a heads up, but we might not be able to see that. But the elephants driving back the army here. The high HP on those units, the sustainability is so incredibly good. Force pathing onto the points. Bombard's coming. HRE is going to be here with the second wave soon, which will probably be enough to break their backs. Inter inter uh, reinforcements trying to be intercepted, but certainly not doing it. And the elephants pulling back onto the point here. I think this is the end. There's so many units contesting. There's so many, guys. There's so many, but the elephants, they're showing no mercy. Those tusks are just uh, caked with blood and uh, just metal plate. All sorts of stuff here as they continue fighting on the point. More ramps coming down. Bombard sitting a little bit idle. Definitely need those. And if Delhi can kind of withstand this wave, maybe they can hold it. Maybe. They have a lot of HP. Allied's got units trickling from very far away, which is unfortunate. Gazi Rider's coming. Rams do not provide anything. And um, now the attackers might actually start fighting one another. Oh my god. They could go all the way. We just had the one minute warning. Okay, I did miss that. One minute warning is here, but I think they've got to get it, right? There's so much coming. And a huge wave. These horsemen should be fighting on the point. They're trying to intercept reinforcements, which isn't bad. We do see a lot of the Delhi reinforcements getting caught up over here. A keep being dropped by the Jushis. I think that's very, very good. Epic fight! Epic fight here! 100%. Delhi's got more troops, but the Holy Roman Empire and Trusty are killing the infrastructure to stop reinforcements from coming out. Delhi does get a couple more waves of units, but yeah, there's no more. Yeah, Keep's going to be able to just probably shut them down. Ram's coming from the south side. If this was the previous patch, Delhi probably would have won this, but now it's easier to um, stop the uh, sacred sites. Oh my god, absolute chaos, guys. And the middle has been neutralized. Yep, it's going to go down now. There's officially no more Delhi soldiers fighting on it. Now it's everybody else just kind of fighting for it. Delhi's still sending in troops to try and hold on to that, but... Yeah, there's a lot of HRE and Ayubid and uh, Chinese soldiers fighting on that point. A couple men at arms do make it there and buy like a moment. So they get up to the objective here and do halt the timer a little bit. Allied desperately trying to get that. But they're being drove back on every front. There's so many rams and uh, the Du Hostening has, uh, has done it. Wow. Guys, they were probably like 30 seconds from winning. 30 seconds. That was really close. Delhi won our hearts this day. Hey, Delhi's not out of this game yet. They're certainly going to be in a bad position, but they're not out of this game yet. Oh, hot, smoking hot trade coming down here from Arkin as well. Going to be getting a, not cross map, but pretty effective. How's this trade looking? 38 a pop is pretty good. So as long as they're going to that market, yeah. It looks like it's going to be 50. Okay, so they need to optimize their trade markets, but... HRE could definitely go for a wonder on the bottom. We have an Ellsbach. We have a lot of open space. Um, a counter wonder could be very viable at this point. Oh my god, Delhi's still fighting it. They still had it just until a moment ago. Wow. Holy shit, man. I can't believe those elephants didn't get it. That really looked like they were. So Delhi is just kind of in survival mode now. They gotta just pull back. They gotta, they gotta figure it out. Maybe Delhi needs to do some backstabbing and kill some players instead. I don't know how that's gonna go down. Farms all over the place for Delhi in the base. So a combination of allied and butter farms. But yeah, that is the end of Delhi. I, I thought they might actually be able to hold that there. Jeez, that was crazy. Hey, darling, thanks for the tea. Appreciate it. Love it. The smoking hot wife bringing me some tea. Is it pretty hot? Is it hot tea? Okay, gotta wait for that to cool down a little bit. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> All right. 
So now all is calm. Where, where are people going to go now is the question. Every alliance has found a way to survive. Like we've had several people go down, but every alliance has kind of found a way to regroup and get back in the game, right? Like looking at the scores, like, you know, Arkin was able to pretty much fully rebuild. He got his tech from the House of Wisdom and he's chilling out, man. Allied and Butter, win or lose, have won the mines. Yeah, that was a really epic attempt. I mean, against six players too? Shit. If that was any other, you know, if they had played maybe a little bit cleaner in the beginning, I think they would have gotten that. Like, had been more prepared with armies there, so they could have squashed the initial attacks more effectively, but... Yeah. People are going to be running out of gold now, too. Let's look at the current resources of all the players. So, currently, we see several gold-starved nations. Allied still has 7,500 gold, which is nuts. Um, let's look at his income per minute. So, Allied is not getting gold anymore, so he's out of that. His wood income sucks also. So, he's going to be very, very on the, uh, you know, I would say on the weaker end of the spectrum. But the Holy Roman Empire is looking good. They got decent trade in the bottom, 50 gold. A trade route is very nice. And this is okay too. It's 23 a pop. Why is it not more? Um, they're going to this market. Yeah, they could definitely be like right here. And that would be like 40 gold. That would be a little bit stronger. <laughs> if the wife is smoking hot, how can the tea be cold? It would break the law of thermal dynamics. We're asking the real questions here, guys. The tea was very hot. It was very hot. It's, 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 it's because she was holding it, of course. All right. So, a little bit of a loose kind of rabbles fighting in the middle. The old empire being knocked down. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is Zhu Xi going to go for it? Zhu Xi plopping down three keeps right here. Getting real savage on the middle. Oh my god. If Zhu Xi goes for that, that would be bananas. And honestly, it might work considering how resource starved everybody is. But it's not that Zhu Xi's is that strong either. I mean, they're, they're pretty beat up financially. Although Tron is very rich. I'm um, looking at Ibelos. Ibelos is also doing pretty well. Okay. So maybe. It's going to be a while. You you would want to have a much bigger bank than this. We do see everything being walled off here. Zhushi is setting up walls on the sacred site to try and be troll. And the yellow base here is going to be finished off. So finally, Trusty is going to be losing that landmark. So the TC is going to go down. Holy Roman Empires have got... They've got to have some good income here. Um, currently looking at Trusty. And Rexasaurus. Rex has got good gold. Trusty's got good gold. Yeah, Rex is very rich. Rex, Rex is incredibly powerful. I think he's the one who has most of the relics. He's got the Regnants over here. Two relics in here. Obviously, relics have been placed elsewhere, too. Yeah, this is the last game, but, I mean, this could go for another two hours, so... Don't worry, guys. There's going to be plenty of action for you here tonight. It's a it's a big team FFA match. Over here, the Ayubid Alliance. Um, just kind of sitting back, getting their trade going. That's one thing that the Abbasid would do better. They would have the uh, the trade wing, which would have access to the uh, you know the more unique trades for your traders, which would give you better eco. Chopping through to the gold, that's going to be a nice little uh, boon here in the late game. Dinner dinner is going to have to wait, dudes. It's going to have to wait. We're here to party. I'm I'm here for you guys, man. It's going to be fun. All right, over to the west, we see some rams coming in, clearing out whatever's left of the Delhi, the Ayubid, uh, not Ayubid, but the Zhushi Alliance. Um, could be very scary. If Zhushis is able to get those bombards, just stack them in the middle, like 10 of them, with like, you know, just nail anyone that comes at them, that's going to be really powerful. <clears throat> Chaff-centric armies here. Are not fully upgraded either. Red needs to get on that if they can, but obviously gold is very sparse. But yeah, the uh, units are not fully upgraded here. That's going to hurt a little bit. Are any of the alliances going to go for a kill on another one? It feels very much like everybody's kind of cautious here. Everybody wants to respect the uh, center of the map. So I don't think anybody's going to go for any death blows. Trade here. So we do see Allied establishing some trade. It's not amazing. It's still it's still respectable. 35 a pop is, is, is definitely worth doing. But it's going to be a while before there's any major uh, conflicts again. Although, wow, no. Jushis might go for the win right now. I suspect maybe one of these players is getting hungry. You know, might have something to do. So they're like, let's pull the trigger. But yeah, look at all the infrastructure being built by Jushis here. It's going to be a hard hold because now that everybody's trading, gold is going to be pretty perpetual. Whereas during that last push, not everybody was trading. So, um, you know, obviously there was some resource issues towards the end of the push, but it's going to be hard to match that push we just saw. That was, that was, um, or the hold we just saw against six players. Allied moving in with some men at arms, killing the bills that are trying to set up the uh, villages here. And what are these? Are these going to be elite lancers? I don't know if they got the tech. Yeah, so this is the Mount Lu Academy. Let's see if we can find the landmark and see. Jushi's Library. Okay, so they ended up getting... They did not... They got the... Oh, wow. They got the weaker ones. They got the Fire Lancer Spears and the Crossbow. This is the OP one. The Cloud of Terror. It gives your Bombards AoE damage. It's disgusting. And also this one's very good too. The Roar of the Dragon. Uh, not Roar of the Dragon, excuse me. The Dynastic Protectors. That gives you the Imperial Guard Cab, which are just so, so, so strong. 
Yeah, losing the Dumbo Spawner hurts. It does. The Palace of the Sultan is, is pretty clutch. He threw that one down, man. He went for broke. They were very close to winning this game. But yeah, maybe maybe Zhushi's is going to try and kill another team. They could probably roll down here and finish off this Delhi like, pocket pretty well. And then that would just leave Allied alone on the other side. So late late game Zhushi's should steamroll most many other sieves. Uh, we see a lot of idle play here, which makes sense. It's the calm after the storm. You know, everybody's just kind of gathering their bearings, upgrading their units, establishing trade, getting their eco back online. Uh, I wonder if anybody's going to throw down a wonder. Wonder would definitely be easier than sacred. <laughs> Look at Ally just trolling here, dude. He's got his he's got his men at arms just taking down random bills in all corners of the map. A couple Chinese defenders are going to be on the way over. Those two upgrades are definitely weaker, but allow cheap armies. Yeah, it's true. It's true. The bombard one though is just game breaking. It's game breaking. It's very powerful. Like when I was playing against um, Professor Finbard the other night, and I was playing Order of the Dragon, he just had like bombard spam, and it was just flattening armies. It was, it was brutal. AOE damage is nuts. It's just absolutely nuts. So look at that. Order uh, Trusty moving in the middle, actually denying the Zhushi uh, centerpiece. Zhushi's is moving up with their armies now, but they're going to be losing, you know, 2,400 stone worth of keeps if they don't get there quickly. Chinese keeps with the hand cannons. They do some good damage. You see how the Chinese keeps actually do a little bit of the game against these. I believe the damage is a flat 50 on that. Is it 27? So here they come. Um, is the Holy Roman Empire... Yep, they're already setting up infrastructure. So I think the HRE is very suspicious that there's some uh, some treachery afoot. we got spearmen and elite horsemen on the way. Gold should be in full effect. Who has the best trade? This trade's pretty Walmart here. It looks like it's just 21. Uh, the trade over here hasn't been updated. It is at 23. Could, I could have sworn it was better than that. It's only 23, 33 on that one, yeah. So they're not all on the optimal markets. The Holy Roman trade is the best. They're at 50 so far. Now Delhi is reclaiming ground. Delhi is pushing back. I think, no, that's not Delhi. That's Chinese. So yeah, Jushis. It's I, I, it's so ridiculous when you're playing games and like the Zhugnu with their repeater crossbows, they can like kill buildings like reasonably quickly. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. All right, so who do you guys think is going to win? Who, who are you voting for? Let's actually put it to a vote. We're an hour into the game. We've had a near victory here. And let me go ahead and put up a poll. So I'm going to minimize real quick. And we can do a poll. Winner. IU bids. Uh, yeah, I'm just like misspelling everything. Delhi. Delhi gets to be in all caps. Just because I feel like it. HRE or Yi Zhushi. All right. You guys vote. I'm kind of curious to see your opinions as we get into the later stages of the game. Uh, yeah, you, so the, the problem with the Wonder Tracker, uh, Sacred Tracker, it just shows you, it doesn't have a time. It just shows you the amount of, the Wonder, yes, you can track, but the Sacred, you cannot. Looking at resource banks of all the players. Currently, current resources. Um, we do see some stone banks being built up for Rexosaurus. Currently sitting on almost 4,000 stones, so I suspect a Holy Roman Wonder in the south. I think that could happen. Uh, they have a lot of base, you know, between them and the bottom. Plus on this map, like these little water and like natural terrain features are going to make it somewhat easy to defend. Not easy, but doable. This is a great wonder spot too. Uh, you just kind of plop it down in this corner, wall it, put like 30 layers of walls right here. Make it very, very tough for people to push. And yeah, that could that could do it. You guys still believe in the Delhi, huh? But now the war is, uh, appears to have started. It looks like Jushis is going to be marching over here to do battle and try and kill Delhi. Because if Delhi loses this, they lose their trade, and you know one of the players is essentially going to be knocked out here. So Bombard Cannon's pulling back, Grenadiers moving up, and throwing their fat hand grenades. And uh, yeah, they will be able to do some work if they get all their effort. I, I honestly think that's the play. I think Zhushi's focuses all of its effort on this like haggard you know settlement over here that only has like you know kind of one and a half players, and you do your thing. So if these were the upgraded bombards, they would just be flattening all these archers super, super hard. I mean, they're still good and all. It's going to be plowing through the archer units, but cannonballs are cannonballs. Spearmen coming out. Um, where's the macro? Where are all the units? Where are both the armies? Where's the horse and the rider? Okay, here comes the elite horsemen flanking from this side. And now the troopers are going to get there, but the spearmen of butter, uh, they're just going to get some free bombards. So a little bit of rough micro there. Grenades on their way out. China attempting to protect the bombards, but certainly failing in that task. More are on the way. And a lot of idle Zhushi army here. I don't know why they're not over there. It looks like they're like committing to the fight, but not fully. Um, yeah, they have a lot of units just kind of standing in the middle that could really, honestly, this Delhi like base is not very strong. It's like a couple archers here, and yeah, they could really, really get some nasty pushing if they wanted to. We'll see if they're going to be able to. Now, on the east side, we do have the Ayubids just kind of trading away. 
and they did get their market fully extended, which is good. So now they're getting 33 trade, and the Ibids, if they Lumberjack even more, they can extend that trade further, which would be super powerful, right? Like throw it on the market here, Lumberjack all the way to the edge, but don't chop through, and then you set up a market up there, and you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be great. You want it to be four, hour long, four hours long? You know, I enjoy it. I do like these long games. A little bit of horseman raiding, and China's moving in with Bombards, and uh, Jushis looks like they're gonna give Delhi the dirty here. All we're really seeing from Delhi are Spearmen being spammed out, and though they're good against the Horsemen, they'll get plowed by grenades. Chinese grenades here, chasing down the elite crossbows. Um, crossbows and grenades, well, yeah, obviously it's gonna favor the grenades, but the crossbows can still do some work. Keep getting knocked down, a bit of a run by, so good harass here by Tron. Tron looking for villagers, looking for trade, looking for pretty much anything they can get. Keep is gonna be falling here in a second. And uh, China definitely needs to grab all these mid units. Did they grab them? They did. Okay. Not China, but um, yes. It actually is China. Jushi is getting a little bit confused here. But yeah, this is going to be probably the end of them. If these players are really going pedal to the metal and they, they're committed to this fight, I suspect the Delhi uh, Western Empire is going to be falling. HRE chilling out, which is smart. If you're HRE, you know, you just keep an eye on the middle and you go wonder, right? You just slap down a fat erect wonder. They actually got to this gold in the back. Looking at the resources of Rexus Aris, he's got 62,000 food, 36,000 wood, and 13,000 gold, and his stone is rapidly climbing because of Tithe Barns. Oh man, that is a fat army, dude. That is a chunky, chunky army right now. Oh my god, and here it comes. Yeah, this is gonna be some uh, some Delhi punishment. Delhi had its moment. They were they were the greatest empire in the world. They were, they were the Roman Empire, they were perhaps uh, you know Byzantium, but now they're, now they're gonna be fallen. Over here on the side, it's Rams and Bombards coming across. Jushis, a vastly superior late game to Vastly superior to Delhi. They can just make better unique units. They have better tech. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of things they just do very, very well. The Ayubids are just trying to get their trade. Look at that. Well played to the Ayubids. They just keep expanding this trade. I love it. And currently, they're at 41 trade, which is awesome. So the Ayubids could also play some Wonder Play. I don't know. Oh, my God. Hold up, guys. Oh, oh, wait. This is how you play this map. You have the tree line, and then you wonder and leave a tiny choke point here with which your opponents can attack your wonder. That is disgusting. Oh my god, that's how you play this map. Screw everything else. That is the strategy. You mine into your corner woods, and you set that up. Yeah. Grenades coming out. Delhi with a valiant defense for sure. Are there any horsemen in the back raiding? Doesn't look like it. There's ample keeps. Allied, uh, they're getting, so yeah, they have a lot of traders. They have a hell of a lot of traders, but the Chinese army, the Zhugnu, and the crosswomen are just going to melt through these spears, no problem. A lot of reinforcements coming out. Allied, oh, Allied set up a lot of infrastructure now, so he is able to make some defenders. So I thought that they were going to fall here because Allied didn't have a lot of infrastructure, but I did not notice him setting all this up right here. Yeah. So they continue. Bombard cannon shooting away. Wonder in this corner is is the play. I, if I were the Alliance here, I would have a full erection. I would just be like, yeah, dude. I don't care if there's six players. Do you know how hard it is for six players to get through one choke point when their units are going to be attacking each other on accident, dude? Oh, that's just how you do it. That is how you do it. Turn it. My last tournament, that's what Quill did to win the corner on this map. Yeah, it seems very, very good. It seems very good. I mean, to be fair, you can lumberjack your way through also. You could, like, lumberjack here and cut through, but it's, um... It would take a little bit of planning. So Allied's armies are being farmed. The grenades and the bombards have really, really good kind of mass. But look at this. Butters is actually amassing a good army of tower elephants. But raiding in the base, villagers going to be going down. Traders also taking some damage. And China just spamming out horsemen. The Chinese players probably really wishing they had some of those sweet Imperial Guard right now. But here comes the grenades. Maybe there's going to be a keep drop here looking at the stone of Tron. Tron does have enough for one keep. So dropping a keep here would actually be really good. It would help farm a lot of these defenders, and the grenades need to be given an attack order right now because they are currently not attacking. There they go. All right. So we're going to start nuking into those bad boys. As far as the other parts of the map, nobody is really doing much. Um, we do see uh, Tron and um, his homie building some towers out here. Building some outposts, which isn't a bad idea. Yeah, like going for a wonder in the corner. What the hell is this? What is this? Oh, my God. The bronze trade. Okay, there they go. Come on, trusty. Get that trade going. He's having trouble with his markets. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, it's true. You can't cut through if they have defensive emplacements. That's right. Elephants. Uh, who would have thought we'd be seeing this? Giant elephants uh, getting blown up with grenades. Only in Age of Empires 4. Um, and yeah, the siege continues from China. The momentum is good. The resources of the Delhi defenders have got to be hemorrhaging. Pretty good bank here, though, honestly. And Allied has a good bank, too, but his gold is not perpetual. He's only got 2,100. His gold per minute is actually 2,000. Does he have that many relics? How many relics does Allied have? How is he getting such good gold income? Um, looking here, 
Oh, it's the trade. Okay, yeah, duh, it's the trade, obviously. So grenades nailing away. China still coming at them. Ramps are on their way through, and on the bottom side of the map, we do see the traders uh, still returning. If, if China were able to kind of come through here and deny this trade, that would basically seal the deal. Now looking around, do we see any wonder? Um, this would be a good wonder spot. Okay, yeah, we've seen it. El Chad keeps... Like, if you take the middle, you take the middle, and then you get your sacred site. And then that's a dual-pronged threat that is really... And you fight at the sacred site for as long as possible. And that's going to buy time for your wonder in the corner. Um, that is what you do, which is going to be very, very good. So Delhi actually pushing back the Chinese. Very impressive. The Chinese attackers running out of steam a little bit. But they do have more ramps, but they're, they're using what I like to call the dreaded Reaganomics, where... The two armies are trickling in, trying to spread that wealth instead of consolidating it and, you know, really giving you good returns. They are, uh, they're pushing in everything here. So, here they come. A couple rams pushing here and there. A little bit of raiding, some elite horsemen. This is really good raiding here by uh, Ivalos. Beautiful play by Ivalos. He's shutting down a ton of their trade. He's also harrying villagers. Uh, could go after markets. This is very, very disruptive. And honestly, it doesn't look like Delhi is reacting to this. They're a little bit hyper-focused on the conflict up here. So they're going to be paying the troll toll for sure. But yeah, a lot of trade being lost. They're hemorrhaging traders. In response, Butters uh, going to be sending out a couple spears, which should be able to battle those uh, the Torfin. And also, we do get some more troops arriving. Yeah, now looking here, we do see keeps coming up. You want to get some layered walls. So at least three or four layers of stone walls and or wooden palisades. Every little thing like that can just make a colossal difference, right? Colossal, colossal difference. China's still moving in. Who's going to win this war of attrition? Um, is the sacred site being capped? It's not. Nobody's that foolish. The Ayyubids, yeah, look at that. Extending their market, now getting 46 a pop. Looking at the current resources for the Ayyubids. Ark in the Black and uh, Foghorn are pretty rich. Foghorn at 12,000, but nobody is as rich as Rexosaurus. Rexosaurus is the Dark Lord right now. And once he's able to get 2,000 more stone from his Tithe Barns, he is going to be able to drop a Fat Wonder and uh, Cackle all the way to the bank. And that's going to be tough to stop them. Oh, wow. Wow, look at all this infrastructure. He's really planning for an invasion here. Really planning for it. I love it, man. I don't know who's going to win this. We have some, uh, some interesting data from chat as well. So minimizing for a second. Hopefully he doesn't crash the game. Come on, hold on. And we look here. So 50% of you think the HRE is going to win, which I think is a very good guess. The HRE players are banking wealth. They're preparing for a wonder on the bottom. Oh, man, a wonder right here is pretty sweet. Like, very sweet. That's like a tiny angle. It's not as good as, like, this. This is the best wonder spot, hands down. I like this little, like, kind of choke point here. But, yeah. We'll see how this goes. The number of the beast. Yes, that's what his uh, stone count is. Elite Zhugnu doing great, and uh, if they got the upgrade for the extra bolt fire from the Zhugnu, their DPS can be pretty ludicrous in the late game. More keeps coming down, but like Delhi and the Chinese are just hemorrhaging resources. Like looking at Butters, he's got a good bank, and so does Allied's uh, sub 2,000 gold though. Um, looking at China, China's actually really low on gold. They might not be able to finish this. It, it could come to the point where Delhi is going to maybe fend them off. A lot of hand cannoneers dying here, that's very expensive. And if you destroy Allied's infrastructure, I don't think he has villagers nearby to rebuild this. So if Allied loses his infrastructure, there's a chance that the pink player is going to be left all alone and is going to pay the price. Because Allied is very isolated over here, guys. He's like, he's off in his uh, his own realm doing his thing. We do see uh, the middle being secured by Palisades to try and make sure that nobody gets that, which is smart. And the wonder on the bottom, we do see walls being built. So Rectosaurus and Trusty. These, these Holy Roman players have been pretty Chad this game. They, um, you know, he abandoned his city to be with his homie in the south, and so far it seems to have paid some big do, uh, dividends, right? Grenades do okay damage against the buildings, obviously. You can see their damage against buildings is at plus 20, so they actually do nail down buildings. They're kind of like the Ozutsu a little bit in that regard, but Japanese Ozutsu are crazy strong. Crazy, crazy strong. Japan is such a cool sim. I can't wait for the bouncing pass so I don't feel as guilty playing them. Um, granted, Japan isn't as bad. But more so in FFA. I, I hope they limit the relics to like 8 or something. Or maybe make the time like double the time or something. Because right now, like, it's so, so strong. Like, if there was a Japanese Civ here, dude, they would just be the tyrants. They would be huge tyrants. Yes, HRE does have all those relics. They do. Um, Allied's losing infrastructure, but setting up more. He's got one villager doing all this. It's not going to be enough. I think that uh, the Chinese players, if they continue, will be able to get the job done. But are they going to continue? It seems like they're... Faltering their reinforcements. They're not sending in as many units. Um, maybe are a little bit concerned about the middle. Uh, the wonder on the bottom is about ready to be built. So those players are setting up shop. And I hope that someone pulls the trigger here. Because if they build the wonder, it's they're, they're either going to win or go out on their shield. 
and Allied manages to maintain here, continuing to build this infrastructure. The Chinese attackers seem to have changed their mind. So now China, oh, hold up. Is this some weird political alliance here? It seems like the Holy Romans are now attacking the Chinese. So the Holy Roman players turning their sights to the Chinese in the north and uh, maybe, maybe Delhi called for aid. That's really interesting though. This is definitely a mistake by the Holy Romans. Like you should have let the Chinese continue killing the Delhi because that was basically, they were just doing your job for you. Taking down one of those players, right? Looks like a little wall off going down here as well. Um, yeah, they got their, they got their uh, little nice alcove here, which is going to be very cozy. Multiple Ellsback palaces to get through. One here with relics. The HRE borders are pretty aptly defended. Granted, this is a nice chop through. So there is an opportunity that Allied could chop through here and push this way, which is extremely vulnerable. There's almost no defenses there too. 30 Ozutsu can uh, beat a wall to Red Palace Mark. Yeah, no, I mean, absolutely. Ozutsu are just foul units. They're very good. It, it's, it feels really bad when you're playing against late game Japan and they just roll up with like a bunch of Ozutsu and just nail down all their static defenses. It's like, I'm too weak. The HRE definitely going to be wondering soon. Um, I don't think there's going to be an opportunity for waiting for somebody to die here. Um, do we see any inclinations? Okay. See this? This is a sign of a wonder here. The fact that they're building walls and they made some space here. We could see a wonder coming down from the Ayubids too. Let's see what the stone looks like. So Foghorn has that. Arkin has... Okay, they don't have any stone, so that's not going to happen. Very, very close to the wonder here. I say you just pull the trigger. Like, during all this chaos, you just, you just go for it. Trade is still going strong here. Allied and his buddy. Very good defense. The Delhi, the Delhi players have been absolute champs this game. They've been holding on together and uh, really, really doing very well. I'm super impressed with their play. And what's even more fun about these games is we've hosted a bunch of these like random 2v2 team, like kind of team games on stream. And then I've, I've gone to Discord later and I've seen players who met during those games uh, going and playing ranked games together and stuff. It's, it's very fun or playing, you know, quick battles or whatever. So there's been friendships made. There's been friendships made. <laughs> Thank you, Gorilla, even though it's not my birthday. I appreciate that. Dude, time flies, man. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's wild. And it definitely flies faster as you get older. And, you know, I think there's been some interesting, you know, studies on that. Because, you know, when you're, let's say, like, you know, you're 10, 11, 12, in your teenage years, 17, 18, 19, there's a lot of, like, patterns in your life that are not, like, mastered yet, like, in routines and patterns. Um, you're, you, you know, you're getting on new jobs. Um, there's a lot of things that are new to you in the world in terms of being an adult. So I think part of why time goes a little bit slower when you're younger is because of all that. And whereas when you're older, like you're more familiar with a lot of routines and, and I think the routine of it has something to do with it. I'm just kind of rambling off the top of my head, you know, one of those like mid game rants, but, um, yeah, man, they're, they're going to pull the trigger soon. You got 28 villagers down here ready to party. Peeling, thank you. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Hope you're doing well. Ayubid's big fat trade, right? Like, they're getting 50 a pop. Ayubid's probably have some of the best trade in the game right now. They have a lot. Yeah, there's quiet in the game now. It's, it's pretty it's pretty, pretty relaxed. Boogie says, I'm 30. Can confirm once you get your career and years start to run together. They do, especially when you get set in routine, you know? Like, I remember in my, like, mid-20s, I was changing jobs a lot, moving to different cities, and learning a lot of new skills, and... And, um, yeah, so I think that had something to do with it. There's a scientific paper that published on that. Yeah, I bet it's kind of an interesting read. Is HRE going to pull Vils and go for it? We don't see the villager pull yet. Um, Delhi trade is not quite as good as the uh, Ayubids. Could they be better about this? Not really, no. They don't have enough space. This is literally as good as our trade is going to get. This map's interesting because the way that the trees are set up, like it kind of denies a lot of long distance trading. It makes it really hard. I actually like that element of, of it. You live for the mid, mid game rants. Yeah, they're fun. They're definitely fun. Yeah, it's wild though. Time flies. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, pretty nuts. And there's less information in the young brain and adult brain is constantly busy and it takes the time away. It could be, it could be. So looking around, all is calm. The storm is about to kick off here as we get to an hour and 17 minutes in the game. Uh, more and more keeps. And yeah, they, the Holy Romans are making sure they're prepared. And it's going to be very hard to get them. Like, very hard. Um, what you would also want to do, and this is a tip for anybody who's playing um, HRE, is you want to get um, relics and move them to the back first. So you want to set up a relic, uh, relics by your wonder. So then you can pull them out and whoa, low, low in a pinch. Are we going to be awarded to some young turn picks? Oh, no. I've showed them on, uh, we've showed some on stream before. Yeah, we have. A long time ago. So, Bombards are getting in there. 
And look at this, they're going for the kill on Allied. Oh, wow, that's clever. Because Allied's so invested over here. I mean, he is not going to be able... Allied's base is dead here. This is a, this is a, what I like to call a pro-gamer move. So, yeah, he is just going to come down, butcher these villagers, head into the base. This is a great backstab. This isn't even a backstab. It's not as if they were friends or anything, but... Drinking some of that delicious tea. This is a brilliant idea, by the way. Brilliant tactics here from our Holy Roman players. Knowing that Allied is super focused on the other side, this also removes one of the closest threats to your main base, right? Beautiful. And, like, nobody else is attacking. Everybody else is just banking resources, so they kind of have the agency to move in and just do whatever they please. Smeagol says, I'm going to laugh my ass off if Allied Treb snipes the wonder from the left. <laughs> yeah. Allied is, is the lord of Treb sniping. He is. It, it's always something. All right. That's not that many villagers on the wonder being built. You definitely should have pulled some. Okay, he pulled them, but you want to wait till they arrive first. But now the wonder is in full effect, and um, yeah, here it comes, man. The Allied's base is steamrolled. He's going to be losing landmarks, um, going to be losing economy. Allied does have some eco on this side, but now the wonder is on its way. Villagers are on the way. Nobody's counter wondering them. Nobody's going to be racing. Ayubid's nothing in sight, so um, we will have the wonder tracker here. Enemy destroyed landmarks. So Allied's base is getting absolutely steamrolled. Uh, no relics to be stolen here, so there's not going to be any goodies here. And the Holy Roman Empire, man, they're coming for it. Jushi's going to be coming in like a wrecking ball from the north, though. That is a big old Chinese army, but it's very artillery light. There's only one bombard, so getting through the walls is going to actually take some time. And Rexosaurus now has a wonder. Might as well finish off Allied's base, you know, knock down all the buildings and take out his houses here to supply block him. I think that's smart, but yeah, they have to expect a Dread Legion coming at them now. The gold, on the other hand, corners a little reward saying, good work for serving under shop three. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great map. I, I think it's very fun. This this is very strong, though. This is, I think if you had, like, really, you know, conch level, like, you know, our Terminator FFA, la like, they would all just go straight to these corners. That That is the meta here. That's very strong. Okay, look, the monastery is up. So Rexosaurus, I think, knows that he can move the relics there. So good awareness there. I do like that. Um, and because the, the late game Wolo Lows can totally save you. They can buy you a lot of time. Like, each Wolo Low is, like, an extra 10, 15 seconds, right? On a pushing army if it's mo mostly horsemen and stuff like that. It's very good. Uh, Tall, thank you. I'm waking up and seeing you deep in a cast. Your sleep pattern... Well, for me, it's only 9 o'clock. It's... Oh, or 10 p.m. It's not that late. So this isn't even that weird. So the Chinese army heading down. We can leave the Wonder Tracker up, although it does obstruct the screen a little bit. But we'll leave that 14 minutes on that. Allied's base basically in shambles. Um, Allied does get a couple of bills here, and um, they are going to get taken down by the Hand Cannoneers and the Men at Arms. And overall... That was an effective little raid, but now they have to worry about the fury of China and the fury of the Ayubids. But man, oh man, do they have a lot of space. Like, this is like, look how far they have to go. And like, the final wall is just like thick. It's just big, thick L's back, dude. Just this huge, erect German castle. All right. Or palace, I should say. So rams are on their way down. The Chinese army is going to be engaging, but the Holy Romans stand at the ready. They have their elite crossbowmen. So those bad boys are going to be able to probably put up a good fight against this army. But this Chinese army is good quality too. It's got a lot of crossbows, which have the upgrade. So those crossbows are going to be do doing essentially the extra damage, the double damage, which is huge. Culverin's getting sniped. Really, really good play by Ivalos. His horseman play has been very good this game. So he gets in and butchers all that artillery for the Holy Romans. Gets all of it. The Ayubids are coming in with rams, and now it is pedal to the metal. So Allied's base got torched pretty good, but still somewhat intact. And Delhi, on the other hand, where is Delhi going to be coming from? Um, Holy Romans attempting to defend, but they are losing ground very quickly, which is tough. Couple knights in the front line trying to fight, but the grenades are going to be getting in range. And now we're going to be seeing what the Holy Romans macro looks like. How good is their macro? What does their bank look like? Rexosaurus has an incredible bank. Holy shit. Like, if Rexosaurus just comes back here and builds like 15 siege workshops like back by his wonder and just starts when it gets desperate starts spamming out one uh, uh mangonels and spring alds under all these keeps and towers and stuff there's no way they lose this i don't think what does the monastery close to a wonder do it doesn't do anything uh, to the wonder but what it does is your relic is safe and you can pull the relic out with a scholar when they get close and start wolo lowing them as they attack you right that's the whole uh that's the whole strategy of that so HRE mustering some defenders, going to be fighting back the Chinese army on this frontier, but rapidly going to be losing ground here as China moves in from the north. Wonder Tracker is at uh, 12 minutes. That's a, that's a long time, man. And these players are really doing a great job of uh, rushing in here. 
It's gonna be tough, man. I honestly, I don't know. This could be a tough hold. There's still four players, but the thing is, Delhi is not really involved in the push yet. Um, Delhi is now coming with Rams. It's gonna become a very tight choke point, though. But yeah, you need to get siege back here. You need to preemptively have that siege uh, infrastructure, because what's gonna happen is when the four attackers start convening on one location, they're gonna start kind of poking each other. So trying to fight on two fronts is certainly hard. A uh, little bit of a defense here. They are poking back some of the Chinese attackers and do have hand cannoneers coming out. Uh, but yeah, the Ayubids making great progress in the front. And the Ayubids will probably counter wonder after this. I suspect we could get something in the corner here. A lot of Lombards, a lot of Culbrins. You have to remember, people have had a long time to build up. This has been like really calm since the middle. I think grabbing that middle sacred site and holding that for a minute too would have been a really good play on top of it. Like we talked about earlier. Hang it else moving up. Keep is here with the Spring Alden placement. Bombard is just slowly knocking down the buildings here. And overall, the attack is going very smooth. Nice mango shot there. Men at Arms popping out. Not going to be able to do too much against the attackers. On the north side, infrastructure is basically just buying time. Um, and yeah, I think this wonder, it's going to be tough. They do have a lot here. Good static defenses in the back. Relic and L's back. And they are bringing their relics back for the Wolo Lows. And the siege infrastructure is now being developed in the back. That's that's really good because you stack it under these, but you need spring alts too and culverins. Well, culverins, your HR, you have culverins, shit. So then you just sit your culverins under the keeps. You snipe the enemy bombards and trebuchets and and, and just stack spears too. Um, probably getting a, a secondary row of barracks back here to at least make spearmen to stop horseman diving would be a good call too. So currently wonder tracker, we're sitting at 10 minutes. That's going to be the longest 10 minutes of their life as they are making really, really good progress. Uh, good armies, though. They have good standing armies that are getting ready to defend. The Ayubids move it up slowly but surely. The Culverins, not very good at killing bases, so they only have one Bombard, which is a bit of a mistake. Definitely should have more Rams, uh, something like that, as it pertains to Red. But Rexasaurus is doing all the right things here in terms of the artillery in the back. Um, stacking them here, getting ready to party. Um, but yeah, the, they're going to be back here quicker than you think. The, yeah, they still have a lot. Rexasaurus is so rich. Looking at his ally, let's go ahead and see what the resources look like for uh, Trusty. Trusty isn't quite as rich, but still has enough to uh, muster some defenders, mainly horsemen. If you're Trusty in this situation, what you probably do is you make only horsemen, um, you know, screw the other units, and you have Trusty go artillery hunting. So all he does, all his focus is killing enemy artillery. Um, that's a really, really good way to kind of stifle aggression, and if you have less resources, it's certainly going to pay off. Wow, that is a shitload of rams coming in, and the green defenders are running out of steam rapidly here. That's going to be a billion rams back there, man. It's going to be nasty. So, defenders sallying forth. Yellow's going to be uh, meeting the Ayubid armies in open field. Debuffing from the camel, so it's going to be mitigating their damage by 20%. A couple archers up in the wall. And the Ayubids might get stuffed here. Their uh, army isn't too big, although here comes a reinforcing army of Foghorn Leghorn. Looking at the Wonder Tracker, we're at 8 minutes and 47 seconds, and they're making progress, but... This HRE base was very big. It's super, super dense. And we see barracks coming back here. Um, so there they are. Good. Um, the artillery needs to be moved up for sure among the keeps. He needs to be on standby. And basically what Rexosaurus is going to need to do is he's going to have to like be the god of Culverin Micro. He's going to need to shoot to start picking off the battering ramps or bombards. Of course, they're priority, but battering ramps as well. And stuffing them and blocking them with um, pathing here, right? So, yeah, they need to move up a little bit. Barracks are going to be here, so he's going to be able to muster some defenders. Some launch neck wouldn't be bad either if they're upgraded to help cleave some of the attackers. Granted, they're probably too squishy. But, yeah, big momentum in here. The defenders struggling. A lot of units coming out. The Els Chad Palace. So the first wave of big heavy defense is here. So the Els Chad Palace is going to be giving reduced damage to these nearby units. And if Yellow can hold this front, that's going to be really big. If Yellow is able to hold back the Ayubid front... But I don't know about that. There's a lot of bombards back there. But if the IE bits somehow get folded up here and yellow can get all these bombards, that's going to be a huge MLG play. Over on this side, where is the Delhi? Um, Delhi is coming on the bottom. Yeah, a classic allied play. He's coming from the bottom angle, but isn't going to be able to find a way through. Culverins are nearby. Those culves need to move up a little bit. I don't know what they're doing near the woods here, but they need to move up in, amongst the keeps and different things like that. So those bad boys need to hustle. Now, as far as everything else goes, yellow with a valiant defense here. Holding back the Ayubids on this front, while Rexasaur is fighting just wild-ass battles on this side. Not easy by any stretch. The House of Wisdom is, is still there from before. Um, can Trebs reach here? Maybe. But the Culverins can snipe them 100% if they do. And I don't see any Trebuchets in this army yet. Allied, for sure, will have some Trebs coming over. Wonder Tracker's at 7 minutes. That is a long, long 7 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Trusty's bank is still pretty good. Rexasaurus's bank is amazing. Um, 
Rexasaurus should maybe send his re ally maybe like three or four thousand of every resource if he can. Because yellow is going to run out of resources and um, Trusty it really needs those. Uh, as a matter of fact, sending him wood would be the biggest play. It's currently his wood is out. He can only really make knights, but you still want to make spears and horsemen and cheap units, right? Keeps coming down. Bombards are nearby. Yellow with a very, very good hold here. A little bit of lag. Emergency repairs on this keep would be nice, but I don't think they noticed it. So that um, Elschad Palace is going to fall and is going to be paying the price. Desperation push. Players taking hits on all sides. And on the bottom, Delhi is coming for it, but they're going to realize that there's no way through here. And we do see more defensive keeps being set up in the back. Siege Workshop still pumping it out. And the final bastion of defense is almost compromised. We see the valiant defenders of the Holy Roman Empire are here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The uh, the culverins can shoot through the trees. That's exactly what we were saying. Kill the trap. All right. So on this side, what do we got? The Ayubids making momentum, but they're certainly the slower of the two fronts because it's only two of them. On the other side, we have Delhi and China. But the problem with Delhi and China is they're fighting each other on accident, so a lot of those units are probably going to be kind of bumping tips. Delhi moving in with the elephant army. It's something. Elephants can at least knock down walls. HRE being pushed back pretty heavily, but the wonder has got to be uh, sub six minutes now. Yeah, okay. And this is going to take a minute to crack. It's going to be very, very tough to crack. So we see the infrastructure in the back pumping out units where they can. Um, and the culverins need to just start, start sniping artillery. Rex basically has to treat this like a mini game. Just start killing rams, start killing whatever you can. And because um, those are the only things that can really threaten you, right? Like the armies will fall to your keeps. And we see the culverins and the mangonels in the back of the base ready to hold and make their final stand. Yellow has finally, I think, been broken on this front, although still making horsemen. So yellow's going to be spamming out horsemen and hand cannoneers, which is good. I mean, they're, hey, if, if yellow can grab these horsemen and go just kill, like, two bombards, like, every little play like that is massive. Everything, everything adds up. So as far as the hold goes, we do have four, almost four minutes, guys. I mean, this hold is getting closer and closer. They ain't getting any younger. Green, able to get a lot of rams there. Very good value for Rexasaurus. Beautiful stuff. Cleaving those bad boys down. Excellent. And he's got a good last stand here in the back, too. With more mangonels coming out. You gotta learn... The Mongols have taught us the ways of spamming artillery under towers and keeps and how obnoxious it is. And once again, we do see the keeps blasting away. This has been a very epic game, though. It's been very good. Lots of back and forth. Lots of, lots of weirdness and sieges. And it's been very fun. Down here on the west side, Holy Romans. Dude, this is so good. He's getting so many rams for free right now. They really should be pushing these rams. That is a huge, huge breadwinnering play. So is Allied going to get Trebs here? Uh, looks like he's running into some Chinese attackers. No villagers coming. So they're going to realize that you can't get through this way. And that's going to be a pretty feel-bad moment for them. But I think the Holy Romans are on the path to victory here. I think they are. Um, looking at the Wonder Tracker, it's sub four minutes now. Um, Ayubids are coming in, but with proper micro and control... The culverins should snipe the enemy artillery, and the HRE troopers should be able to deal with the rams. So rams are getting uh, punished here pretty hard. Holy Roman's going to be rushing out to attack. We do see the back infrastructure still able to make more units, and HRE still has a fair amount of infrastructure here. This could be a landmark snipe situation, but I think going for the wonder is going to be preferable probably because people don't haven't scouted, probably don't know where all that is. Um, but yeah, I think it would be tricky. Um, and yeah, we have a Regnitz back here and an Elf Chad, so those are going to be potentially on the table for landmark snipes, but it's hard because you got to get everybody's landmarks, right? Ayubid's cruising up through the middle, wearing through the houses. Wonder Tracker here is going to be sitting at three minutes left. Holy Romans valiantly defending at the gatehouse, bashing back all these keeps here, looking really, really good. And now the defender is going to be hustling back this way. Meanwhile, Holy Romans at the gates fighting off a lot of attackers, man, and it's looking good. Zhushis, they're finally getting some forward infrastructure, but it's probably going to be too late. I think a lot of them are running out of steam on the attack. I mean, they're getting far. The uh, Ayubid army has some good artillery here, some bombards and some rams, but the HRE defense here is going to be nasty. With good culverin play, yeah, look, the culves are shooting at the elephants. It's pretty funny. Not really doing a whole lot of damage. And this last stand, too, these mangoes and culverins, it's going to be disgusting. With good micro, it's going to be really, really um, savage to get through. On this side, we see relics being taken. At this point, you know, try and get those relics to the back of your base for low lows if you can. But, you know, again, easier said than done. I think you're pretty heavily surrounded. HRE Trooper is doing a great job bashing down battering rams wherever they can. Obviously, they're going to fall here, but not before they do a little bit of damage. Um, diving the bombards would be the best play. Just chasing those bombards into the Shadow Realm will prevent progress. Killing culverins and also mangoes is a good cho choice as well. A couple rams on their way in. These culverins are shooting the wrong target. They should be targeting these rams, but, you know, not terrible. 
Um, not terrible at all. They'll probably switch onto them in a second. A lot of troopers being set up. Spears ready to body block the rams that are coming in. Wonder Tracker's at a minute and 57 seconds, guys. I think he's got it. The HRE, they're holding in, baby. Those relics paying huge dividends here in the late game. HRE also had the best trade. They were getting the best trade for a long time. Man, Delhi. And to think Delhi was like so close to winning this game too. All right, Spearmen are moving up, and this is exactly what we talked about. Spearmen to defend the culverins. Culverins shoot at the the, the, uh, the medieval tanks here. Unfortunately, some of the horsemen do get in, and um, the Artie here. Oh man, is that going to be able to reach? Oh, oh god. If that can reach, dude, you better have some villagers ready here. Oh god, is he in range? I think the culverins should be able to stop them. You can see they're ready. Um, he needs to make sure those get taken down. Oh my god. Allied is so stressful with that. So HRE defenders fighting off the attackers valiantly. Keeps saturating in, getting beautiful fire. And now we see some trebuchets move again. But this, th nothing else matters. This is it. I think it's a little too far. I think if they're right here, they can get it. But the culverins should be able to obliterate them. All right, so Allied is moving in. Culverins should start ripping shots right now. Are they going to rip the shots? Are they going to do it? Are they shooting? Oh my god, he might miss the attack order. Okay, are the culverins gonna shoot? Oh my god. Oh, I don't think he can reach! And the culverins weren't shooting though. He didn't notice it. That could have been a disaster if it had been built a little bit closer here, but it went to the absolute corner here. And I think he noticed it at the last second. So culverins, oh, he's trying to chop through. He's gonna try and chop through to get a little bit more room, but the culverins are there now. I think he's aware of it. He moved it, he probably saw them through the fog of war there. In the front, the attackers are not making as much progress. 17 seconds left. Allied trying to get in position. Oh, man. If those were hui hui pows, yeah. That would have been it. Maybe they could attack ground, like, right here and hit it. I don't know. If it, like, they, I don't think they have, If it was Greek fire, you could. I think it would have a little bit of a splash. Rams moving in, but the HRE defends. GG, well played. Glorious duel. That was a really fun one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream. Um, we'll be back soon. I might even do one tomorrow. I don't know. Tomorrow's maybe going to be Dune or Total War. So This is hands down my favorite game. And all the games I'm playing right now, I just love Age. It's so fun. I'm probably going to go lose like five ranked games uh, later tonight too. That'll be fun. All right, guys. So GG well played. The Holy Roman Empire has endured. Sigmar bless this ravaged body. And if you guys enjoyed the stream, uh, please do drop a like on the way out. There's 991 people here. Dropping a like helps get more people in the old Age community going. Get more people playing. It's always fun. I appreciate that. So that is it for tonight, guys. We'll see you all on the other side. Adios. Delvi Xenia. Going to go hang out with the wife, enjoy some food. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. That game kept me at the edge of the seat, too. That was that was very stressful. Delhi with 22 seconds away. Wow. That's so close. Ally just needed a tiny bit more room. And he could have trebucheted that thing down. Crazy close. GG, guys. See you on the other side. Again, drop a like on the way out if you enjoyed what you saw. And we'll be back streaming sometime in the next few days. Sigmar, bless this ravaged body. Take care of yourselves.